about government in Nigeria. And that was the only media that has been consistent speaking against the bad government and for the purpose for reformers. Nigeria was yo. Magnus. Okay. I want us to do something. It's very important we do this thing. For once, if you are a Yoruba man, stop being a Yoruba man. I mean, for just the next one hour, let's attempt to do this thing so that we can at least get to a point where we can have a mutual understanding so if you're a yoruba man just for one hour assume you are not a yoruba man same thing for an Igbo man same thing for the full animal the also man any tribe you are just stop being that tribe for the next one hour if you're a christian stop being a christian for just one hour just one hour i'm not saying you're not going to be a christian again just stop being a christian for one hour if you are a Muslim, let's attempt you are not a Muslim, at least for the next one hour. North, South, you're just, you're just a neutral being. Somebody somewhere in the middle. Now, the reason why I'm asking us to do this exercise is for us to attempt to know what the other person is thinking. And to see if we will think the same thing if we are in that person's shoes. Now, the reason why I'm saying we should do that is to attempt to assess Nigeria and ask yourself, truly, if you are not a Yoruba man, you are not a Christian, you are not a Muslim, you are not anything that will cause bias. You are not anything that will hold you back to take a side. You are not anything that will say, okay, because I am weighed down by this proclivity, I am inhibited to see the truth. 
So for once, let's attempt to see what it's right. So I'm going to ask this question. Are you actually proud of Nigeria the way it is? Are you actually, really truthfully proud of Nigeria the way it is? Now, you are beginning to understand why I said you should not be Christian. You should not be Yoruba. You should not be Fulani. You should not be anything that will force any form of proclivity in you. Now, because sometimes I ask myself, I said, with the way Nigeria is, with the way Nigeria is, could it be that I am weighed down by my proclivity as a Yoruba, as, a, as an Urubu man, as a lover of Peter Obi, as a Southerner, as a Christian? Could it be that these things are what is weighing me down to the point that I can't see it the way a Yoruba man is seeing it? Or the way a Fulani man is seeing it? Or the way a Muslim man is seeing it? So the only way I can at best assess Nigeria without any bias is to imagine that I am not a Christian, I'm not a Southerner, I'm not an Urubu man. In fact, I'm not anything. I'm just a plain book, a plain sheet of paper with nothing written on it. So how would I assess Nigeria? Now, beyond even attempting to assess Nigeria, it appears the very basis for us to assess has been so corrupted again by this religion and tribe a lot of people can't even think can't even assess because the mere attempt to assess is met by a brick wall of tribalism by a brick wall, wall of religion because i try to assess this country first and foremost and trust me when i'm telling you this I am assessing without, I am trying as much as possible not to be biased. In fact, there was a time I put in myself to have a rethink about Peter B, to have to, to have to relook Peter B, to have to reassess Peter B and see if for any reason I was being wrong in the first place. But hard as I try, I am yet to see. I'm yet to see that thing that will make me say, okay, Peter B is not the choice. Hard as I try, I have not seen it. Okay. For once again, I'm also going to request that we try to be upright, to be just, to be truthful, to have the fear of God, to have the love of humanity in our heart. To have the love of country, to have the love for progress, the love of good things, the love of anything that is good, have it in your heart. And ask again, is this the country that you want? Is this the Nigeria that you honestly want? Now let's take it from the beginning. Now here is a country where a man came and told you and said that it is the turn of the Yorubas. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. That it is the turn of the Yorubas. And when those who have this sense of entitlement are asked, but Obasanjo ruled this country as a military president, as a military officer, and as a civilian president, they now say that no, Obasanjo is not a Yoruba man, that Obasanjo is an Igbo man. Now I'm asking myself, if the name of Basanjo is now an Igbo name, Olushengu, Aremu, if these names are Igbo names. Now, in the same vein, this man said that if it is Yoruba turn, by the fact that it is the turn of the Yorubas, it is now his turn. 
I'm talking about the one and only Okpakori Eremuko Kwanye Oshari Ogaga Ise Tinubu Jagaban. I love the fact that there's one Yoruba girl that came online and said, Is Tinubu a Yoruba name? What is the meaning of Tinubu in Yoruba? She dared me to bring out the meaning. I'm yet to see someone who responded to her. But that's not my point. That's my case. Because I'm trying to reason. I'm trying for once. Let's reason. Because it's the fact that we are unable to reason beyond these hydra-headed proclivities of tribe, religion, that we have given these thieving politicians to use us and get away with virtually almost anything that they want to get away with. Now I said there's a man who came and rode on the heels of the fact that it is the turn of the Yorubas. And some Yorubas bought into this ideology. That is the turn of the Yorubas. And when you ask them, what about Obasanjo? They say Obasanjo is an Igbo man. Okay. Then there is a governor in Lagos State who contested for governor just because he has an Igbo blood in him. They said he cannot rule Lagos because his blood is tainted by Igbo. Even though the man himself is more Lagosian than the people that are saying he's not Lagos. <laughs> so, now, I'm trying us to reason. I just want us to reason. Let's just, let's just throw reason open. Let's reason and conquer the boundaries, the horizon of the limits of reason. Let's conquer it. But we can only do that if as a Christian I stop being a Christian for one hour. As a Muslim, I stop being a Muslim. As a Yoruba man, I stop being a Yoruba. Igbo, you are just, just stop being anything that will draw you back and try to reason openly. <laughs> now, here is a man who never came to any debate. He didn't, he didn't honor any debate. He didn't honor any interview. In fact, the only interview he granted in Gatam House, when they asked him how is he going to run the affairs of this country, he told you that on day one, he will hit the ground running. Day two, he will keep running. Day three, he will not stop running. That is the blueprint of somebody we bestowed a country of 200 million Nigeria for. His blueprint is on the first day, he will hit the ground running. Second day, he will keep running. Third day, he will not stop running. That is the man that we gave Nigeria to rule. The same man said that recruit 50 million youth into the army and uh, take away from their recruitment source what they will eat. Cassava, Agbado in the morning, yam, and uh, here is a man who came and dead, dead the unity of Christians and Muslims in the country that we've long been trying to harmonize over the years. But dead it because of his personal ambition and dared to bring a Muslim Muslim candidate. A thing that I know that the Muslim community in the north will never accept a Christian Christian candidate. It can't even be conceived, conceived, talk less of dead. Can't dare it. It's dead on arrival if you dare that one Christian Christian candidate. So you, you can't dare it. But here we are, Muslim Muslim candidate. And in order to sell this concept for us, so that we begin to accept it. So that we begin to accept it. Initially, it is, simp it is called simple misdirection. They tried to say, ah, Tinubu gave there are more Christian, more Christian appointment than, Mus than Muslims. Uh, for the first time, a Christian is now the minister of FCT. Something that has never happened before. These are steps aimed at making you to accept the concept 
when it now dawn on us that is now an acceptable norm don't forget that no muslim will ever accept christian christian candidate it's not possible but they are gradually informing your mind to accept that it is a norm for a muslim muslim candidate to rule this country and what is even more annoying it is our over bloated educated southerners who are only armed with nothingness of grammar that will come and justify this thing with a few pockets of english grandiloquence that they have and say that ah after all i am not interested in the basics of religion pr provided that people with uh, the right tools for governance are given power. It doesn't matter whether you are Muslim or Christian, provided you can deliver the dividends of democracy. I am not precipitated upon to be boiled down by religious sentiments and religious antics. I am for those who can actually deliver. And when he finished speaking, he will, they will say, mm, the people that you are making case for will speak the house and say, Kai, geskia mutumine nya iya turenchi, Kai. What he just said, this man is speaking English. Kai is speaking English. But he's a fool. Sometimes I look at southerners who believe that just arming themselves with a few tools of grammatical grandiloquence, coming to speak in an audience and receiving vain applauses, they go home feeling satisfied that they have said something. Whereas, what you have said is mere nothingness. It reels nothing and amounts to nothing. It doesn't even benefit yourself. Talk less of trickling down to benefiting the South. And as if that's enough, you see people from whose territory the wealth that governs Nigeria is taken from are those that go to Abuja to beg for crumbs. Sad and painful if you ask me. Here is a man who dressed and disguised commoners on the street as bishops something i know that if any christian politician does and disguise commoners in the south as big imams in the north they would have been burning churches and killing christians in the north all right uh good morning good afternoon good evening to every one of you my people i appreciate you all uh it's good to be back here again, my people. Today is Thursday, 11th April, 2024. Thank you very much for your time with us. Yes, we have a couple of things to present to you guys today. We're going to be talking about politics. At the same time, we are switching to uh, Nollywood, what happened yesterday evening. So we're going to be taking all of them together. You know, but meanwhile, I'd like to quickly appreciate some of you, even though I've showcased everybody already on the comment section. Starting with Mother of All, Mommy Diaspora. Good evening to you, Mommy. Thank you very much for all you do. I appreciate you and I love you so much. Thank you very much, everyone, right there. I'm sure not for my dear sister. I can see you right there. Great mind. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Abigail, thank you very much. Wabo Felis, Raymond, thank you. Kate, Tamara, say, Keshuku, Don Anthony. God bless you all, my people. Just do your part as you just come in. Press on that like button. Let our voices go far. Thank you very much, Nena Ogbona. Thank you. This was I get there. Adela Jao going to be in the building. Thank you very much, Ari Omi. Uh, thank you for, for joining us. Uh, Shidima, thank you very much. Nosakare, Leonard, and Nozi. God bless you all, my wonderful people. Then uh, I can see uh, Bryce Strasser with us, Mr. Johnson, the man where Miracle be. Wisdom Lucky, God bless you all. Thank you, Zabu Konga, Wadia Onos, uh, Saga Daddy, and many others. Thank you for the first super chat we already had today from Peter Ife. Thank you very much. May your pocket never run dry. I appreciate every one of you, my wonderful people. Thanks for your time with us today. Yes, 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 yes. Before we move on, because to move on to the Nollywood side, I uh, would like to quickly, because we, we uh, all, let me take all the um, polities on articles, you know, because we have a couple of videos for you in terms of the Nollywood side. So, but let me quickly take all the articles that I have for you guys right now so we can take it from here. I appreciate every one of you, my wonderful people. I'm going to start with Daniel Boala. As you all can see, I've asked myself so many times, why is it that Dan Boala is attacking Mr. Peter Obi? Election is over. Uh, 2027 is still far, far, far away. And Dan Boala to, you know, to come uh, to talk about it is, is a PDP guy. So how come they are not making it official that Dan Boala is not officially a spokesperson for Bola Ahmed Tinobu? At least they should do that. Then we know where we are. 
You know, Dan and Bola have continued to attack Mr. Peter Obi for a reason I'm still trying to digest, which is difficult for me to understand. Although a couple of people mentioned it, or rather stated the other day saying, oh, he's attacking Mr. Peter Obi because I think that he's winning the heart of the Northerners and all that, blah, blah, blah. But let's show this too far away. Anyway, let me take this. Boala knocks Obi over quality of boreholes donated to Northern communities. I'm just going to go straight on this. A former lawmaker, Daniel Boala, has criticized the quality of the borehole donated by Labour Party LP presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi. Boala said the boreholes are repugnant to natural justice, equity, and good conscience. Mm. Boala claimed that water corporation in Anambra State, when Obi was the governor, was not in a good state. Daily Post recalls that the former Anambra State governor recently concluded his visit to 19 states in the northern part of the country. Obi also donated boreholes to some of the communities in Kaduna, Sokoto, and others. The guest show has attracted accommodation from many Nigerians, but it has not gone down well with some individuals, including Boala and APC people. The former lawmaker posted on his ex handle, uh, uh, formerly known as Twitter, you only need to see Peter Obi Water Corporation when he was a governor to understand why he sponsored that borehole that is repugnant to natural justice, equity, and good conscience. That is his style of governance. You cannot give what you don't have. I'm so happy that the demographics he deceived in the 2023 elections are wiser now. Now, I'll be that, my people. So I would like to leave it right there. Um, I'll leave this one for my wonderful panelists later to handle him properly. You know, we have one of our sisters that know how to handle Boala properly. But the law of God is my strength. So I would like us to move on, my people. It's, it's crazy. It's really, really crazy to see a continuous attack on this man like this. Is 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 difficult to understand. But meanwhile, I'd like us to take this one quickly right here. We have collectively agreed to disband any factions and support him, Northern Labour Party chairman and doses, Mr. Peter Obi. Yes. In a decisive mo a move, showcase unity and solidarity within the Labour Party LP in the 19th chairman representing the Northern State have anonymously passed a vote of confidence on Peter Obi in the next coming election. But meanwhile, 2027, before we start thinking of 2027, like I've said before, you guys must be able to put so many things in place. Are you talking about 2027 when we still have the INEC chairman right there? We still have the judiciary, the same people in office. I don't know how you guys are going to do that because I'm not going to be part of it. I'm going to be here watching you guys, but I will not support anybody if these things are not sorted out. I've said it before. Like I've said, in case some of you will come for me then, I will come for you as well. Because for me, I did talk my things in advance. I will not participate in any election in 2027 if... If the INEC is not restructured, the judiciary is not restructured, I, I don't want to, to fight a blind fight. I will not be part of that. I don't want to walk in faith when it comes to that, right? Although I have strong hope that Nigeria will be better in our time. I don't know how that is going to happen. It might have happened, you know, in a different dimension. Who knows? But still, for 2027, for everybody to participate on this, so many things must be put in place. I cannot go at the end of the day, put all my energy into something. Overnight, they'll be telling me that, uh, uh, what is it called? Beavers have been switched off or Nepal sees light or one of the uh, 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 poly unit agents they seek. I, all these things are bala blue. Remember, some of these people were in the, some of the, the, the results they, they uploaded, some people were in the kitchen, so were in the toilet and all that. We saw everything here. We are not just exaggerating. We saw everything on this platform. So you must be able to have a solid structure, you know, for you to face 2027. If not, you will fail. Let's say it how it is. Some of you might not agree because some of us say, move the pray, make it work. Uh, yes, prayers is good, but you must put in the work as well. As you can see on that one coming from China's Odile pronounces Fubara political leader of River State. Remember, I say Odile is someone that 
Wike have rain praises on so many times, built house for him, did so many things for him as his political leader. Unfortunately, these are politicians. Odile have turned his back on Wike. He's not supporting Fubara. Now the question is, why? Is Odile supporting Fubara for the sake of the River State people or is supporting Fubara for his own political interest? It's a big question that we all need to ask. But meanwhile, I'm not going to take that more than that. In case you want to read all the sources, I will just write there. All you need to do is click on the sources. You can read more on uh, on that because we work with time here. I, I saw in the comment section the other day, I was playing a video. Uh, I As I stopped the video and I put another video on, somebody wrote on the comment section saying, oh, why did you stop the video when the person was about to say something? Say something that was interesting to him. Although I didn't respond to it, but in case you are listening right now, I want to let you know. We decide the video because we have one satanic person that used to be here. So I'll mention his name, uh, Pansat, who, who accused us as well that we play the, uh, the part that we want people to hear. Of course, we play the part we want people to hear. I've said that over and over again. I can't have a, a three hours video or a two hours video or a one hour video. I will play the whole one hour. I select the part that I want you to hear and I refer you to the original source to go watch the remaining uh, uh, meanings. So please don't, don't tell us how we present our job here. When I present two minutes for you, I will let you know where it's coming from. It's not your duty to go watch the full uh, video there or read the full article in the source where we got it from. Because if we have to present everything how it is just because we want to uh, you know, uh, uh, please everybody, we might be presenting here for the next three hours. We're not going to finish. Please always understand with us. I'd like us to quickly take this article right there. As you can see, former minister of... For now, for now, Mr. Agbonaya, Unu dies at 72. You know, this man actually served in the regime of, uh, uh, what is his name, Buari. So he was age 72. He was a former Abia governor. His family has yet to make an official announcement about his demise. According to the BBC, Mr. Anu died from a strange illness in a medical facility. So I'll just leave that one right there. May so rest in peace. Although I don't really have any record about him, if he was a bad man or a good man, so I don't know. I don't really know him, to be honest. But, you know, uh, you still need to say say it how it is. Wish him well. Okay, that's done to DK right there. Also lambasting on Mr. Peter Obi for a reason I don't know. She went on by saying I'm disappointed. Turn to DK attack Peter Obi over borehole project in the north. Will I say this good way Peter Obi can do now? He's already turning against him, you know from the sight of the satanic set of people in the country. Anyhow somebody take do good, why must it be questioned? I don't know. It's, it's crazy. It's really crazy because this borehole of a thing, everybody is attacking Peter will be Peter will be not doing where I go free do one, I for take doam, I for not to do this thing. What is happening? You know, it's a question that I'm trying to you, you know to get answer to. You know, because the way people are attacking him is it, not a good thing. To be honest, we need to be uh, um, honest to ourselves. Hmm? Okay, let's take what Tonto DK has to say quickly. Nollywood actress Tonto DK has criticized Peter Obi, the Labour Party LP presidential candidate, in the 2023 general election over the quality of the borehole donated to the sub, sub communities in the northern Nigeria. Peter Obi has donated and inaugurated boreholes for different communities in the north. Reacting in on her Instagram, Tonto DK said, she was disappointed and unsatisfied with the ball was donated to the northern communities. She urged the Anabra, Anabra politician to join hands with President Bola Tinubu to contribute to Nigeria's progress. Hey, I'm not going to fall down with that, man. Ah, I don't understand. And, and she claimed that she was supporting. I don't know. So if you want to, a, a Peter Obi to support Tinubu to build Nigeria, don't you think that's what he's doing now? I don't know. Somebody will donate borehole for people who don't get water. I believe that that's a contribution, right? Or maybe I'm seeing dif something different, you know, which I don't understand. I believe that's a contribution and it's a positive one for that. So I don't know whether they, whether they worry many of us. So why this man have become center of discussion? Uh, you know, a lot of people are busting on him all the time. You know, I don't know why. 
But meanwhile, I'd like us to move on. Thank you very much, my people. Help us to press on that like button. Let our voices go far. Let me take on another one quickly for you guys. You know, as you know, I, like I said before, we're working with time. As you can see that one right there, terrorists release videos showing their, uh, their celebration, <laughs> hopefully in large gathering at Zamfara community. Yes, I have the video right here. I'm going to play the video. If I let me play the video here, I was surprised. That's... Uh, 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 what is it called? Uh, terrorists were also celebrating as well in a country where we have government. If we talk, so people will say, wait till they talk. What do you know? Uh, it's crazy. To be honest, this is crazy. Terrorists were celebrating. The other day, we put, we, we showcased the video on this platform where terrorists were, were showcasing money on TikTok. These guys are now everywhere. They have YouTube channel. They have uh, Facebook channel. They have TikTok. They have Twitter. They have Instagram there. Oh my God. Okay, watch this. <laughs> Oh my God, I can't believe, I can't just believe this. I can't be, no, normally, normally, which country, sorry, which God these people, they, they celebrate right now? Which, which God? Which God that they pray to? Now, wow, I don't understand though. You know, that stuff cannot be like say we, we, we are going anywhere in Nigeria the way things are going. But meanwhile, for those of you criticizing Mr. Peter, will be continuously without with no stop. We have our Edo sister who have responded to these particular people. Let's listen to this quickly. First thing, we not turn as they do. We don't finish. You get away to God, you open for my mind just now. <coughs> On an obvious, my voice don't crack. <laughs> it's the last video where I post. Now call, <laughs> now call, why kill my enemy? <laughs> I only said I'm gonna be responding to the lies. Why are some people calling me to explain the lies? Who <laughs> don't want me to do video? Anyways, let me know I can't record yet. I beg, this video now for not an answer. Why don't you like progress? Why are you disgusted by the sight of love? I'm not generalizing, but a lot of you not an answer. Especially the ones that are educated, we suppose they have the illiterates with food there. Why don't you like peace? In a course, I'm gonna religion, they forbid peace. I beg, may Percy help me explain. Why Peter Obi go donate boho so people will not get water? And some fellow not an are angry, dragging him. Say why go do bow when no get level. Make him not try and do him again. This one are people where they drink water from rivers like this. Bath with water like this. Cook with water like this. Then a river be this a be erosion. Even be near erosion clean past this one. And you are insulting the man that thought it wise to do something like that. Your leaders do an INC space do one. Share this hate never turn crazy. Never see the reason to use a gun swear for now. Now west. Now don't already they live like people where they cost. See you where they drag when last you see what that's a wash it, it, it's crazy it's really crazy somebody who came in you know anyhow with anybody to do help for person you know i don't know the person deserves to be applauded what is wrong with this as long as you guys are now have pure clean water to drink ha ah, now wow this is crazy but me why I'd like us to quickly move on because I have another video here, like I said, before we switch. But let me post out a link for those of you that want to join us. Please join us on time so that we can start talking about this. We're already for 42 minutes now. Let me post out a link. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to every one of you right there. Thanks very much for joining us this evening. Peggy Modi, I can see right there. Clifford, thanks for joining us. Good evening to you all, my wonderful people. Please do your part. Press on that like button. Also, press on the dollar sign. Encourage what we're doing here. Comfort Bebe, I can see right there. Uh, I can see uh, 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 Enterprises right there. Good evening to you, sir. Thanks for joining us. Okay, let us quickly take on this so, Omar Ali Soare's video. Omar Ali Soare have been accused of embezzlement. For the first time, I'm hearing this, though, but let's take this. And this is a person that do not in any way respect any entity or any establishment. This is a man that thinks he is a god. 
This is a man that has decided to blackmail people in this country. This is a man that has consistently, consistently, consistently dead every person. And so the political party, African National Congress, says we want to build a strong institution. We have to expel him. This man, this man misappropriated several millions of this particular party. This man was living a Hollywood life in a hotel called Radisson Blue. He stayed there for all, over one year, over one year, where you pay almost 300000 per night. Over one year, he took people's money that was donated and fought against the party. This is a man that was living a Hollywood life. This is a man whose life is about clubbing. This is a man that have continually ganged up a bunch of miscreants and beginning to terrorize people. He, he is, his antics is basically to intimidate, to blackmail, to hijack, to pull people down, whether in a small space or in low space. For him to come to IPAC today, the epitome of democracy, to come and do this, if not because the people here are courageous, he would have burned this place down today. This is because security is everywhere here, he would have burned this place down. He has this habit, he has this penchant, and this is what we are going to stop. The ASC does not want him, the ASC has, the ASC has, the ASC has expelled him, the ASC is telling the world that this man is unfit to occupy even being a primary school, a primary school captain in the class. So I want to say clearly, you can't see him around here, you only see people around here. What we are saying is this, the security should move in and stop this young, stop this young man that is indulging in Buddhism. You all saw how this man went to the Temple of Justice, to describe the Temple of Justice, by bringing a juju man inside the court of law. We have seen series of mis- Okay, all right. Uh, it's, it's very unfortunate to see most things are happening now, even when the election is still far away. How do we believe most of the things that is going on now? Tinubu is just a year in office, almost a year in office. It's going to be May, May 29, right? So, all this video where they come out now from different corners to attack Peter Obi, there's attack now on So Ray and all that. How do we not believe these things now? You know, so Saudi, I'm only so Ray have embezzled money. He was living like a Hollywood star. How? Where? I don't know. Have you guys seen any video where my Leso where they were living a extravagant lifestyle in Nigeria? You know, say for this platform, they talk things I like bill. Me never see them. If you see them, they post them for us. I want I'd, I like to showcase everything here. I don't cover for anybody. We are because according to the statement of that guy, that more or less so were embezzled millions or billions. I don't know how to talk on yours now. And it was living a extravagant lifestyle, exorbitant lifestyle. I would like to see things like that. What is happening? Eh? Yes, sir. Black Panther, my they, brother. Thank you. They, good day, sir. They have paid all of them. Because it's out of town, they have paid all of them. But one thing we should know, this is Nigerian politics, and one thing also we should know, mm. everything we work together for our good. As the obedient have stood for the truth, everything we come around and organize themselves and converge for Peter Obi. Watch out. Thank you, my brother. Because I, me myself, I surprised. I, I know you don't understand. More or less, we finally went to have some rest with his family in America. The next thing they see now, lambast uh, Boala from one corner, lambasted continuously on uh, Mr. Peter Obi. I, I, what is happening? But me, why? I would like us to take all this later on. But me, why? Um, my people, tragic happened yesterday. A very, 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 very heartbreaking tragic happened in nollywood and i believe many of you are already aware of this uh, many of you know the popular nollywood actor apo you know who died yesterday in the river after the boat capsized this was this is heartbreaking because when i hear ram you know the time why i tell year ram was when you know uh, um people were already saying that the door will come up. But my surprise, my surprise was when these people carry him. They carry him all the way. Go one spiritual place. Percy, when are we going to learn in our country? Somebody is dying. You will see somebody go get motor accident or carry and go church for prayer. Instead of to go straight to the hospital. You will see somebody will be sick. They'll carry and go hospital first, a, 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 a church first, before they go hospital. Now, you see somebody, 
you know, drown in the water. When a man is bring and come, and this guy was still alive. The, you know, the CPR, nobody know how to do that in Nigeria. Unfortunately, but somebody drive how many mines to go see one native doctor to bring this guy back to life. How does that make sense to anybody? Because if you are part of the people, where that thing makes sense to, I'm not part of the people. It doesn't make no sense to me. Somebody is dying. Una drive all the way. Go the near river, go do ritual. All this satanic ritualism is part of the problem that have drawn every part of the, the country down. That's why you now see now that most of the youth, many of them don't want to work anymore. And all of them are into ritualism of Yahoo Yahoo. Just imagine how we lost this guy. How he was crying on top of the boat, saying, I don't want to die. I have children. I have three children. Now me go look after my children. Now me go do this and all that. Then let's come to the disease. Even though I'm not good at passing blames on the dead, dead people. I want to use this opportunity to pass this message to every one of us, including myself, every one of us, including myself. And I will tell you why I'm including myself shortly. Before you embark on anything, don't get carried away with excitement. You went on a river Niger without any safety tools. No life jackets. No backup divers. Nothing at all in case of the eventuality. You know why I'm passing this now for everybody to know? I went to Dubai. And then we now went to the uh, safari. To the desert. Let me put it like that for those of you to understand. We went to the desert. It is called desert. Those the way sound full. I don't know what they call it. Safari, they call it there. Desert, people know it. If maybe there's another name, you should know what I mean, what I'm talking about. We went there. I've played the video here the other day. I played it. Maybe I might play before we end this broadcast again. Trust me, I was there with my family and the car almost turned upside down because we were on a, a, a Land Cruiser a uh, 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 Toyota Land Cruiser. That's what they use there. Now, after we returned back to the UK, although I didn't return back to the UK, my family returned back to the UK and I, I left them uh, in um, in Dubai. You know, No, they left the, a day before me. Then I left uh, about 12 hours later and I went straight to Nigeria. But my, my the reason why I'm saying this is this. I went for a holiday. Me and my family, we I, because we enjoy ourselves. We did enjoy ourselves. The motto be almost tumble. Make I talk in the language we always understand. Okay, God forbid. Let's assume it happens. You see, not every holidays we embrace with everything we own. Yes, we must be careful. We must be careful. After that day, even the driver himself was scared that day. He said they do this thing before, but this kind of thing did never happen before. Let's come to this. Don't get carried away with excitement and jump into anything. You jumping on the Niger River, Niger uh, uh, River Niger, with no ja safety jacket. It's crazy. Ah, it's crazy, man. And this is a guy, a very good guy. Very, very good guy. I like also listening to one of the guys that were inside the boat as well have this to say. I believe he have he, he have uh, better information than me. Let's quickly take this, my people. My name is T.C. Okafo. Um, I'm a Nollywood actor. First of all, I want to thank God for saving my life. Because it's not easy. The way I don't know how I came out from that boat. Understand? But the only thing I thank God for is that I came out alive with some of the crew members uh, like Sean Israel, Ogolo, 
um, one of my colleagues, Scooby Doo. Okay, first of all, um, one night I was at Bellwood Hotel and I got a call from Ogolo. I said, ah, Ogolo, Ogolo, they always call me one job day and I'm my guy. So you called me, you say, Tu Baba, T Baba, I don't remember you, I get a job. Where you did? I say I did there with this. Okay, come to Wicked Man's house where we always shoot film, and it's around my area. So I said, okay, I'll be there in the next one hour. So um, I was still discussing with some of my friends. They if I check my time, you don't pass one hour. And I call and say, I beg you, did that location. They say still did. I still can you come. So when I got there, um, he said get a job for me. Then the next thing, Adam Maluk came out. So, because the last job I did for Adam Maluk, the name of the film is Shortcut. Uh, you know, say Adam Maluk my person. So, anytime where I do work from, I do like seeing a family, even if I collect hire from other people, even if I become work for them, I know they ask them how much it could be. That's why the first job I did with her, who finished the job, all of a sudden, the person where I get respect for, she sent 30,000 to me. As in, I'm mad. That time, now, during that time, we BP do in music. Imam Kosi Miss again. Naimi and Jerry Amilo, we dance for the video. We can't do video for BP promoting something. So back to what I was saying. They gave me a script. Then they started joking. Ah, they go, we will go enter water, we will go enter water. I say, which one do you say we will go enter water? They say, we will go. I say, I say, I beg, how the job be? He said, they don't really don't start the job. I will be on set tomorrow. I say, you are giving me a script now. I say, I will be on set tomorrow. I won't take read all this thing. They say I beg they go need me tomorrow. I said okay, no problem. Last night she said make I go. Say we will talk for WhatsApp. I say no problem, but I beg if through through they, they, they cross water. I know they like cross water. It gets why everybody know where in from come. Before I cross water, they go observe them. Now I say no. I say okay, let me call my my spiritual mom. I called my spiritual mom. She said okay, no. Say make I go. Say nothing. Say if I finish so far, say if I finish, that's good. Why I'm supposed to give water people say make I still come drink and for them. I say okay, no problem. It is the next day where I supposed to start the job. They don't call me throughout that they are come the rest. Why these people they don't start this their package? They will tell you be on set, they wouldn't call you. So the upper day, I got a call from Ogolo. I said they're gonna need me this morning. I said, Ogolo, you're gonna need me this morning, but your girl never call me. Why had that man look never call me? He said no tea, but I say she go call you. I said, okay, let me come out with trust. I came out. And then look half an hour for phone. Wait till you go pay. He tell me, say, uh, see, see, make I talk now. I say, see how much why they collect to. She tell me, say, okay, see what thing go happen. Say she know to get money, I beg now. Say she have paid junior pool. Say her money don't go down. Say, you know, say, no be waiting at the collect, but I beg, make I collect 100,000 from her. I said, okay, Ada. I'll take this job because of you. I say because when I bought Pekin, I say for one supermarket, wish she bought me Pampas. And that was why how we settled in that her last job, the shortcut. So uh we'll come go the job that day. We'll fly we'll, we'll first shoot for our campus, um the the uh our campus forest. And they will be in the shoot. The next day they can't say no, we they go Anam. Say now for that Anam they are picture day. So when we got to Anam the first day, when I got to water, according to one of my spiritual mom, I bought Fanta. I used um, alligator. Somebody said a hundred K hero, I'd be hundred thousand. Hundred thousand naira. Hundred thousand naira. <clears throat> Understand? When I got to the to the place, I bought Fanta. And uh, I I have ten thousand with me. I spread them for the water. Give small small children wait on top of the water. The remaining five K we did there, two two hundred. I, that's much you do on top of the water. We can't go that first day. So when we got to the location, Junior Pope never come. They come to wait for Junior Pope. When I'm sorry, oh, that hundred can a salary be where they want to buy water for the children we did there. I don't understand that part. You know, did anybody on the panel understand? Was that hundred K, you know? Or let me take it back a bit then. I don't, I, I, did, I want to understand. The water. Elvis, Elvis. Yes, sir. Elvis, that thing is artist fee. You can't believe it. That's the artist fee. Can you that's imagine? Call, that's the artist fee. 100,000. That's the artist fee. 
Wow. Let's let's. Uh, uh, I say send me fifty dollars. Say uh, if I don't send the money for me, make I balance and back. I say God bless you. So they come. They call JP. JP, you know they call. He, he tell them say I did Grand Hotel. I did Grand Hotel. I go see me. They don't call him more than twenty times. He say he go see me. He go see him pick. The next one he no go pick. So we waited for like thirty minutes. He no come. Uh, uh, up to one hour. One hour, some minutes. JP never come. So, he can call me for phone, tell me, say, TC, I found out. Say, you don't talk with, say, you don't call Adama, look, say, Adama, say, he go go bank, go transfer the 100,000 for me. I don't be wonder, for 100,000, a big chick like you won't go bank, so if you transfer the 100,000 for me, I no talk, I say, no problem. I can't say, okay. anyway. All right, uh, you see, we, we have other two videos that we're going to play here. I want us to also listen to another video that we have here you know, on what the um, someone else have to say concerning this whole thing. Thank you very much, guys. Please help us to press on the like button and help us to share. Thank you. You they get now even this by yourself on the say see another boat to see another boat before the guy go open eye the, the two boats don't already near each other. Oh that the thing that the own boat not down that one that the thing well, no divers no they divers no divers now I the thing they pay me because there's no there's no diver here so I the thing go happen now all of them don't already done the inside water but luckily for um six virus oh. and two other persons oh. three other persons All right, um, let's move on. I still have two more videos to play quickly so that we can start talking. Please bear with me, guys. I just wanted to take everything together, you know. Um, but meanwhile, I would like to quickly recapitulate back to his own particular video that he did on top of the sea. Hey, no vex, yeah? Yeah, bros. Don't leave me there, bro. No vex. Nobody they love. Don't leave me there, bro, no. Don't leave me there, but I got three children. I'll be going to raise them. I got three children. I'll be going to raise them. <laughs> Bros, I beg. Oh, Jesus, what is this? Bros, I beg. I beg. I beg. I got three children. I'll be going to raise them. I beg. Take a small spot. Don't like this. is a risk. Swag Nation, see the risk we take. Hey, it's okay like this, I beg. Don't speak. See the risk we take people to entertain you live on the wrecks on River Niger. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. This one that it hits under. You don't go boss, Abi. Swag Nation, the lie. Oh, but my, my, my test I don't come out, oh. I'm not joking. <laughs> the risk we take to entertain you. I am begging the captain that I'm the only child and I have three boys, I'll raise them. Yes, sir. Captain, God bless you. It all come down with the speech. Yes, no, 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 no. This guy. Swag nation. <laughs> yes, sir. So ah, me so rest in peace, man. Then we have another lady who cried out what is going on in Hollywood. You know, it's crazy. Uh, for those of you that is joining us for the first time, I don't know if you guys are aware that I'm also a, a movie producer. I've produced about nine movies already, you know, which we have one evil pending right now that we're doing. You know, when I, when this guy, you see that actor mentioned the money they paid him 100,000, I was shocked because in the industry, I told you guys before in the past, producers from abroad are big threats to Nollywood, big, big threats. 
They are liars. They are full of lies. They don't tell you what is happening. The exact money that's supposed to be given to actors, how things are supposed to be done, never. When you come from abroad and you're a producer, anything you are hearing from anybody in the Nollywood, in fact, 99.9% .9 in the Nollywood is lies. Yes, including DSTV, African Magic. I've said, I, 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 uh, African Magic, I've mentioned their name, called them out here before. My first ever movie, African Magic refused it. My second movie, African Magic refused it. My third movie was when somebody now get to tell me right there that work with African Magic that, no, you can't bring a movie in just like that to be accepted. You must be able to do one or two things, make a cut and shot. Until this, my movie was sold. African Magic ended up buying my movie, but percentage from the money they paid to me were repaid back to somebody in, in, in charge of collecting movies in there. I'm telling you guys my story now. Not be waiting people to talk. Every time they show narcissists and people, right? Nollywood is corrupt, full of evils, and full of different things that is happening there from air to toe. From head to toe, you see, I'm choosing, I'm, I'm, I'm talking from the marketers right now. From the marketers to the last person in Hollywood, makeup, uh, 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 makeup artist or the DOP. I'm telling you, there must be a proper restructure in the Hollywood industry for things to work like this. To be honest, because... Me, I was surprised that they pay actors 100,000 naira. This has never happened to us before. I thought that they're supposed to be paid 500,000 or 200,000 naira. They go charge us 2 million naira to pay one actor. They'll charge us 1.5 million naira to pay one actor. I'm telling you guys, I have my own story. I shot my first movie in 2016. In fact, things are happening in the Nollywood industry. But meanwhile, let me keep my own story out of this for now. Listen to another girl, a victim. Paper, you see this paper? 2021 October, I did on my own for Instagram. When this movie people, great rock movie, say they see something in me, say I'm a good artist. Now I enter Moto Gede Gede. They said to register now 200k. I pay the money, raw, raw, raw cash, transfer, I go see, find my phone, make I bring the receipts, come. I pay, finish, for night, the man want shook a prick for my body, but now Shakiri man bomb me. And if he pay 200,000, finish, may you put prick for my body. See, today, they not call me. See, I'm, you they see, I'm, you they see my name. See, today, they not call me. Me, I get money and maneuver my way, I go. What of small, small children where they lost? We not go feel talk about one, may they leave the rest. Make federal government, make it ban that thing for us. But it don't too much, eh? Of a tree, it don't too much. Go inside bush, go zen it hotel. Go different, different. All of them, nobody there, so. They whole a for paper like this. They, they parabolates. They find small, small children. One, they just see you for, for social media. Maybe Facebook. They just see you. Maybe you just, they do one small thing. Where God say bless you. Eh, uh, come to us, but can you ask? There are many ways they deceive people. See evidence. Make their bands down. Made the band down, made the band down for this sasaba, made the band down. Evidence number one, see how they give me, make a call. My 200,000, yo, I not see a tea today. They're not coming me, I call out anything. If I call the man and the man not they pick my call, he block my number for everywhere. Made the, everybody because of YouTube, they are seen, they don't see for TV. YouTube channel, follow my TV, follow my what you want TV, follow my this day, this day, YouTube. Who not get talent? They put people should dread. We not go talk one, live one. Many people should dread all loss. Many they craze. That what also does it take people, not be so day. Make the bands up. Uno ba shop belefu. Go ask all the small small guests for this asaba. I came to heart. I came to heart. I came to heart. Where to na the heart? For for petty YouTube page. For petty YouTube page, you'll not be saying that for the world. For petty YouTube page, because of long shots of people money, I know if quiet again because of small small children where they don't go. 
Look at now, small children die for the water yesterday. Oh, they, they, they bring out only one person. Nigeria, forget the two children. Now, so full as about run hospital to hospital. Nobody fear inside the water. Go bring the small two upcoming way, way they inside the water. Tweet so they, they never see body. Now, because of this thing, I'm a heart. So I'm now so sub come for Oweri because my guy for spot time. He say he friend from Oweri. Come act movie evidence. Kwa 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 make God make banza. Make the band acting for Asaba. They're not going to do broadcast. They're not going to do everybody. They go, hey, I get script. Everybody na producer. Everybody for this time except me na producer. I'm a producer. I'm a producer. I'm a producer. Best way not to speak clear English. I'm a producer. I'm a producer. And follow my TV. And this my friend. They... May God may ban them. Of a true. Of a true. May God may ban acting for Asaba. This one are my evidence. They see an evidence. Make up me banza. I know go Greek. Government must banza. This is sad. Very, very sad. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I'm I'm just speechless. I'm speechless. Let's quickly take the last video. It's a tough Wednesday for fans, colleagues, friends, and family of Nollywood actor. Uh, Junior Pope Odomodo, as we all grapple with the realities of the drowning incident which took place in Anambra State. The talented movie star was initially said to have drowned while returning from a movie location with his colleagues in a boat when they fell into the Anam River in Anambra State after a boat clash. But some bodies are said to have been recovered while the search for others will resume tomorrow. Now, before this incident, the actor had shared a video of himself on a boat, uh, praying frantically to arrive at his destination safely. Let's bring in Arise 360 anchor Kachiofia, who has been following this incredible story. Mm -hmm. uh, Kach, good to I see have, you. I yeah, truly really incredible. What, is, what are we learning is. here? It's, it's a terrible one. Now, it's very important to note that there are no confirmed reports as of right now. Mm. As a matter of fact, the last confirmation we had, because so there's a lot of you know, different yeah, stories conflicting. going on social media right mm. now. The last confirmation that we had was uh, from the Actors Guild of Nigeria president, Emeka Rolas, where he said that Junior Pope was alive and was you know, receiving treatment at the hospital. Mm. Now, what we've um, understood from the situation based on my conversation with Emma Carolas was that there was an accident, a collision, yeah. and uh, Junior Pope happened to have been in the water for about two hours oh. before he was brought out. It was the second person mm. that was brought out of the water. Now, there are still people in the water that have not been revived or brought out just yet. Uh, there are also reports that they are going to go back uh, at about 12 o'clock tomorrow to see if they can bring out the other people who are still um, in the river. Yeah. And when Junior Pope was brought out, he was brought out dead. And then he was taken to the mortuary. Mm. On getting to the mortuary, it was said that, you know, he was still alive. So they took him back to the river to perform some spiritual rites oh. over him. And that was when you can clearly see from the video, he's sitting up and a person is fanning him. It was after this moment that he was then transferred to the hospital wow. to receive oxygen. On it's a very, very unfortunate circumstance. To be honest, very, very unfortunate. Um, it's not what anybody would wish for. You know, I just pray uh, may their souls rest in peace. This is what is going on in Nigeria, uh, Nollywood uh, industry. You know, like I told you guys before, I'm part of it, so I understand uh, what is going happening right there. So, you know, uh, even... Naja Wash. Hold on. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Naja Wash. You see, I was so angry today. I'm telling you that I'm going to bust out today. Because they should, they should, through that pro, uh, producing whatever, that company, or whosoever has that, thing, they should swing to court for a criminal case. It should be that's how jail. That's I suppose. I'm telling you that this industry what, is What the hell people. is that? Don't they value life anymore in Nigeria? My brother, because I'm of telling money. you this industry is corrupt. You because know, of I, money. It's crazy, man. Jesus Christ.
is is really really crazy what happened and uh you know um ah man, somebody where you built house like six months ago he celebrated his house you know he moved into the house with his three children and his wife and all that you know so it's crazy it's crazy if i tell you now my full story about this you know you know i studied film and media you know i have my first degree in film and media i kept tell, saying it all the time here you know so i venture into the industry you know when i see what they saw up there till tomorrow till tomorrow ah man a lot of things are going on right there you know so uh these are my some of my movies you know that i've shot before in the past and that's battered wet you know you can see all, all of them lie there you know letting go you know you can see these are some of my movies you know then you have a uh, shadow of self you you see that many of them are just there you know these are this uh that that is me and my director right there you know so um it's just crazy it's just crazy what is happening in the industry i i, I promise you guys i wanted to say something earlier on consigning the the dubai that we went you know let me quickly showcase just 10 seconds of this video here for you guys to know what i was saying why we should we should avoid you know in fact why we should be careful the time of taking some decision what this is it you know watch this one quickly you know i'm just gonna mute it because of the copyright that is me there let me show you when the car was moving coming to this particular place you know it is called safari when the car was bringing us here that car almost you know turned upside down which was terrible you know we don't say the beauty of the holiday now with the sea but wait till almost happen we know the siam or wait till you see for them we know they talk about and rather you know let me see if i can uh forward it to that particular place and uh, look yes this is when we're going as you can see this is it these are the cars nice nice our car with this so waiting up for a year i was asking me myself say god me and my family waiting they happen just because we want to enjoy our life that's why we must be careful in the time of taking decision or rather in the time of excitement we must be careful in life I'm telling you guys my story because I love you all. I say things I read. I'm a very honest person, but I'm not a perfect person. I try to carry everybody along to prevent anything that might happen prospectively. That's why you see when I say something, I quickly show something to show you guys. I believe the excitement with uh, Junior Pope and others, they enter that river Niger, they forget themselves. See where one pass for here, for example. You know, if I if I unmute this place, you see the way we were screaming. I don't want to unmute it. We were screaming and how things happen and all that. This is one of the things that we all must be careful about. Let me stop it right there. I just wanted you guys to see, to know that in life, I saw a video that was circulating the other day on, uh, on WhatsApp. That was sometime uh, two weeks ago where some people went to holiday you know, this thing that we're turning there around, I don't know the name, you know, four children died. This this one are, this one are Igbo people. They died. That thing break on top, they died. So holiday is a beautiful thing, but we still need to be careful, you know. So it's crazy, but I think it's time for me to allow you guys to start talking. You know, I can see um, a print, Oga Prince, you're asking for a link and others. I'm going to repost the link again. Let me take just two calls quickly before I come to the panel. You know, thank you very much. For those of you that want to call in, this is the best time. Just call in right now. Mr. Shimeze, thanks for calling in, sir. Good evening to you. Right, yes, sir. You know, I'm only going to uh, do two, two minutes, sir. Two, two minutes I'm because we're not having time. I'm not happy. I'm fat. Since yesterday night, I saw my mood was so bad that I'm fat. I don't know. Why must we, must somebody die before we're going to learn? Be, must we die before we're going to learn for something? Sad. It's so sad. Very sad. It's so sad. Oh, uh, okay, we will learn from this. So we are waiting. Let something happen before we're going to learn. That's too bad. Why are we like this? Nigeria, your phone, your everything, there was somebody, okay, when all this happen, what the people do? You keep fooling, keep taking pictures, why? No numbers, nothing. Okay, you can't even rent, you're going for a RC like that, you can't even rent a, a, a life jacket of how much? And they say it, this guy, this PC, I... I listened to all his uh, uh, his uh, uh, interview. You know, they they 
Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's sad. I understand how you feel, sir. I, I can feel the, the pain in your heart. This is it's, it's crazy. You know, let me quickly take another call because of time. Uh, Mr. F.A., thanks for calling in, sir. Good evening to you. Please, you have only Good two minutes. Sir. We are doing two minutes. Go ahead. Okay, Nigel, Abe, please, I want to talk. I want to talk about the Omoye Lane show already. Go ahead, you have two uh, minutes, sir. Go ahead. Okay, okay, may I please just talk and beg? Omoye Lane show already, my time. My brother, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not like a, it's not, it's not just a, it, for me, it's not a new thing to me because in what Omoye Lane show already they do to me, uh, Mr. Peter will be now the repercussion I did this one, so. So if we if we if we if we for this platform, because we know say uh, most of us still like a more this this is the time everybody to know that for, for this life, you know every time person you know they find you, you know who may you they always they worry that person. You see the way more election worry they talk about will be see now now come and have this so shall be you see so a more election worry matter me as it's all it's all say I would be happy. Because it took it too, it too day against our principal. So that's like, before that one. So this guy, now just just uh, this uh, uh, junior pope, now mm -hmm. uh, for me, oh, it's just like a carelessness, but may he so rest to perfect peace. Ne at least Nigeria uh, federal government, if they want, they, they need to look into this case. Because you cannot, people cannot just take their life uh, a carelessness like that. It's, it's, I don't know, Nigeria, everybody just doing anything like. Anything like without no uh, uh, instruction, without no issue of the country, uh, man, it's, it, I don't know. It's, it, 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 everything, everything is, is too. Uh, Nigeria is too messed up for everything. Okay. So my brother, now with my contribution to that, my brother, thank you. Thank you, my brother. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Let me say, uh, thank you very much, Prince. Thanks for calling in. You have two minutes. Please talk to us. Hello, hello. Hello, Mr. Niger Watch. Thank you, sir. Good evening to you. You have two minutes. Talk to us, sir. Okay, two minutes. Sharp, sharp. Yeah, the hell, uh, uh, bros, for the good work you are doing. Uh, first of all, um, I want to say may the soul of um, our brothers that are tied uh, rest in perfect peace, our brothers and sisters. It's, uh, it's quite unfortunate, you know. We used to say this in every time, Nigeria is a crime scene because uh, everything in that country, there's nothing that is organized. Government is not organized. Civil servants, nothing organized, private sector, everything, everybody just banana republic. It's quite unfortunate, my brother, you know. The guy who called earlier, uh, um, earlier on, with due respect, uh, don't uh, allow yourself to fall into the trap of APC. APC is uh, planting people in different parties just to destroy uh, blackmail and use propaganda. That's what um, they are good at. So don't fall into their trap of thinking um, uh, it's a karma, karma for Moyo Shewere. You know, it's a different matter of uh, Shewere and there will be issue. Is a different matter entirely. They are both, both of them are fighting against uh, the, 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 the vampire system. Okay, so don't involve yourself in uh, the fight of um, APC. APC, they are, they, are, they are vampires. They are the ones that are setting up everybody. All right, thank you. That is one. Then, then um, on a final note, uh, um, Elvis, you see, the other day uh, you, you are saying Sir, something. your minutes is up. You have, I said yeah, two minutes just now. Please, two seconds more. You see, eh? you said that the other day that um, now they can that uh, something, if um, something happens, nothing will happen, you know? You said that, um, I, I agree with you that nothing will happen, but I want to remind 
you and uh, not a, a kind of uh, castigating you, but to remind Nigeria that uh, nothing will happen. That's how Boko Haram was uh, given birth by Nigeria government. Today, hey, but it's better we prevent it. If you are going to look at Boko Haram, you know, and somebody who is still there alive, prevent it not to happen. <laughs> that's it. That's that. In fact, that is the bottom line of that discussion. Prevent it. Nobody say it don't happen now. It be like say somebody they talk say if you die, you go do your burial. Make the whole world yeah. shut down. Will is that nice? Eh? Uh, yes, that's that's good. So yeah, let's yeah, focus on good. how to get him out, not uh, waiting go happen. You know. Yes, we have, that's that's what I'm saying. That so the best thing for us is to advise anybody that okay. uh, have uh, interest to advise okay, the government. Don't allow this thing to Okay, sir. To okay, your minister is up, sir. Oh, your minister is up. Thank you very much, of, sir, uh, Mr. Prince. Of, uh, Thank you. Haram. Thank you, brother. All right. Um, let me take one more call and then we are done today. Uh, Madam Tami, you are calling in. Uh, okay, Mr. Tony, also calling in. Let me quickly uh, return Madam Tami's own quickly. Please, guys, stick with your time. Time. You know, let's work with time, please. Thank you very much, madam, yes, for calling sir. in. Good evening to you, ma'am. Two minutes. Please talk to us. I know, sir. I'm in pain. Let's go. Uh, but uh, what happened since yesterday, I, I, I'm not believing. Even now, I'm still not. But, uh, oh, God. What is happening to this, our country, Nollywood? Four months. How many people have gone? I can remember there is this prophet that dies. We look on the on the on the roof. She said it. She said Nollywood they should be careful. There will be a lot of death that is going to shock. You see the jobs coming to me. Please, they should be careful, they should be prayerful. And that woman or those those people that are in charge of this thing, they should be arrested. And this is the thing. Our government are not in charge of anything. It's continuous stealing dealing with the life. What the those Please, okay. Thank you. It's okay, man. It's okay. Oh, I, I, I don't like this kind of thing, man. All right. Uh, let me quickly hear from Tony Africa, then we we'll move on. <sighs> oh, wow. Hello, Tony Africa. Are you there? Okay, uh, I'm sorry, Tony. Africa, we don't call people. I'll be waiting for you to pick your call. I'm sorry. I have to move on. Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate every one of you for your time. You know, before I will, I will do this, you can see, you know, that was the house this guy built just uh, about six months ago. He built that house six months ago. Look at it. He don't live now to enjoy this house with his family. Just like that. It just go like that. Tony Africa, you know, yeah. we are calling you. You are not picking yeah. your call. If yeah. I call person for a year, two, no, sorry, if you ring was, twice, you know, yeah, pick, sorry, I'll cut it off. Sorry. It's not my duty good, to be good calling people back. Good evening, sir. Good evening, good sir. Evening to you, sir. sir. Please talk to us two minutes. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. So, make no matter guy when you're talking about this. Don't use the word, don't use the word, don't mind. Uh, you know, please. Uh, okay. I know, I think you can not worry yourself about uh, what you were saying that uh, the prevention is better than cure. Exactly. Uh, so then uh, to the system, you know, that's the fact that I'm having here every day. The first day I posted a, a very simple picture on your Niger Water platform, sir, on your platform. Mm. That, uh, and then I was even expecting people to react, nobody reacted. Because I just I was just uh, on the street, then I saw one woman that was uh, just a little bit ill. They just called one, one, you know, one, one, zero. The police had to come there with uh, two ambulances, you know, and then then I had to, I said, my God, I said, let me put it on your watch. And then he said, yes, sir, probably just, uh, you know, maybe he, 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 he have seen in there. I mean, that's why I said that uh, the country can no longer work, sir. Things have already fallen apart, sir. I know that you are doing your best, you know, to rescue that country. You can see that uh, the whole system, uh, when they talk about this, out of 1,000 items, no system is working. You know, nobody to control. You know, are the waterways there? People are supposed to be there to be checking on people that are entering those boats. 
you know, for life jacket or whether they keep to the rules of the, I mean, nothing is going to work in this country until we return back home. So long people like you, you don't have enough money to be buy your primary, to buy your way to the government house to, to run the things, people like you. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we say that uh, when you see people are buying their way through primary and you see them, I mean, dollars, you know, I mean, what the hell? So what do you think we are going to get there? Then at this point, we'll be allocating money, uh, you know, to okay. the Thank senator you. that will not go to their constituency in the next four Thank years. Thank you. Your two minutes is up. Carrying our project. Your two minutes is up. Your two minutes is up. Your two minutes is up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let me take uh, Madam Origin. Thank you very much, ma, for calling in. Good evening to you. Hello. Hello. Hello, Madam. Good evening to you. Thanks for calling in. Please, you two minutes you have. Please just go straight to the point. Thank you. Yeah, straight to the point. Uh, I greet everyone. Thank you, Mr. Niger Watch, for you, keeping this at the light. Um, yes, very quickly, please, please let us not fall into the trap of uh, what I call Onokbasa University people. They had, they are so many of them. They are receiving salary. They are going to come out to do say a lot of things about well-meaning Nigerians that are doing their best to see how we can come out of this quagmire. When you find criminals in charge and they are trying to, you know, indict or treat people that are trying to get us out of quagmire, throw them under the bus, let us not fall into the trap. Mr. Niger, what you said is a lot. You trust Mr. Peter Gregory. When you look at his antecedents, that is what you're holding on. So I encourage us, Mr. Peter Gregory, Obishawore, Mazinandikan, go and study who these people are. And when anybody is coming to throw them under the bus, don't buy it. Let us not destroy our own people that's what i want to say thank you for thank giving you. me time to thank you very much man god bless you thank you yeah okay um juja bread man thanks for calling in good evening to you sir please talk to us two minutes uh mr elvis yes sir good afternoon thank you very much good evening you are not talking uh may the soul of uh, all that have uh, departed may their soul rest in peace can you hear me? Go ahead, sir. Yeah, yeah, may the soul rest in peace. Uh, but uh, I want to ask a question. Did they force any of them to enter inside that boat with our life jackets? You see a, a, a shabby boat, you see a, a crooked looking boat, you enter inside without force, you don't have life jackets. So I don't know who to blame. I will. I definitely the producer has to be uh, criminally prosecuted. But the people that enter inside that boat without life jacket, you enter. You open eye, enter inside your your desk. That's the recipe. The country. Everybody is a criminal in that country. Both the government, both the people. The country is corrupt from from bottom to top. That is why. Uh, and and the and, the and the country itself is also a criminal to itself. The country is a, is a criminal now. The country, the creation of the country is what criminal. Oh, God. It's crazy, man. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, sir. With, yeah, well, let me let me conclude by saying this. Um, um, what's his name? Showery, and uh, the guy that is. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what is going on, but I know that uh, it's not all about politics. It's uh, maybe there's truth to everything that is being said, but we'll see how it plays out. Let me don't talk too much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jija Bradman. God bless you. Thank you. Okay, call us, please. Uh, fortunately, I really need to stop right now. I'll come back to you guys again later on if the time is permissible. Let me come to my panelists. Thank you very much, everyone that joined us right now. I appreciate you all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all. Let's talk about this. I'm going to start with the first uh, uh, panelist on the panel, uh, Black Panther, my brother. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, please, I'd yes. like you to talk to us. You have eight minutes, please. Let's work with can, that. Can, can you help me out? Can the next person talk before I talk? 
Okay, better. Okay, okay. I'll come to you. That's good. Okay, uh, Mr. Jonathan is the next person. Mr. Jonathan, it's good to have you on the show, sir. Thank you very much. Good evening to you. But before that, sir, please just hold on. Let me quickly acknowledge uh, Madam Obi Ashoko. Thank you very much, man, for your super chat. Thank, thank you. I really do appreciate this. My pocket never run dry. And thanks for your wonderful submission uh, here yesterday. Mr. Jonathan, please talk to us, sir. Eight minutes. Yeah, Mr. Harris, how are you? I'm fine, sir. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. You, you're doing very well today. How are you doing? How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, greetings to everyone, that, uh, all the panelists. Uh, I greet you all and those that are on the comment section. Uh, greetings greetings to everyone uh, there and, um, and welcome. I I don't even know, you know, where to where to start from, but let me just, you know, start on uh, uh, Junior uh, Pope. You know, um, it's so sad. It's a, it's a sad one. Um, it was, um, in fact, yesterday, was it not? I think it was my wife who mentioned it to me yesterday night. I, I didn't even have time. I just want to go to bed and sleep. But but I, I, I didn't even know that today you are going to present it and then, you know, so that one can get even more full details, you know, information about uh, about this uh, sad, sad event. Um, I, I pray that his soul will rest in perfect peace and that his family, they will find, they will find peace and the God will give them the strength and the fortitude to go through this time. Um, see, when it is, a, again, it, it is, it is the normal standard when you, when you, you know, you, thank you very much because you did a wonderful job. You, you gave a full presentation from, you know, details of the event, how this thing actually happened. Thank you, sir. So one can get insight into it, you know, into it. So it for me, it is a normal standard of how everything is done in Nigeria. We're just seeing it playing out. Unfortunately, it is the lives of people at the end of the day that will be involved in any of these things. And it's not at the end of the day, it, it won't be a palatable story. These are the kind of stories that we're going to be seeing because. It is just the normal standard of how everything is done in Nigeria. From how individuals like you, like myself, and millions of Nigerians, how they run their businesses, including the Nigerian Nollywood, the Nollywood actors, the Nollywood practitioners, directors, uh, PM, production managers, as they call them, uh, producers, uh, sound artists, sound, you know, sound recorder, you know, all of them, the, the, across board, all the Nollywood practitioners, that is just how they run things. Down to the government that run the affairs of the state of Nigeria. It is an, it's just an, it's a, it's, it's, it's a, it, it's an indica it's a indicative, you know, state of how things are done. In Nigeria, we can see it clearly. I know that the Nollywood in Nigeria, I know anyway, any anytime I'm having conversation either with families or with friends on Nollywood, except some few people, we always have divergent and opposite opinion. My position has always been that the Nigerian Nollywood is overrated, completely overrated. Some people will think, some people from many Nigerians, they will say, oh, the Nollywood in Nigeria is thriving. They are making a lot of money. And I will say, just sit down. I try to lecture, lecture those that care to listen. Where do you want to start from? There is no standard. And I believe, I always tell people, they, do, I do, I don't, they don't even have any agreement in place between producers, directors, and actors that are enforceable or that are even binding. Mr. Jonathan. Yes. Mr. Jonathan, in terms of they are making so much money, yeah, yeah, that is correct. But only the women. Now, only the women that join Hollywood or shoot two movies in a year, they'll buy G Wagon. Now, now only God okay. come to and they tell they get the money. Check it. 90% of the women in Hollywood have mansions and drive expensive cars. Why? Just 10% of the uh, uh, two, oh, one. Two percent of the men, you know, in 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 Hollywood, are the one doing well. The remaining percentage are struggling. It's not easy for them. 
I, I because for me, I, I, I look at it and I'm trying to, I try to make sense of it each and every time. Because when each time, each and every time I watch the movie, the Nollywood movie, or I read about them, or something like this happens, I try to make sense. It doesn't add up for me, it doesn't make sense for me because. You will hear before you call Jack. Now you say this one is sick, that one is sick, he's calling for money, people to donate for him. And I'll be wondering, I've been watching this guy for, 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 for decades. I've been watching some of them when my when my son was a year old, six months old. I carry my baby in my hands watching Nollywood movie. I've been watching this guy. Now my child is over 20, and this guy is still the same level. And now that you've been doing this thing for almost two, three decades. And then they will be calling for money. And I'll be saying, what's happening here? Something must be wrong here. Is it that they are living an extravagant life that is beyond their means? What is it really? I don't understand. And you will see some of them, they will show off. They will show off, you know, luxurious stuff, on, on, on especially in this age and time of social media. They flaunt everything on social media. And then you were thinking that, okay, this guy is a billionaire. But at the end of the day, you'll be surprised. So I know that there is no, there is no standard at all. There, there is no standard. I do, the salary is, I know the salary is overrated. Because when you, the other side of it that doesn't add up to me is that, okay, when you, when you, when you produce a movie, I'm trying to look, okay, how do you make this money? Is it the marketers that paid you the money? Is it that this movie premiere on cinemas across Nigeria that people, you know, came out the way we used to do it here, the way it is done in the Western world? Black Panther, my brother, your name. That's why I like the name. The, I will just use that one alone. I won't get, there are, there are, there are tons of them, but I will just use Black Panther. The day Black Panther came out, we saw, we are all there waiting in my local theater here. We want to, we are, we are in fact, it's not only me, all of my family, all of us, six of us, we are there, we want to watch Black Panther. And the next day, we all saw it again, the amount of money that was raking that night, that first night of Black Panther. So when I, so I I try to relate it to Nigeria movie. Okay, let me because, let me quickly yeah. educate you a bit on that area, sir. Yeah. You want to know how they make the money? Yes. Yes. We struggle to make the money because the country is totally corrupt. When you shoot a movie, for example, you shoot a minimum of movie, maybe five million naira, a minimum, you know, maybe from five million naira upwards. On that five million naira, the number one marketer that we have in Nigeria is Africa Magic. You know, they will now come to Iroko and all that, but Africa Magic is number one, DSTV. DSTV end up buying your movie for three million naira. I'm telling you, this one, when they talk so, producers listening to me right now will be very upset because they are, you see, the mask that they want us to be wearing for people to see us that we are very big is what I'm revealing right now, and none of them will be happy about it. That's why when you see actor on the streets, you ask an actor, say how much do they pay? You go say no, that movie where he do, they pay him fifteen million. Now lie, mm -hmm. you know money where he get if he too big five hundred thousand, now he gets. Mm -hmm. He just wants you to look him like a big boy. That's mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. Then African magic give you three million. From that three million naira, you are going to pay back again mm -hmm. sixteen point something percent from that three million back again to African magic. Somebody that is approving movies. If you don't pay that, you're in trouble. Then you now pay 7.8% to the Lagos uh -huh. State government. Uh -huh. If that was, you know, oh, Africa Magic is in Lagos, in mainland. Anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. You pay that to the government. You understand? You now pay lobby, lobby, lobby. After you don't do all the lobby finish, the 3 million where they give you, the money where you can't get for inside will come be that 1.8 million. Wow. You understand? 1.5 safe. Then let's come to the cinema on. All these things that you see that everybody make on cinema, why you see our producers or our actors come out to to, to represent on people making money on cinema, say, oh, in one day or in two days, they have hit 100 million naira. 
Let me tell you how it works. Mm -hmm. Like I said, many of them not go like it at the talk so They won't like it. <laughs> how it works is this. Whatever you make from the cinema, the owner of the movie we collect 26%. Whatever you make. Hmm. You understand? Hmm. Then, cinema, we collect 60%. The remaining 24% now for lobby lobby. So let's wow. assume they really make genuine because many of them they lie. Say, I'm a movie, don't hit one billion naira. My movie, don't. let's assume you make 100 million. Person that agreed to you that they make one billion, for example, now 200 million make for that movie. You just want to hype it for it to for your names to go far. Mm -hmm. From that 200 million, the one way they take home for his side, if it's too big, now 50 million. And money when they shoot that movie, now like 30 million or mm -hmm. 40 million. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah, so yeah. There's really no money there, except you are a wise producer that is investing at the same time of when the money they come, or you have other source of income for sustainability. Yeah. That will I... make you stand out as a good producer, a mm -hmm. worthy producer. But for the women, if the only one movie they shoot for 300 years, they must buy you wagon. Thank you. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> you see, the, 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 thank you very much for that insight, uh, Mr. Evans. Thank you very much. Because that guy that acted with Pope, he said the, 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 the producer wanted to, you know, wanted to pay him 100,000 naira. I, that was surprising to me. The fact that you are acting with even like a side actor with that guy, Pope, they were acting with him. I was expecting by the way they hype or overrate the Nollywood that in this kind of a movie, this guy will be paid like maybe two million or three million naira. But the guy said, even the hundred thousand naira, the producer was running all over the place. He can't even pay, she can't even pay him the hundred thousand naira to put even his life at God just saved that guy. God just save him that he will still remain in the land of the living. Because that is that is exactly the 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 way the way I see it. So for me, I am not deceived at all. It's just the fact that we Nigerians, well, let's bring it out. We are just gullible. We are gullible politically. Now we are talking about social issues. We are still gullible. Economically, we are still gullible. So where do you want to start from in that country? In all spheres of life, Nigerians are just gullible. People will just tell them things and they will run with it. For the fact that there is no standard at all. You have said it all, Mr. Elvis. Again, I will, I will end this, uh, this part by, again, uh, you know, expressing my condolences to, to the family of a junior pope. God will give all of them, all his family members, the strength um to go through this period that's my my prayer for them so um i know other panelists will still have a lot to say then i will um quickly join to what uh, uh, magnus oraka said uh, earlier you know i you know i i this today i agree with him completely i mean i with with what he what magnus oraka you know tried to to achieve through that presentation and I believe that it was deliberate. He knew exactly what he was doing. Because what he did was that, first of all, he mentioned, he said that he has tried to reassess Peter Obi, which I have done myself at one, more than one occasion, let me say. Try to reassess this man. Is there anything somewhere? Because that Nigerian factor always come in here, you know, once in a while. Is this thing, is something hidden somewhere? that we don't know. You know, Nigerians can be very crooked. Nigerians are very smart. They are, they, they are devil incarnate. They know how to manipulate stuff and how to hide stuff, but they don't know how to develop stuff, but they know how to, how to destroy things. Is there something missing? I tried, but I couldn't find. I couldn't find. So there is no reason for me, as of this day, as of, as of this very moment, to change my perception of Mr. Peter Gregory Obi. There is none. So what he did there I, is, is, a, is, 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 is 
was, was brilliant. And the second thing he did, which I believe that we should all be doing from time to time, if we believe and if we want a good Nigeria, if we believe in a good Nigeria and we are all looking for a good Nigeria, we must continue to do this. And I believe he did it deliberately. He brought us back. He outlined all the acts of Mr. Tinumbu before the election, during the election. Don't forget, in other words. Because sometimes we feel, and before you say it, some people will come, you are just talking. You are just saying the same thing over and over again. Let it be over and over again. If that is what you are we are going to stand every day, repeating the acts, the evil deed, the maneuvering, the schemes and the lies and demagoguery of Mr. Tinubu, if that is what we are going to be doing every day, let it be so. We must not forget that Mr. Tinubu forged his certificate. We must not forget that Mr. Tinubu had drug case and he was, he was convicted. We must not forget that Mr. Timumbu said that he will reduce our purchasing power and he will increase taxes. We must not forget. We must be reinforcing it every day. Because that is, that is one error that I believe we are, we, are, we, 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 we are committing. For people like us, progressive like, so, like us, it might be difficult to forget, but we can easily fall into that trap too very easily we can be drawn into that trap by forgetting how one of them is this classic uh, 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 silly, silliness of of daniel, daniel buala that can make you to forget if you are not focused and if you are not on track yes very easy we cannot forget we can, we I, I cannot forget that nigeria had a president today who did not at for one time came out during the election period this is what he's going to do no 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 debate of any kind all he said was bala blue that is going to is going to recruit 50 50 million nigerians and what they are going to be eating is agbado and corn we must not forget that this is the this is the this is the kind of man that nigeria settled for we must not forget because it is in remembering all these acts that will make us to stand focused. It's not we, 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 we cannot, we cannot. That is Jonathan. why. Yes. Yes, Shango, are, you, are you still a Yoruba man? I am. I am a Yoruba man. I'm not sure. I think you are Chukudi. <laughs> Go ahead. Thank you. See, Nigerians, we cannot, we cannot forget. We just cannot forget. It's, it's, it is dangerous. It is deadly if we do. And everything we are doing every day, if we forget the acts of this man, he took Nigerian, Nigerians for granted. Told Nigerians lies. We must not forget the acts of the, of, the, of, 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 of the judiciary. We must not forget. We must bring it out every day because that is the only thing that will kept us focused. And that is what the likes of Buala is trying us not to do. He's trying to make us not to do, trying to make us not to remember by coming out every other week. Now it's even like weekly because he must do it. That is, is working for his paymaster. That's what he's paid to do. So I don't have time for him. I am focused. I am focused on the deeds and the acts of the man who is presiding over Nigeria now, his acts and his deed before he became president, during the time he was campaigning, how he schemed, lied to Nigerians. I am focused on that. So it is not you, Daniel Buala, that will take my focus away. You cannot. You have you have, you, have, you have no, you, you, you don't even, you don't even, you are not even close. With all this silly, incoherent, incoherent statement that you are coming out with every other day now, it's, it's like you don't have you don't have anything to do. So for me, I don't I don't I don't have your time. What are you even talking about? Listen to yourself, Mr. Daniel Buala. Talking about balls. Which ball are you talking about? And how many balls? 
as all your pay, all your paymasters built in built in northern Nigeria with all the trillions of nairas, billions of dollars that they have stolen from the Nigerian Commonwealth. How many balls? So bring it up. Let's wait for your own 190 million naira ball and let's compare it. We are waiting to see your 100 that, that your paymaster has budgeted, budgeted to build. Let's see it before you start talking because you cannot compare one thing. It must be two or more. They will stand side by side. Then you can make comparison. After all, you are learned. After all, you are learned because you are, you are bringing it into question now. Is it that you bought your own certificate too? I'm thinking towards that let. Perhaps you bought your own certificate like your master. Because if you are learned, you will know that. At least let's compare. Let's wait for your 190 million Naira Boro. And then let's compare Apple with Apple. You are comparing nothing right now. You are comparing nothing. You are just wasting time. Silly. I don't have time. You can, you can, you can. I'm, the only thing I'm waiting for is the next episode of your ranting. I'm waiting for the next episode of your ranting next week because that is your mandate. That is what you have been instructed. That's what you are being paid to do. So I will, I will that, that's that. And then you know, you know, have people like him, like, like, like him. One Tanko Diko is a, is a, is a Nollywood actor. We've just talked about them. And I can, I can, I, I, I'm, I'm very sure she has nothing. She's got nothing. I don't know what she's what, other than just overrated, and coming out social media, you know, talking rubbish. I don't. This, this, this is, this is silly. This is another psychophant looking for job, looking for job. Say, he has the, she has the guts. One tanko, tanko, di, tanko, diko. She even has the guts to come out and be saying that, uh, uh, talking about Peter Obi regarding the ball. What, do, what does she know? That one. What does she know? Oh, you mean Toto Dike? Toto, do, do, yeah, Toto Diko or whatever, whatever her name is. What does she know? Who is she? She came out talking about who, who, who is she? He doesn't even know you. She can't, can't even differentiate her head from her nose. What does she know about what is going on in Nigeria? Other than the fact that you are being you are you are being paid, or you are looking to be you are you are looking for ways that you could be paid by men that are that are they they, they, they will use you and dump you. Men that are older than much much older to be your father. Rubbish. See. Nigeria is, is just sickening. Okay. It's a country. Is a, let me just round up with this, Mr. Elvis. Nigeria is just a country that is sick. Uh, we all know that. If it is not, if it is not a country that is sick, how will you see terrorists brandishing AK-47 openly celebrating Islamic uh, events, the Ramadan, celebrating the end of Ramadan? If not that the country is sick, terrorists that have caused the country so much, lives have been lost. So many lives have been lost. It's affecting Nigeria in every area. People can't go out to their farms. It's affecting the Nigerian economy so badly. And these are the people, and they have the gods, they, they, are, they are coming out, brandishing AK-47. I don't know which god they are calling. AK-47, we saw it there. If not that the country is sick, and then before you know it, they will say they have the capacity. They, were, they, are, look, they are looking for people. They will say they are even looking for people outside Nigeria. When the people that are right there living with you inside Nigeria, you can't even, you, are, you have no, you, you, you dare not to go, to, to, go, to go get them. You are talking of people outside Nigeria. That's a country, that's a government that is not busy enough. That, and the government that care less. Mr. Elvis, I will leave it at that for now. Uh, I want to thank you very much and uh, thanks to all the panelists. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Jonathan. Thank you. That was a wonderful submission and uh, give us a mandate. Thank you very much for that um, 
question earlier on. I like that. I like that because uh, yes, there's a reason for that question. Is not left for everybody to di to digest it. Asking Mr. Jonathan, are you still a Yoruba man? Yes, that's good. Can you see someone vibrating like that? We need to know where you come from. I mean, not gonna be like say, you know, they can't say now nah, did they talk? Uh -huh. So more they talk because somebody actually accused me today on the comment session. You know, uh, calling me an Igbo man, supporting uh, Nabdi Kano or supporting this and all that. I told him, I'm not supporting whatever Nabdi Kano do. That's not the bottom line of the, 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 what we're doing now. What is fair is fair. What is right is right. You know, you can't keep Nabdi Kano in prison while others have been released. And apart from that, you can't keep Nabdi Kano in prison while terrorists are celebrating uh, uh, their festivities. Nabdi said... Yes, the the house uh, where a part bid for Anambra, no be name the canoe house now bid on here. No be you then they call uh, Chukuma. <laughs> no, 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 no. She do, she ne do. Me that be my yeah, because name. Because I know say the house where a part bid that. Uh, in name now Chukuma RJ. No, no, no. no, no. My, my name. Not, <laughs> not my name. For that uh, Solido Junction for Anambra. Now there, oh. you know. You know. Hello, 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 Nada was. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I want I wanted to clarify something. You said uh, a very important thing that I'm still that's even ringing in my brain. Now. I just wanted to clarify us. You know, uh, you said mm. uh, the, the the men in in Nollywood they, they they hardly make good money, and the women once they do one or two films or three films, they they go and buy uh, uh, what do you what do you call the car that they, that they do buy. So, what's the secret? That will make no, them make sense. In case you are not aware, I made mistake. Not only G Wagon, no, that they buy mash on join them. And then they go for oh. and add addition to it, then they go to, from Nigeria to UK on first class. First class ticket cost 40 million era. First class. They did there, you understand? So these people, eh, they are working hard. You can see that, see that they, 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 people spend more for the women and spend less. I will hours. tell you their secret when I yeah. submit. Don't my worry, brother, I will analyze my brother, it. My brother asked me, they talk to you, so I'm still consulting. I'm still okay. consulting. Okay, <laughs> you know what? Me, I finished consulting, Mr. <laughs> Niger Watch. I will <laughs> tell you the, what they are doing. But this, so my brother, brother said, if he asked some kind, Mr. Evans, this, my brother said, if he asked some kind of question, you're about to say, Bo bueno, call a fin sorrow. We don't go use all mouth. Take and talk. another thing again, my I PR just have now. Because about it, let me quickly add this that Mr. Prince, I want you to understand. It didn't end there. If you were married before as a woman, you become an Hollywood actress, you must divorce your husband to be alone so that you'll be free to do whatever you like. Uh -uh. Okay, now, 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 now understand. Okay, okay, clearly, clearly. Clearly. Now, let, let Mr. Prince digest that by himself. Now, be... you must uh, that, that, I understand now. Perfect, you know. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank I you. Appreciate sir. Love yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's move on to the next person. Uh, uh, Black Pata, please talk to us, sir. Good evening to you, sir. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Nigeria Watch, and uh, good evening to everybody. Wherever you are, good evening, good morning, good afternoon to every patriot on the channel this day. And I want to thank uh, those out there commenting and our beautiful listener intelligent listener and also the people that you know write on the comment you people are awesome i love you guys uh you know gay our mommy may god bless you thank you for you know making us also to upgrade ourselves in terms of being consistent in everything we do because we are learning that portion from you and we are learning rightly because we are children that learn well, not stubborn children. I want to thank you, man, for doing a great job for, for us here. Uh, I want to start by talking on uh, the terrorist celebrating the I I I Islamic uh, festival. Uh, like I said the other time, I said one thing that what we are having, they are about to build a terrorist cell in Nigeria. And when you build a terrorist cell, they are going to build their own network. They are going to build, they're going to have their own server. 
They are going to have a lot of things that will make them sophisticated. And when they have that, you start hearing um, a, a rocket being thrown from one part of the country to another part of the country. We are, we are, we are getting there. We are getting there. And when we get there, we are going to shout because the Nigerian government is aiding and abetting building of a cell in Nigeria. When we get there, then the story that I, what I said that Nigeria is not a friend to many nations, but we are diplomatic, you know, diplomatic, whatever they call it. That is what we are. Because as a friend to the, to the, to the, to, to, to this world, to the, to other nation, how on earth will you allow a cell of terrorism to be built in your country? All this thing we are hearing is just for a while. The uprising will soon start and the world will focus on Nigeria. That is when we know whether Nigeria will stand or Nigeria will split. Because a world has come and Nigeria is going that trajectory. That is, it's not even we, Nigeria, that will split that country. It is the outside world that will split the country. In order for it to demarcate between those doing the terrorist part and those who are who, who are who are following the, 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 the their own religion with due diligence and they are they are they are behaving the way we humans should be. We are getting there. What they spoke is not mere word, but those words is going to be backed up with action. Let them finish building their cell. And I want to go to um to, to DK, I, I, I guess every one of you shouldn't even talk much on uh, to, to, DK, to, to DK or whatever she call her name. She's, 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 not, she's not relevant in the scope of things to me, to me, and it's my word. She's not relevant because I have lost hope on all the Nigerian and um, Nollywood, you know, movie producers, majority of them, not all. Majority of them have lost hope on them. Even the Nigerian artists, the one that play music, and you saw all, all, all of them, I say only 1% that I even have hope on, they are doing something. But the remaining 99%, they are all, they are all more or less not useful to Nigeria. They are greedy, they are wicked, they are satanic. Look, a lot of these people have made their money the, especially the Nigerian uh, 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 music, produ music producers, they've made money. Still, none of them can boast of having one thing on ground to give back to the to give back to the country that has made them who they are today. None of them have human face. They are flying on private jets all over the place. They are wearing clothes. But they've forgotten they came from somewhere. When your history will be told, it will start from the country you came from. How well have you contributed to the, to the, to the development of your country? It's not by giving money to people. We have so many artists. I have, I have lesser time. We have so many um, uh, superstars all over the world. We know what they are doing. We know what they are doing. Their physical structures on ground. I want to ask every one of them, all the millionaires, there are all those artists that have private jet and everything, which every one of them, have they any idea of putting a structure, of having a medical structure in Nigeria that will take care of the needy, the poor? Which of them have a scholarship firm for the poor Nigerians? Looking at them as their hero, none of them, rather, they go on buying private jets and singing to the bourgeois. Nigeria should not have hope on them. Those of you that are taking them as your whatever you take them, that is your own. But to them, to me, they are more or less irrelevant in the scope of affairs of, of the country. Look at what they did during the uh, 2000, the, the, when we had election. Look at what they did. They wouldn't tell us what, they, they, they cannot say the reason why should they should go contrary to progressive minded people of Nigeria? They don't have any reason. And look at what we are facing now. Everybody is eating the, uh, the, the, the old porridge. Everybody is eating the old porridge. I want to go to um, 
of the junior pope and some other artists, Nollywood artists that, that fell into the, um, the, 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 they have both capsized in River Niger or River Bruno, whatever river they call them. I want to say this. I was really angry today. Where people will say, oh, we lost it. People will be saying, mourn with the, mourn with the dead. I was angry with everybody. Because the comment I put on the internet when they were saying the story, I told them, say, all of you, in short, there is they, 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 they something wrong with Nigerian movie and there are people that are playing the role. There's something wrong with their mentality. That is why, despite Lagos State Governor is APC candidate, but I still, where they are performing very well, you give them praises there. In Lagos State, you cannot ride on a boat without your safety jacket on. It is not possible. It is not possible. If any of you have ride on it, you will know what I'm saying. Two, people don't care, Nigerians don't care about life anymore. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, help me. You are not doing your own part. Jesus will not come down and help you when you fall into that ocean. It is because of your negligence and value of, for life. You don't care. People, you are a breadwinner of your, con your, your, your family. And you don't, take, you don't take good care. You don't think twice before you dump into things. All everybody's seeing is money, 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 money. Now they bring the ultimate sacrifice because of their negligent, simple safety condition an average Nigerian cannot keep. You have to force them all because of money. Money will remain. Life we go. Money we remain. Life we go. Every one of us came to this world to meet money. We will go. But before we do, we should not go stupidly by our own mistake. How can you be a Nollywood? You are a superstar. You are entering a boat. Common sense. Common sense. Safety. Safety first. Even an average, an average child growing up in western world they teach them safety safety first safety don't run be on a straight road follow your follow your follow your your your, your crew hold your hand safety first but an adult a big a big adult where grown with beers does not know anything about safety all he knows is money 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 are we taking this money to anywhere no it's going to be on earth and we will go to where, where we go after, after matter pay our dues on it. So the Nigerian Nollywood and the artists, all of you, you got to take notice of safety first in everything you do. And you got to give back to your, to the land that have given so much to you. Still, they are still giving you. Everything to give. The Bible says, whatever you sow, you will reap. Departed, may their soul rest in peace. I want to, I want to talk on Boala. Is a joke. I want to ask one question. When did Boala turn an engineer or a certified uh, bow technician that will certify that this bow is well done or this bow is not well done? And I could remember uh, he is a, a lawyer, the law profession has been really tarnished. The judgment, your elder brother, they were sitting with white hair on the table. Look at the judgment. They are deciding your own destiny, my destiny. They sit there and decide who win election. And you ask, you go to UK. Where in the, on, on earth has the judiciary decide who wins election in UK? And you come here. And I got what? See, I, I, I want to say this thing. You see all these people that come from, they say not, not. Yeah. They come, they do, and they call themselves professor, doctor. Go mm -hmm. and check their foundation, their work. Most of them don't get past three credit to. Most of them don't pass. I challenge Buala today. Let Buala bring his certificate for work. Let us see how many credits and A's he got. How they come and tell us that they got decision in law school. We, they gave, they, they use money to, to, to persuade the electorate to get A. Let him come with his own 
certificate. Let us see what he got before he start telling us about engineering work. And you say we are not learned because we are not lawyers. You, you are not, you are more or less an illiterate when it comes to engineering in Nigeria. So you just enter house and keep quiet. And Mr. Najawa, thank you for giving this opportunity. I will speak on the, the issue on what is happening, just opposing it with what terror is, just opposing it with the question you asked, what kind of Islam they are, they are doing, what kind of God they are worshipping. I will give you details on it, and I want you to go and find out. There's a broad explanation on this issue. Nigeria should learn it so that Nigeria should divide between the shaft and the main fruit. We should know who our enemy is, what our enemy can do in the next minute. I gave you part one. Today, I'm going to give you part two today by telling you the type of Islam they are practicing and which is not Islam. Thank you, Najawash. My brother, thank you very much. God bless you. <laughs> That's what we see. I'm hey, Nigeria matter is crazy, man. Every every angle is like um, I don't know. Somebody called in. Okay, that was Mr. Shimizi. You know, okay, Mr. Alex, I'll I'll send the link now. Mr. Shimizi, you know, his submission earlier on was saying that every angles, every sector, everything about our country is just not working. I'm telling you. Because sometimes when we are calling out the government, it's not just the government. You know, yes, I know the government is the foundation of what led us to where we are today. But still, nothing is working in Nigeria. Every angle, every way you look at it. Trust me, let me tell you guys something. If we are lucky today to have a good government, then the government will not start facing lots of challenges from the people. They will not see that the table will not turn around, will not be complaining about the government anymore, will not be complaining about the people. Because if you have to ask me, in terms of these practices of satanism, I'll give government 50%, I'll give the people 50%. Some of you might not agree, but I'm telling you, the heart of Nigerians are so, so wicked. Not all, oh, not all. I'm telling you, but majority. Many of us cannot follow rules. It's a big problem for us to follow rules. Some of us believe that we are too big to follow rules. That's why you see when you see a big man driving, you know, when he, when he beat light, you cash. And they say, I have appointment to cash. I have appointment to cash. You know, I'm, I'm professor, this, this, this. I'm senator, this, this, this. I'm the whatever, this, this, lawmaker, this, this. This is the problem we have. You know? So for me, you see what happened for Nollywood now? Should we not go and blame our government for this one now? Maybe some people might say now, oh, government did not pro pro provide health and safety and all that. But what about a producer or rather the actor that jumped inside a, a boat? Should I call that? Is that a boat or a canoe? What do you call an a boat, Abi? Or a canoe? I don't know what I would call them because there's another reduced name I would have liked to call it. You jumped inside. Nobody put into consideration health and safety. Nobody can do CPR in Nigeria. It's crazy. Everywhere is corrupt. Everybody wants to get their own percentage from anything that you want to do in Nigeria. I'm telling you, everybody wants to get their own percentage. Many of you understand what I'm talking about now. Anything you want to do in Nigeria, as long as you have contacted one person, if you don't pay that the money, if the money is supposed to be 100,000, have it in mind that you are going to pay at least from two, 300,000 naira upwards. Should we blame the government for this now? Our mindset is totally gone. And trust me, if you want us to hope for the next generation or the, 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 the future, future prospective generation to come and sort all this out, these guys will be worse. Yes, these guys, because we already have 11 years old, 12 years old, interviewing them that, yes, I prefer do Yahoo than to go to school. I mean, I never saw the video flying, you know, some time ago. So Nigeria is, thinking about the country is crazy. It's not just the government. We, the people, need to work on ourselves. We need to follow instructions. We need to do the right thing. We need to set good examples. Sometimes I commented on a platform uh, two days ago. Uh, concerning AY, 
I think we need to discuss that next time here. Concerning A.Y. and his wife leaving each other, then I commented telling her because she addressed her husband by baby, uh, my, 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 uh, my, 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 my baby father or my, my father's, my children's father, something like that. And I said, ah, madam, a, a, a marriage that you wear for the past 20 years or more, you are already addressing your husband who will never divorce legally as the father of your children. Then I went on by saying, listen, madam, you cannot leave your home for another woman to come in to enjoy after you have suffered. I will advise you to go back to your husband and make up with your husband. Live with your husband. Now, so I talk, Arisho, I said, they tell you now, so. 99.9% .9 of people that responded to my message, I've got more than 1,000 response on my on my message now insult in fact the insult is still poor as when they talk so i can't go buy umbrella why I take cover may the insult not hit me again the ladies are insulting me hey, 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 hey. my brother not be smart you know they beat me anyhow the days have gone the, those days are the uh, how they talk on that time have passed where men believe God are the days. God are, God are the days. Yeah, God are the days, yes. That may, may things that we can always apologize to them. We don't need you if you don't need us. Gone are the days. No, let a white go. He's cheated. He's done. We don't need you. This is that. Someone like you can never get married. Now, me that is also. They beat me where, where, for the past three days. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm still trying to massage my body for the beat where they beat me. Just because I say, make this woman go back to your husband, don't leave another woman to come and enjoy the fruit of your labor. They said, started saying, Oh, you think a man can just cheat? And that's it. What about if we cheat? She's not going back. Go up to are you the father to tell her to go back? I was like, oh my god, please make una try go check him. Uh he's on our own page. I commented there. You go see the beat where they beat me there. <laughs> so you see, this generation or the next generation that you think that we change the 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 the, the, the old thing scenario for us are even going to be worse. That's what I'm trying yeah. to say. I'm telling you, they are going. And, to and most of them, most of them, there. Sorry, most of them does not wish out well. Just they are just know, pretending. They are going to be what they don't. You know, say many of married, many married women now. They are very happy now. They now have social media in laws. They prefer the social media in laws than any other in laws now. So that is the problem we are facing. You know, like, I want like to see. Watch. Also, yes, sir. My 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 dad watch one of those people commenting. They are looking way to go and hook up with the uh, AYU. All those people exactly. went to advise them. Yes, now. The yes, wife now. Make they don't, they don't make make well. leave. If you exactly. if you if you talk to AY in the next few weeks, he go say, look, oh, even the women where they come to me now, now my wife's friend, former wife. That's all they go tell you. No women. They say, not not. I'm not trying to. But that is exactly. They will tell you, leave her. Leave why are you there? The moment you leave, another person go take over. And that person, where they tell you leave. So uh, this was my she put Percy where they never divorced. This woman went on to post a figure eight uh, 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 shirt on social media. You know, I've been talking. I give on a uh, 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 tips just now. What did they stop for the industry, right? Una never divorced legally. She can't go post picture, you know, to all her figure eight and the quaquaza, everything can show. You know, how can you be posting this kind of picture already? You understand? Then, as I talk, and they start to they beat me, oh, my people, make I put this thing, make I see whether I put them for a year, make I see what I'm talking about, my comments. You know, me, my second, they read my comment over and over again, say, ah, what do me can do? So I be, you get with your science. That was my comment, my people. As you all can see right there. My, I beg, read it, Augustine. Read my comment. Maybe they don't say I did by us. He said, so you are husband of 20 years in marriage. 
you are addressing as the father of your children? Listen, madam, go back to your husband and apologize and live together like ever before. Don't allow another woman come to your, into the home you built for the past two decades to reap the fruits of your labor. And don't also end up like many other women who left their husbands and ended up with a married man. <laughs> I pray God give both of you the grace to love and cherish cherish each, each other again. Each other again. I, I bet mean, not going to tell me my wrong uh, goal. Uh, this, is, this is a strong it's elderly fine, advice. Mr. Mr. Elvis. Exactly. Yes, strong Mr. elderly advice. Mr. Elvis. You know, yes, you know we had a, you know we had a came after you just because you yeah. used that word apologize. I'm not blaming I'm not blaming you, but I'm saying this was the word that made them come after you. Maybe if you have used go back to your home and reconcile, maybe you know for beat you like that. You know, Sorry about that. Do you know, do you know? Let me say this, please. One more, let me say this. I know most of us live abroad, Europe, America, everywhere. One thing unique, I must say this, I can stick my neck. Nine out of 10, if not 9.9 .9 out of 10, anybody who must have lived in the UK, the word apologize, I do apologize, is a simple thing. Sorry, I apologize. We don't take it as anything. I'm being honest. It's anybody simple, is UK, anything just, wrong? That's See, what I'm saying. Say, we don't, apologize we don't take, and keep your husband. We don't take it as anything. You know the people. Somebody in the US told me that they know people from UK or British people. He said the moment they say I'm sorry, say they too they apologize. I don't know whether somebody in you in US no, told the me truth, this. The truth so, of the matter. So, 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 that, is, that is why they regard the English man for as me, eh, civilized, I can the apologize most civilized man in the world. Anybody, me, even if anything. Augustine, see, eh? I can apologize no. to somebody that offended me for I peace know. to win. Listen, listen, I read there's a book <laughs> about Iniesta. For those that follow football, there is this player, Spanish player called Andreas Iniesta. To me, he's the best player I've ever seen. They said the Iniesta hardly commit foul. Now you go bring him down. Now you go come to tell you, sorry, sorry, sorry. Help lift you up. But now you now you tackle him because he carry ball. They won't give Messi, make them go score. You tackle him down, and the referee they show you card. Now he goes still they tell you sorry. They apologize. You see, you see, humility is a strength. But in, Are you guys Africa, in, in, in yes. Africa, in in Nigeria, we feel that humility. If you are humble, you be mumu. Yeah. Be mumu. To be honest, to be honest, yeah. Augustine, you know, it's painful. Whenever we drop comment these days, you see these guys that jump on you. This generation and the next generation are already wishing for all married women to leave their husbands to now start, maybe they sleep with each other as woman to woman and man to man. This is what is going on now. I'm telling you, the word, if you are thinking that the next generation will repair Nigeria or repair the world, all of them are the joke. Thank you. Let's move on. Yeah, don't they happen now? Don't they happen now? Okay. They beat me, my brother. They beat me. Oh. They beat me oh, now. Now I take uh, 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 massage my body every day. They beat me them, anyhow. And, uh, and Nigeria has the largest congregation of church in the world. No, the no, largest no, branch no. in the world. Let me take this call quickly. Let me take this call quickly. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mother. Love of God is my strength. Thanks for calling in. Please talk to us. Two minutes. Thank you. Two minutes. I don't know. I don't go greet to make another vessel. No greeting today. I say, uh, you, they, you they go comment when they, they do uh, women supporting women. What did you say they go do? They beat they me, Mama. Oh. They, I, I, now, in fact, as I they tell you so, I want to buy fence sick where I want drink for my headache. Now, they so.
Leonard and, and some people which already came together in America and decided to do this AAC party. It was Shore who started it because I know about all these things, so I can tell you for sure. It's Shore party. Leonard was drafted into it. And what happened is that when, they, when we did nine, 2019 election, uh, Leonard went to collect money from VK and everybody they sold every uh, uh, people under AAC to VK. He collected a lot of money, dumped the party, and sold it to APC and PDP, which I know about very well. So Leonard is uh, talking rubbish. He's not, he doesn't have any right to that party. The gang of breaking Shore to take it from Shore is in re owner of their party, so I know that for sure. And today, I met uh, Zagoji, and I met uh, one of the APC where I went to anyway. I met one, one lady that worked for Tulumbo, and she came to me and said, Madam, help me, I need a cleaning job. And I said, sorry, oh, I don't have enough time, so I have to go. Sorry, I can't help you. I spoke to Zagoji because of my time. I need to go because I don't like going about my time. Thank you. Maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll speak about what I. You don't about. talk. You don't talk about your friend, though, Buala. Ah, uh -uh. are you okay? You don't talk about your friend. Uh, 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 no, because I don't. I really want to talk. I challenge Zakoji. Uh, <laughs> I really challenge him, and I say Zakoji. Hey, give us that Zakoji. <laughs> So I told him that why did Go you ahead. vote for B? And why did you vote for Tulumbu? Why did you do that? It was very, very wrong of you. He said, Oh, uh, OB is not good. OB is, I said, When was this? That? I've met him before. Today, I said, Even to the girl work for a girl, I saw a lot of things today. I was even shocked. He was brought to London, private jet to London when he was sick. So you saw him so face to face or something? Yes, face to face. So I called you today. Even the girl that normally carry the wire, Tulumbu's wife's bag. Today I was dead. No, let me tell you, something is happening. Let me, let me, because I've, I've gone tomorrow. Tomorrow, maybe I'll have another time. We'll, oh, okay. We'll talk. Okay. Thank you. Thank yeah, you, ma'am. Thank yeah, you, ma'am. Ma. Yeah. Ah, now, wow. Anyway, let's Look, move on. I, have this, I, saw, I, saw, I saw a letter of uh, uh, towns by Zakoji to Tulumbu family because they saved him recently. They, they mm. sent him to 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 uh, uh, Western Water Water treatment. That's treatment. this. Why this? That is where the, the loyalty comes from. But they don't have anything in their pocket. They become loyal to even no, people no, that, no, are, the, the that are their enemies. Is, the question is: Is if a commoner is sick now, who will come fly and go Lord or go take treatment? Uh huh. That be the wala. Who no man had to come on. Anyway, we hear from other people, man. I uh, appreciate every one of you. I would like to come to Mr. Ike. Mr. Ike, please, if you're there, I'd like you to talk to us. Uh, good evening to you, sir. You have eight minutes. Good, e good evening, my brother, and good evening to everybody. Um, to start with, let me start with uh, your Dubai experience. You see, that Dubai experience, if you leave the desert safari, there is another one they call the hole. That is when they use the big boat and take people around then you can look around the city exactly I, we went on that as well that one did i have the video here right now yes. good do you know do you know that you can't get into that boat most times you can't get into that boat if you don't have a life jacket it's as not possible safe, as safe as that one is do you know that thing is very safe at least to an extent is safe but if possible. you if you don't have the life jacket you won't get into it this is not like i can swim i'm i'm a fish i can swim no way you cannot because that company will be sued if anybody dies on the water. But our own standard is so reduced. Do you know, as I'm talking to you now, people are still getting on boats in Nigeria with our life jackets because nothing is enforced. Nothing. It's only multinational companies that are working in Nigeria that enforce it. There was a time we organized the Coca-Cola Island if you don't have the jacket, you won't even get on the boat. Not even canoe, not even this one that is so risky. You won't get in. So we have we have reduced the standard. Mr. Jonathan said that Nollywood is overrated. We have reduced the standard of everything in Nigeria that sometimes when you come out, you ask yourself, how did I survive this? 
And Nollywood is something that we are projecting will sell Nigeria. Now, Nollywood is projected to sell Nigeria if there's enough investment in it. And that's why they say Nollywood has overtaken Bollywood. After Hollywood, you talk about Nollywood based on the number of films that are churned out and the prospects that are in it. But this is it. Oh. You see the story? You see the story that was told about this? This is how we come about some of these movies that you see in Netflix. The standard is so low. I was so, I was so angry with both the, the, the team, the crew, and the individual actors and actresses. How could you get into, how could you get into a boat? The Vanija is as something smaller than a, an ocean. So you get into a boat without a life jacket? Do you know that you can't be on the water more than 6 p.m.? That's the regulation. But nobody enforces it. You had that guy saying that they, they traveled around 10 p.m. You can't even go on the water, even the ones we do in, in, in Lagos, you want to go to Takwa Bay, you want to go to all those places. There is a marine police that will never let you be on water after 6 p.m. Nothing is, nothing is enforced anymore. This is, this is an avoidable death. It's an avoidable death that this guy got on the boat without a life jacket. If, even if there was a collision, what will happen is they could have injury, but the guy will be floating because of life jackets. But he went without a life jacket and he sank. And when I was listening to that guy before you played that, I already watched it before you played that. Um, and the guy was saying all sort of things that he had to do. He had to talk to the spiritual mama and so on. And in his mind, he is thinking that he was the spiritual mama and all of those money he spent on the water and the Fanta and the one he dashed those small boys, that was, that was what saved him. That's what he could be saying. That if not, he did all of those things, he wouldn't have been saved. You know, and we leave the small housekeeping things that we need to do to survive and will rely on things that don't even have any basis. I am I'm unhappy because the life has been, a, a precious life has been lost. And do you know that yesterday, that same yesterday, two people were flung into Todd Mellon Bridge because the vehicle they were in, the, the brake failed, and they ran on top of, and they ran on the, on the rail, and two people were flung into Todd Mellon Bridge, and they drowned. That's the Nigeria we are talking about, too. A country that's supposed to be the giant of Africa. I'll leave that. My soul goes out to the family, but it was an avoidable death. It was. Now, to show her, you see, when people were telling Peter B to go and form a party and leave Labour Party and go and form, form another party with obedience, I remember the experience that Showore had. Do you know that they nearly took this party away from Showore? Showore went and formed this party and these big parties sent moles into those parties. That's what they do. They will send moles into any party you form now. If P2B goes to form a party now, they will send moles that will destroy that party. And you will not be struggling to take back your party. You will see people go to court and say they have suspended you. It happened to Kwankwaso now. It happened to Kwankwaso, NMPP. NMPP that was formed by Kwankwaso, you had another parallel group that said they have suspended Kwankwaso. So that's why I never wanted Obi to go and form any party because you will even be struggling to take that your party. The big parties will give people money and they will want to suspend you from your party. And that's why I want him to please try and see what they can do to reform Labour Party and continue with that instead of going to another party. But that's not to say I believe in the Nigerian electoral process. So Black Panther has been talking about one salient thing until we make it a law that the results must be transmitted electronically. If they still leave that electoral law that the INEC chairman 
has the prerogative to call results anyhow he wants it, we will still not go beyond where we, we found ourselves this election. So first thing first, we don't put the card before the horse. First thing first, that electoral law needs to be dusted. The INEC chairman needs to go. And we have somebody that was not appointed by the president before we talk about election in Nigeria. If we don't do all these things, forget it. If you do it 10 times, we will not get any good results. Now, to pit of these uh, uh, boreholes. To pit of these boreholes. It's because Peter B has been known as somebody that do charity, charitable things. He's a philanthropist, both in and outside government. That's why I am forgiving him for Sorry, I'm trying to block this. So that was why. Okay, I'm I thought you were done. Was, okay. Yeah, that was why I was forgiving Peter B for doing this because he's been a philanthropist. That's him. If you know him very well, that's him. But if the reason for the borehole is for political advantage, I tell you, it won't go anywhere. It will, if you see what they did to Jonathan, Jonathan spent all his money going to develop the Almadri education in the North. You know one sentence, they just used one sentence. Why will you vote for somebody that you remain standing up? That's all, that's what they used. And everybody, everybody worked against him. That's what they say, they say he's an infidel, that he, he urinates while standing. My former boss, Odimegu, Festus Odimegu, that was the MD of Nigerian breweries. Festus was made the Director General of Nigerian Population Commission. And Festus came out to say that there hasn't been any credible census in Nigeria because they can't justify how the population in the north is more than the population in the south. They just told Jonathan, if you don't sack him, we will support you. And that minute, Jonathan sacked Odimebu, first of Odimebu. Did they support him afterwards? No. So if Peter B is doing it because of his charitable lifestyle, please let him continue. But if it is for politics, I don't think anything will change. So what you see, Buala, the one Reno Mercury is saying, as, do you know Reno Mercury said that Peter B has refused to support anything that Tinubu is doing, that his, the Peter B's Arise TV. Because you can't send a tweet without putting P2B for it to sell. He is not saying that Arise TV that leans towards P2B that said that dollar was going to be 2,000 cannot now say that dollar is now 1,100 and so on. So it's a very complex country we are working with. It's a very complex country. And for a seed to germinate, that seed will have to die first. We have to bring, we have to, we have to dismantle this particular structure before we can have a new Nigeria. If it is like this, we cannot. I dare you, I say it, I keep saying it, and I continue to say it that as much as I love Nigeria, if this Nigeria continues the way it is right now, we can't bet a new Nigeria. This seed has to die and then a fresh one germinate to flourish. Thank you, my brother. All right. Um, yes, like I normally say, let's keep hope alive. Um, our forefathers have tried, they couldn't. We are trying our best. So let's see how it goes. Like I said before, I'll reiterate. 2027, without INEC, Mahmoud Yakobo is not removed. I'm not going to join anybody in campaigning for anything. To be honest, you see everything that Peter Obi is doing right now. For some people, think that he's being hypocritical, hypocritical, and all that. No, this is just his lifestyle. This is Peter Obi. Peter Obi is somebody that that have a pure and wonderful heart. So whatever he's doing, he just want to see the country works. But it's not enough for you for him to be allowed to rule in 2027 
if INEC is not restructured and the judiciary is not restructured, most especially our constitution. To be honest, yeah, because normally our constitution needs to be restructured or rewritten in case, in case, you know, for any reason, before swearing in a president, the judgment must be passed first. A president cannot be in power while you are still going to court to unseat the president. No, all these are just things that they put in place to frustrate us, you know, and that is what you are they are facing today. So there are so many things that need to be ironed. Some of you might not agree with me. Some of you might be telling us now we should pray. I'm not part of that. Yes, I'm not part of that. We must get things right before 2027. Tinubu is still not yet one year in office. If you know Peter Obi is running, although he has not indicated, people are already calling him out again that he should, rule, he should run again in 2027. But for any reason he wants to run again, a lot of things need to be sorted. And that is what we're supposed to be talking about now. Yes. No, say, if I'm the tough for you, some of you are not equipped, believe me, oh, because I know the prophets. I know the pastor. So when a pastor talking just now, now eh, what God cannot do does not exist. Now, hey, now say, don't talk. Him. But these things that I've just mentioned needs to be addressed for you to en eh, 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 embark on that journey again. If it's not addressed, if it's going to be, say, by giving the Northerners borehole, giving them food, now I go help us for 2027, Peter will be my end up winning it all over again. They will still not give him. It's the truth. Because they don't test him now. now. They don't test him already. They don't know, say, if we do him again, not say anything to do. He's a quiet man. It's like your child is growing up. The first day, your child carry a remote, you try and meet your television. He said, hello, baby, how are you? Don't do that. You know that they love you. Don't do that. He go look at the way you tell you. I go say, ah, okay. The next time, not go take the remote, not tell you. Now your head. Now go hit that remote, put your head. Because you don't know what is discipline to teach that child. So the way they take treat Peter will be so. The treat Peter will be like a nobody. Let's say the truth, I is. So you are telling me these same people not go treat Peter will be like that again 2027, right? The way they take treat Peter will be treat you and I. They treat all of us like nobody. And truly, where till we be? Where till we be now? Eh? I beg, let's be honest to ourselves. I know some, most people might not agree with it. Let me come to Mr. Ike. Mr. Ike, God bless you, sir. I'm happy that you 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 mentioned the Dubai trip and all that, you know, going to their sea and the rules and all that. Yes, before I, I and my family went to that boat cruise in Dubai, the light jacket were properly put on and fitted. And a ticket was properly scrutinized before you go into the boats. You understand? There were guidelines, rules and regulations that you must follow. It's not just any hard place that you just get up and bala blue, say, yeah, we are done. No, life is not like that. We went to any place we want to talk. We went to everywhere when we went to Dubai. Everywhere. Mention it, I will show it to you that I was there. Except the only place we go tell me, say, I not go, maybe the local area. We were in one of the best areas. One of the best area, I'll leave it like that. We went there, but we took some risk that I vowed, say, I'm not going to take again. Now that desert, say, never. Watch this. Let me quickly, I'm not going to turn it on because I don't know if the music is playing anyway. Watch this quickly. You can see there. Just hold on. Uh, I don't want to show my family when it gets there. I'm just going to be pausing. Let me. Okay. Yes, this is it. Now, inside the water, be this. You know, you're the entire water in here, a country where there's no law, no government, no rules. The people themselves cannot as well walk and think from their head. This was the boat cruise. Let me see if I play music here. Okay, no water here. Can see? 
So, we were on a boat cruise. You see, everything's safe. Everything, diverse. They will side, they will descend ship with everybody in case, even though everybody have a life jacket. Now, only Nigeria, anything they happen. We go make mistake, we go blame government. Government go make mistake, we go still blame ourselves. See, the whole thing is just, it's just confusing, man. The whole thing in the country is confusing. It's crazy. It's really, really crazy. We can't continue like this. See, now Junior Pope is gone. He's gone. That's why I said I'm not the kind of person that blame the dead. But I'm showing my own experience for you guys to learn. That don't rush to take decisions when you are uh, being excited or en on anything. Life should be like that. So at the end of the day, it should be like that. So that is it. I would just like to take it off right now. Let me see if I can forward it. That was it. It's Dubai. You can see everything right there. You know? Check it. Check it. Our country can be better than this. And my brother, I, I can't even believe that. I can't even Look. believe that somebody had that emergency and they took him to the shrine first. Hey, they take and go shrine <laughs> first. <laughs> <laughs> they take and go shrine. Look. You know, look everywhere is beautiful. So, eh? so what is what is shrine prescribed now? What is, which emergency treatment? That's what they did. I think I'm go shrine. Where they'll take and go hospital. Nobody can do CPR. All of the day, social media. They discuss rubbish. Rubbish. Like I said before, I can do other stuff, useless things that many people are doing with their platform. I can do it. Now, where we come down with this? I can do many things that people are doing on their platform to make more money but i choose to speak about the things that is affecting us in our country with my platform i use all my platform to do this all of them i you could know. also choose to use only one niger watch to talk about politics and use the rest or something like that. no i'm streaming from all of them talking about only politics how nigeria can be better and some people will still come here they insult us so we don't get what they do. We don't have better things to do with our, 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 our time. It's crazy. Look now, somebody does still die now, now, right? So do we, as somebody asked earlier on, do we need to learn after somebody does die? That is the question. Even though I know people will still not learn after somebody does die. So it's crazy, man. It's really crazy. I like us I to like move on. It, that pay me, man. Uh, let me take this call quickly. Let me take this call quickly. People are still calling in, calling in. Let me take this person here. Hello, good evening to you. Your name and where you're calling us from. Hello, I lost you there. You know, when we are trying to take your call like this, you know, sorry, you know, you might not be lucky again. Let me call on the next person. I'm not going to call back. I'm sorry. We don't have that time right now. The next person that needs to speak to us is uh, give us a mandate. My brother, uh, please talk to us. Good evening to you. Eight minutes. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, hopefully, you guys can hear me clearly. Uh, greetings yeah. to everyone um, on the panel. Greetings and greetings and greetings. Uh, comment section, greetings. Um, the elderly ones, um, greetings. And people all over the world, greetings for me, Diaspora. We greet you. Thank you for all that you do. Uh, Madam Marine Finest, uh, Boise, everyone, uh, greetings to you. Thank you very much. Um, well, uh, I think the very first thing here is just um, probably commensurating all um, a condolence to the family of the of the guy that actually died in that in that boat. Um, a kind of um, it's kind of painful. Uh, I think the guy died in his prime age when um, he's supposed to be enjoying life and all that. But also, the area of negligence cannot be overemphasized over or put behind the scene. If you drive in America, you don't wear your seat belt. It is there is no me you possibly could end up in jail. If you break any safety rule, 
you probably are going to face the consequence. And some consequences are very, very hard. If you drink under influence and then you drive, or if you, are drive, if you drive under influence, you may possibly not be able to drive again for the rest of your life, depending on the degree of what offense you commit and things like that. Now, in, in some cases, if you have any, if you have maybe some, maybe probation on you and things like that, you may not even be able to travel out of your own state. You're not able to jump on the plane and things like that. But the question is, is Nigeria truly a country? That's what you want to ask yourself. Because even the people that are supposed to actually um, implement and make sure that the laws and everything is running properly are the ones that will collect bribe to break the law. For example, VOA, or is it the VIO now, or how do they call them? The vehicle inspection something, highway something. The road safety are the ones that will tell you what to do to break the law. The people that are working, that, that are working in, the, in, the, in the driver's license office are the ones that will tell you what to do to use the back door to get your license. We've seen scenario of people that want to travel international. They don't, they've never even driven car in Nigeria, but they have international driver's license issued to them by Nigeria age, by Nigerian governments. Because the people that work in that agency are for themselves create back door for which people can actually get things without being scrutinized. Now, the boat rider, that guy that was riding the boat, should even be the, be the one to even be saying, hey, oh guy, you cannot be on this boat without your life jacket because somebody is somewhere watching him that will sanction his boat if he himself did not wear life jacket or people on his boat are not wearing life jackets. But around that area, around that area, do you even have people that actually are authorities over that river ensuring that people comply with regulations? None. So there is a ripple effect on what is happening in Nigeria. Everything is just downside up. From the top to the bottom, everything is gone. And so, should you not, is it, is, should you not, not beg on the fact that what the country needs is revolution? Because going to the ballot next year or two years to come or four years to come would not yield any results. You just said, should Mahmoud Yakub remain the, remain the INEC chairman? You're out of it. But it is not about Mahmoud Yakub alone. It is not about the chairman alone. The chairman acted on some people's selfish agenda and ambition. Because why? There are loopholes in the electoral act that we are not actually addressed before the election. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, that, the, the, but he's the only person that you can remove or I can ask to be removed, is Mahmoud Yakubu. Are you going to remove Tinubu? Remove Mahmoud Yakub. Put Dr. CM as INEC chairman. Conduct, next, conduct election 2027. If this opens remain as is, this guy will still win the election and they will win and the election. So what do, you, do tell us what do you want us to do now? So what to be done is what Black Panther has been saying here. Put away or address all of the loophole in the electoral act or basically if you cannot change the country through ballot box then let there be a revolution listen my brother like i told you before it, it looks like you are not sure of the generation where you get so you are not See, sure it's, it's, it's about, it, it's, it's this generation sure. they are not interested don't tell me how many people is talking from nigeria and Go that's why them. we need to and that's why we are doing what we are doing here because we have to be we have to be continue to speak that's what I'm saying. How many people in Nigeria that you see, let's assume they don't want to show their face and they are on a, a different platform on the comment section advocating for a better Nigeria. Drive around, buy full, full, buy, buy full tank for your car. Drive around the whole social media. Tell me every comment section you go, on every big, big blogs you go, where you see Nigerians are talking about what is happening in Nigeria. They are not interested. You know, Niger Niger Nigerians are talking. 
which, I mean, which I, I, I would want to mention uh, Channel C when Nigerians are talking. Nigerians are talking. The only thing, the only different factor from Nigeria. My brother, I'm telling you that Nigerian that you are saying that is talking right now, I'm telling you that they live abroad. Uh -uh. What are we saying? We have the Nigerians. We have the Nigerians in Nigeria that have, that have come on this show to come lend their voice. We have them. That, That's I mean, what I'm saying. We're only talking about show. half percent. Out of 100 percent, half. Not even one percent, half. <laughs> okay. You don't understand me. I, 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 I understand you, but what, what we are saying here is whether you believe it or not, Nigerians are tired of what is happening. The only thing that they lack is the willpower to actually eat on the streets. And it's just because of PTSD. Lekki Toget is an example. But they also need to understand that the, peop the, power, the people in power are not as powerful as the people that are in power. Because the people that are in power gave the people in power their will to go represent them. How many are those people in power today? If you and Nigeria agree, not south, east, west, we agree and say, okay, we are tired of these guys. We can't, we won't, we, they, they must go. Within 24 hours, sir, they will go. If we all unite and say oh, it right. over, right. these guys got to go, regardless, no matter what happened. If not to buy, we go buy. But these guys have to go. I bet you they will leave. They will run. They will not just run. They will run kita kita. You said what? If we all agree, we come out, we come together and say, these guys have to go. More than they one minute. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. finish. Please, I want to hear what he said, please. Go they ahead. will go. In fact, they will not just run. They if they want, what will make them run? I, I miss that. If we are ready and we come out. As how? As how? Through revolution, of course. Why are you calling for revolution? You are calling. We can One thing you must understand: one, we can't call for revolution on this platform. You understand? And the word, if you are ready, yes, I like that. They are not ready, so we are. I'm not here to pass any message to anybody to go and cause any no, kind you, of revolution. You, can, you, you cannot say they are not ready. That they are. They are, they are, they are they we is. cannot call for any revolution on this platform. Okay. If they are not ready, <laughs> let them go to bed and sleep. My friend, give us our mandate. Cannot mention those words. Give us our mandate. Can you hear me? Go ahead, go ahead. I guess what you should be talking about now is the percentage of people that are ready. But if you look at it holistically, the percentage of people that are ready is below twenty percent. Well, so we cannot well, say they are ready. Well, let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me just call let me, let me put you there. Sometimes you, may not, you, you, may not, you don't need the whole 100% to make a change. In some cases, you don't need the 100%. All we just need is a willful mind, people that are ready to fight this cause. And if we are ready, we have been told the country is out to take. So we leave that, we leave that part. And Mr. Jonathan, thank you very much. I mean, Every time I come here, I still remind Nigerians, even though some of you may, may not probably um, appreciate the work that we do here, to remind Nigerians that the person that sits in court in power today is a, was a criminal drug baron for certificates. I mean, just some few days ago, he said he celebrated 72 years birthday. Will you tell me that that kind of man is 72 years old? I leave that for, for Nigerians to digest. So these are things that nigerians should be should should bring up and not look for what Buala said or he doesn't he doesn't say Buala is paid to do what he's doing see the issue of digging ball hole in the north is not it is it didn't start today two minutes i two served minutes. in bauchi state particularly tafa by the local government and my place of domain is called nauta community as soon as I arrived at that community, the very first thing that I did as a core member was to initiate a borehole project in my community because there was no water. Now, we got the project up to the point where the rep of my community was supposed to take us to um, Bauchi and then uh, we had the main power seat and then we talked to the uh, people that are actually in charge. The project continued. I became a CLO of my, uh, of my, own, um, of my own local government and then 
things progress. So, this your borehole in the north didn't just start today. And Mr. Peter Gregory just basically just amplifying that it is not about politics, it's about humanity. So, let's not miss. We may probably, Peter Abbey, you know, I've, I've not spoken the reason why he's doing it, but I want to understand that he's not doing it because of the fact that he's preparing for 2027. No. Peter Abbey is doing this thing out of his own voluntary will. He's a man engraced. He's a man with compassion. He's a man that loves humanity. You cannot love people. You cannot have that empathy spirit in you and get to a place and not want to leave a mark. And that was what spoiled me as a person living, living southwest, arriving in Bauchi. The very first thing that struck my mind, oh, what, how can we help these people? And we initiated a project. So that is the spirit that Peter Greg will be has. If you see what people what, 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 the, what they are drinking in as water, you 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 be you you will share tears. I witness this firsthand, and you cannot be in that kind of environment and not wanting to do anything for them. You just have to be moved with compassion. So whatever Buala said, I mean, he's entitled to his opinion. He's entitled to, he's being paid to do these things. Reno Mokri, they are being paid. But the only thing you ask yourself is, these guys, are they human beings? Are they truly human beings? Of course they are. Do they have conscience? Maybe yes, maybe not. But only time will tell what becomes of them in the future. So Nigerians, in, in summary for me, I just believe that once right. we are ready, we can take our country back. If Senegal has did it, we can do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, give us a mandate. Thank you very much. Uh, please, I would like to quickly let you know, uh, because you've been a member of this platform for so long, uh, the word revolution is prohibited on this platform. Please, you know, please try to avoid it by all means. You know, don't try, don't use it directly or indirectly. It's prohibited. So if you use it by calling people to go on revolution on this platform, that means you are deliberately breaking the rules. You know, like I've said before, Nigerians are not children. So if they don't know what to do, then let them forget about it. I'm not interested. I know what we can say or do on this platform, we can't go over the limits. Everybody should know that with all due respect to everybody. Though you are a caller, you are on the panel, or you are a commenter, we have rules here. That's all. As long as I'm concerned, Nigerians are not ready for anything. Nigerians in Nigeria, 90% of them are not ready. How do you know if people are ready? How do you know? Look at a, 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 a junior pope that died since yesterday. Look, the whole social media is boom, is 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 everywhere. Everybody is shaking it. Why the main thing that is affecting us? Not that human beings. Mr. Elvis, Mr. Elvis, Mr. Yes. Elvis, I have a question for you. Yes, go ahead. If in Nigeria today, it is not the people that will take back their country, back for themselves, who, who will do it? I don't know. To be honest, I don't, I don't, that question, I don't have answer to it, sir. I don't just know. What I'm doing here and what we are doing here, that is the limit, like I'm saying, like I said before, that is the best we can go. Any other mm. thing, I'm not part of it. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> me, I'm not part me. of it. See, let me, let me. We, let, we all know now. Everybody me, know. Mr. Ivy, see, for me, eh, I like to be factual. There are only three ways to change Nigeria. Three. There is no any other. We can talk till the end of the world or analyze and do whatever. There are only three ways. One is the government voluntarily reform Nigeria in every area. That's pure, straightforward. That's what we are. That's why we are, we are talking. We are all talking about every day. That one mm -hmm. is clear. The second one is the non-governing group. Those that are not governing, but they are the politicians. For them also to voluntarily decide not to participate if there is no electoral reform. That's number two. That one is also simple and straightforward. The third one 
is the people. So if we agree here that the first one is not possible, it's not this government that will reform. They are not ready. They are not. Good. We agree on that. At least we can all settle and agree on that one. The second one is what we can. Let's see how far we can go. Let's see how far those that are not governing, but they are acting as the opposition. They want Nigeria to change their politicians. Let's see how far we can get them to ensure that. See, if things are not reformed, I am not in it. Just like what you showed the video yesterday. I okay. was not here yesterday, Mr. Elvis. But I watched the video for about, I watched about an hour, 20 minutes in the evening when I settled down. You showed the video of the lawyers of Namdekan. And the lawyer said something. He said the next time he gets to court and the judge refused to grant bail, he will say, I'm sorry, I cannot represent you any longer. I can't re represent you any longer, Mr. Namdekan. Yes. He says mm. so. So yes. why the political class can say, you know what? If I'm not going to enter into a competition that I know is misaligned, ab initio, why are you doing that? It is satanic. It is okay. Okay, Oga, 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 Jonathan, everything yes. you are saying, I already know. Like I said, we have a limit on this platform. That is just the, that's just it that we can never cross. You understand me, sir? That limit. We are we are discussing or we are talking to people that are not children. You don't do you need to go knock on their door to tell them what to do? Be they are they are not suffering, they are not listen, like that's why I said everybody is on social media, go through every big, big platforms and check comment section and see how many Nigerians are complaining about the things that's happening in Nigeria. Check it. How many? We are, okay, let's assume now many of them are scared to make live stream like we are doing, right? Now, go to a comment section where you don't know anybody. You don't know who is commenting. How many of them? All they are discussing is, uh, today I not posted, somebody died yesterday evening, today I not posted something early this morning about a, 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 a very naughty thing about women. How women take the coin your heart, they know they wear something inside, what they wear at all, blah, blah, blah. Everybody were not commenting. Like why can this be a priority? Now? Hold on, sir. How can this be a priority at this kind, of, this kind of time? This is what these guys are doing. These guys are not ready. It's the truth. Let's say it how it is. If they are ready, they are the one inside. They will know what to do. Not my platform that will tell them what to do. So let's respect that rules. My platform is not here to tell them what to do. We are here to present the situation of Nigeria to them. It's not left for them that is in there that is feeling the the, 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 the the pains to know what to do. It's not from my mouth or my platform people will advocate for them on what to do. We are not doing that here. I will not ever use my platform to call for the destruction of Nigeria for anything or chaos in Nigeria. I will never and I will not allow anybody to do it. That's it. Uh, how come any mainstream media in Nigeria are not calling on, on, on those words that some of us are using on this platform? Please, let's respect the rules. And directly or indirectly, let's just respect the rules. If the people there, they are tired, they will know what to do. Just imagine, person died yesterday evening. Everybody were rushing to their blogs to post so that everybody, they can get views so quickly. They can get views and make money from it. Even fellow actors like him were quickly posting so that they can get views. Did you see Niger watch any of my affiliated platform posted anything to do with uh, Junior Pope since yesterday? I didn't. Oh, you think I don't need money because I have common sense. I refused to do it because I always stand for the right thing. I didn't. I was on the first hand information. I called the top, top people in Hollywood to ask questions. Now, true say, don't die. I can post these things. I can come on, uh, on air around 1 a.m. in the morning. And, and people will join me here. Most especially people in America because they are time. But I refused. I don't want to make money on top of somebody where don't die. I waited for the normal time I come to broadcast to talk about it, which is already almost 24 hours. Obviously, we'll still talk about it. But many people were posting. Jerry posted and, and tagged his name, his platform name on it. A, a old fellow Nollywood actor. He posted it. 
Bruno. The other name is called Bruno. Many of them were posting. I refuse. And this is what Nigerians are doing. We, we, we spend our time on inconsequentials. Many of us are selfish. We just want to make the money. We are not interested. The primary thing that is killing and affecting us, nobody is taking it seriously. How long are we going to continue like this? Or you don't you or you think I don't have platforms I can post these things on that will generate generate traffic immediately? I have page on Facebook. I have one page two hundred or something. I have another one half a million. I have another one one hundred or something. I have different YouTube channels. I can post on any of the one. I have Facebook. I have TikTok. I have more than ten thousand followers on TikTok. But I refuse none of my platform. I promise if you find any of my platform that posted this thing before right now that we came on air, please call me out. Until we remove this kind of selfish activities or acts from us or from our mindsets, let's make money from the people that is already dying. These people are not ready. No people go tell them what they go do. They embrace things that is not relevant, that is not making any positive impact in our lives. Mumbai died everywhere. They block everywhere for, for South South. Whereas we were still grieving on the election that was stolen away from us. Nobody came out. But Mumbai died, everybody. They, they, they sit on top of car. They're fine. We have to think about the dead as well. But... Listen, what led to the death? Is it not because of the failed, the failed system that is that is taking the lives of the people? It's crazy, man. It's really, really crazy. Let me take this call quickly. Hello, thank you very much, sir, for calling in. Good evening to you. Please talk to us. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you, sir. Please, please talk to us. You have just two minutes. Thank you. It's no problem, it's no problem. Thank you, thank you for the opportunity you give to me. In my brother, uh, you are right. <laughs> you are right in what you are saying. Nigerians are not ready. Uh, do you, do you, do you, the, the, the people, uh, can't you see what's happened in Mali? Can't you see what's happening in Niger? Can't you see what's happening in Burkina Faso? Can't you see what's happening in Senegal? Nigerians are not ready. They are, they are making money on social media. They are making money. See how see how these people mess up the Nigerian election. Eh? Since Nigeria have started to exist, I have never seen any any uh, uh, opponent to come and challenge the election in, in, in Nigeria like Peter B. But after sit and down, everything everything go 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 to the dust bill. But Nigerians are, are, are happy. If if they call in Nigeria, you are happy. They, they, everyone are running to go to America, uh, uh, London, uh, uh, in London, uh, Dubai. Can't, uh, I will not, uh, uh, not ashamed of ourselves. Uh, uh, that means, well, in what, what is happening in Nigeria up to the February regime? So you, you, are, you are waiting for somebody to come and tell you what to do. People should uh, rise up and do revolution. Why people are, people are hungry? People go to bed, they cannot talk, uh, collect their money. So people are uh, 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 sitting down in Nigeria, uh, eating. Uh, uh, which kind of nonsense is this? The Nigerians are, they are not ready to, to chase these people away. That's why they are messing up everybody. Thank you. That's why they, 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 are, they are not to, to, to okay, sir. They, they, they will still continue doing what they are doing. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my brother. God bless you, sir. Thank you. So please, with all due respect, my wonderful one, uh, panelists and my listeners, my callers, my commenters, let's just respect the rules of the platform. We cannot jump out of the rules just because we want to pass a message. I've given you all the, all the examples why these people are not ready, which you understand what it means. They are ready to talk about rubbish on social media. They are not ready to talk about the things that's affecting them. Am I the uh, offer an omega that will tell them what to do? No, I don't want to do that. I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be part of it. Some satanic people have already discussed this on my behalf that I'm scared to talk. Um, this is that. This is why I, I, I don't want to address this particular person. Went to our my, group. My I'm was. Video. My job was they scared. They hide themselves. You don't want to talk about uh, this thing and blah, blah, blah. You, you know satanic people in your life. They are very easy. You know? So, but one thing you must understand is this. If you want to beat Nigerian government, come to our platform. On your camera, I will make you big. Make I show you how I want to make you big. I'll make you big like this. You see, I'm only you go your day panel like this. 
Yes, you'll see that for your deputy share, right? Or your camera must be very clear. They'll see your face. I'll let you beat Nigeria government how you want to beat them. After you don't beat them, I'll put a disclaimer on it. I'll, in fact, I'll even cut, record them. I'll go post them you know, everywhere. May go viral. Come here. Can't hide under your distance and be accusing us that we we are we don't want to talk. We are scared. We are doing this. Then you yourself, you hide your head. Satanic people everywhere. You come to the platform and they're pretending that you are a nice person. Never know you are satanic. Thank you, my brother. Somebody wanted to say something. Please go ahead, sir. Yeah, I want to say something. Uh, I want to I want to say something to every one of us. Niger Wash has a future. Niger Wash has a focus. And Niger Wash has an audience. It is not going to end today. It is not because of all this. Nigeria has a has a vision, and we should know that vision. For you to truncate, there's some kind of word that you can use in a platform like this that will truncate the vision of that the person that holds the channel. So let us not. There's a way we can rephrase our word. There's a way we can tag it. That you can you can send that message. But there are some kind of word that you cannot use because me, I'm when tired. what you said today, to what you said today, will stay because they'll be saying, "Oh, I don't understand." Today might be an evidence that they will use against him when he's about to float something that is bigger than this in future, and uh, this will go to the other they go to court. We are. You know what the, the court can do. So the that's that's do the right thing. You, you, you that's yourself why we need to. You know the fee follow rules. That's why we need to protect the government. If you don't, common rules are a problem for you to follow. I don't understand. That's our word. We need to rephrase the word. There's another word we can use in place of that word. But we cannot use that word that you just spoken. It's not that it's against it. It's not that it, that you say it's against it. But you cannot use the word on this channel because this channel has a future and it's building it from now so that when it's going to bring out the vision openly, holistically, then you will not have any uh, 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 whatever court cases that were arises and said you were using it for certain things before. So you ca we cannot grant you that license. So yeah, my brothers and sisters, let me face it. Yeah. If I want you two times, you don't fall out, throw you out. And Ajawa is, is not a blogger. Ajawa is not a he's not a blogger. I think they don't get the message across. Uh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Let's go ahead. Yeah, no, go ahead because. And Thank I say many people never talk. Even me, I never talk. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me call on the next person. Oga Prince, please talk to us. And thank you very much for your patience. Yeah. It is well. Binise, uh, uh, you know, or talent, you know, the cause of it all is, is the origin of foundation. You know, where I want to really start from. Uh, we have deviated too much. Let me just quickly. I don't want to emphasize on uh, the issue of uh, me. Why I'm sorry, I, I I greet everyone, the panelists, the viewers at all. And I wash, I appreciate you what you are doing. I always pray for you to have uh, 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 honey, natural honey, in your voice so that you don't lost your voice at any point in time because you are really, really, really trying. You've got a lot of energy. I pray that God should continue to. Uh, I think that they use to talk too much for this. <laughs> is that easy? So, that of Boala, Boala issue, you know, the, uh, you know, Daniel Boala is uh, in the category of people like uh, Fanny, Kayode, you know, uh, Dino Melaye, and uh, so many others, you know, that are looking for political relevance. And they always, you know, want to be part of uh, those in power at all time you know because they can't have they can hardly survive on their own so they always go broke when they are not uh, close to people in, in power so they always they are always looking for political relevance at any point in time so when they are in the opposite part when they are when they are in the party and after a transition and they find out that they lose they're looking for ways to go to the other side so that they can uh, you know get money to to survive and you know that nigeria politics is where the corruption started so so i would i don't i don't want to waste words in that uh, area so 
the idea is that uh, we are saying that Nigeria is not ready. You know, let me quickly, you know, throw light on that. Nigeria is not ready. I think for me, I, I'll be saying it to this platform because I don't go to other platform. Maybe I would have done so. Probably I don't have the time and I don't uh, uh, like, uh, you know, dividing myself so much because I don't really have the time and I don't think I'm strong enough now. Uh, so I want to be uh, in a place where I'm uh, honored and uh, respected. So the idea of a uh, black man or oh, Nigeria is not ready. Uh, black man has never been ready. That's the truth. You know, majority of black black man you know, or black men, you know, sorry to say, we are cowards, you know, we are gullible, we are, we are vulnerable, we are weaker vessels, right from time, right from time, we have always been the disadvantaged edge, you know, is it not, is it, is it colonization, is it, is it uh, slavery, is it a uh, co conquering, is it, even while, we, while, while human beings were living as uh, barbarians, we are always in the disadvantaged side, because we are afraid to, to do what we are supposed to do. We are not courageous enough to do the right thing. And the colonial masters, they came, they handed over to, they, they trained, they groomed people and handed over to them and they are still using them to today. That's to say, we are still subject to those that, you know, gave us freedom, which I'll be, I'll be saying right from time. And on a daily basis, we loot our money and go back to the same uh, colonial masters and, and give it to them, which they are using to develop their country today. Majority of Western world today, they don't have anything. Many of them have no natural resources. What they have is bad weather, cold. Uh, when when, it, when it's cold, it's, it's to extreme. When it's when it's hot, it's to it's to extreme. They don't produce anything. Their land does not uh, uh, produce anything tangible that will make uh, them survive, rather than giving their their neighbor food to eat. But yet they have everything. So that shows you that uh, we are we already made ourselves. Uh, you know, subject to them and they are using us. So we bring all our money, we steal it and bring it here. So we are never ready. So Nigeria is never ready. So in most times when people say, oh, when, we, when are we going to be ready? I begin to laugh. It is magic that is going to change this country. And the only thing that I think that will, that will change change it is is when the the people, you know, we should educate Nigerians. And that's why I say we, we should keep talking. We should educate Nigeria to hold their legislator legislators uh, you know responsible in the local council in the states federal level because we can't keep talking about the problem the problem the world. we need to tell people how they can go about it it must not be a, 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 a revolution that will lead to violence and fighting and all that there, there is there is there is a there is a kind of uh, a political revolution that might not lead to bloodshed you know there are ways you can come out hold you all the people in your in your, in your constituency responsible Send them. These are your voice. That's why the legislators. Legislators are made to 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 take the voices of of the people to 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 the executive. But the, this difference is not is not is not made clear to any any anybody. They see everybody as those that are in government. But as a matter of fact, the legislator, legislators are the problem we have with that in 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 Nigeria as a nation. At the local council, we have councillors. They are sleeping. They go to office. They go to go and meet the chairman. Hey, where well don't sir, where well don't some lawyers, some lawyers, they give their money, they go and go and buy gari for their family. And at the state level, you see uh, uh, members of House of Assembly running to uh, 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 governor and go and start behaving as if they are, they are slaves to governor. Whether they didn't even know that their position is, is supposed to put the governor in order to checkmate the system. People are not aware of this, so they just go there. Even those that are elected, they, they, they said they are going to do that, but they, they get there, the government will pocket them. The governor will pocket all of them and begin to, you know, use them as, as scapegoats, you know, against the people. In a, a place where the governor will not control the legislature and tell them what to do, buy cars for them, you know, they, they will never be free. Is it the judiciary where the 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 the, the, uh, the, the, the state executive just will just pocket the judiciary and tell them what to do? They, they, they give them allocations, share beautiful cars for them. Why would they? They, they will never judge against such a this So that's the problem. Impunity is too high. At the federal level, you see the president is, is, is carrying every all of them as if maybe they are, they are subjects, just like uh, uh, barrel, uh, barrel and paper moving together. One is a, one is barrel, the other one is paper. Put them together as you write, everything is clear. So that's the system that we are. So until the writing is done, we will never get it right. You know. So 
talking about the the a lot of us have have, have, have spoken so well as regards the incident of the Nollywood. It's a pity that such thing is happening. But uh, one thing I have to say, which other people have actually said, is that when you are in in Nigeria, you know every event in Nigeria is a game. It's a game of luck. Every event in Nigeria is a game of luck. Of luck. So when you are playing it, you have to be very careful. And this is why religion strive more in Nigeria because people want to seek religious advice before they take a step because the government is not taking up its responsibility. You know, you know, people don't see clarity of purpose in whatever they are doing. We don't see clarity of purpose in Nigeria well, until we get to the end. We don't know why it's going to end. That's why when it ends, we say, oh, God, I thank you. Bless you. God, I thank you. Because we don't even know how we only know how we started. We never know how it is going to end. When it ends well, we will not give give glory to God. Whereas God has given us that strength and command to do what we are supposed to do there because the government is not playing its part. We don't know how it ends. In the Western world, when somebody is starting anything, he, is, he, he will be aware of the end of that thing because the road is very clear. So a place where you don't where you are, you are going and you don't know why it's going to end, you will never you know trust until until its end. And and this is simply because government has refused to play its part. Which the which is the primary objective of a uh, government, you know, protecting lives and properties, and that is what has happened there. If a, 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 the security agents are there to, to tell people that before you enter this 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 kind of kin world, whether uh, boots they call it, you must have a life ja jacket. Such thing will not happen, never. Because if you don't, if you cannot enter that kind of boat, you will you you. I mean, if you, if you cannot have your life jacket, you will be able to enter that kind of boat. So and um, people people will be safe, and people will use it as a as a, as a, it, it, it will create business for others that want to that want that want to sell life jackets. So people people don't know how to, how to how to do whatever they want to. They just and the worst of it all is that this man, knowing who you are, when you know how important you are, knowing the issue on ground regarding the present situation in your country, you have to secure yourself. This man made a made a big mistake. May so rest in perfect peace, but he made a mistake. Others should learn from this. In a situation like that, why should you enter that kind of team, flying boat without life jacket? You are not a good swimmer. What are you doing there for God's sake? Now that one, the people they call Aswa. Aswa, Aswa. Has he been pushed by, 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 by anyone? But the answer is no. He was not being pushed, but he was just careless. And carelessness can kill. Silly mistakes can end your life. That's exactly what happened to this guy. You can provide a life jacket for yourself after this event. You keep it for future purpose. It's very simple. When the road was bad, when 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 uh, 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 Lagos to Edo was very bad, that was when people started buying uh, a, a ticket to, to fly. The road was a very very uh, good place to go when you are. I mean, when you are traveling. But when uh, insurgency took over the road. People started making an alternative to fly back. That is the way it is. Spend more money to be alive. How can it go on? No, no, no. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big disgrace that people like people of such caliber don't know what to do at the right time to protect his family. At the end of the day, putting his family, people around him, his lovers, his his fans in pain and agony. It's a silly mistake that has taken his life, and all that should learn from this. It's a very big mistake because in Nigeria, if you don't help yourself. No one will help you. No one will help you because another man had Nagarawa for that place. Soldier go, soldier come, barak in medicine. That's the way Nigeria is. You don't help yourself. Once you are gone, Nasara, you all don't go with that. Everyone say, everyone says nothing is uh, is working, nothing is working. Why would this work? Because nobody is being punished for wrongdoing. This will never work in a society like that. People that benefit from sabotaging the nation are being celebrated. So what do you expect? More people will go into crime. That's the way it is. Nigeria is just, we are just in the, in the beginning of what is going to happen. I'll be saying it. The time will come. Those of us in Nigeria will, will be able to travel out. Those of us outside will be able to go into Nigeria because of fear of, of the unknown. It will get to it very it's, shortly. We are going to arrive to that to that to that side. You have money to to go back to your country. You will go there because of crime. 
You won't go there because of insurgency. You won't go there because of what you don't know that will happen to you. We are just in the beginning. Is it not because this Nollywood, uh, this Nollywood at all is, is a Nollywood at all? That's why we are aware that people are that that have, have died. If if it was just common men, that 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 would have been the end. Nobody would know. And this thing happened every day in the different places. People die as if it's just. In fact, when you slaughter chicken, you still you respect chicken because when you want to slaughter chicken, you have to look at the neck properly so that you don't waste it because people are going to eat it. People respect slaughtering of chicken than people the way people die in Nigeria. They don't value you. People die like Sarah. A place where motor, a vehicle will have accident and there's a there's a there's a uh, uh, a, a, a tracker involved in it and the the the, the, the fear or uh, pet, petrol product is uh, uh, petrol product is pouring out. People will go and start fetching fear instead of saving lives. Is it is it is it, is it, is it the place that will say okay yes that place is good to stay? You are your own. If anything happens to you, are your own. So that is why you must protect yourself. Do whatever you can do and leave the rest for God because the government is not interested. What is that boat's crossing? If the government is sensible enough, they are sensitive of human needs, what people need as, as a nation. Why can't they do a, a bridge that will cross that place? How many minutes is that boat that people are not? How many minutes is, 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 is that sea, or whether it is sea or whatever, whatever, that they cannot construct a bridge that will just take people right away to the other side? That people are not, people are not dying unnecessarily. So, we are where we are until the right thing is done. We are going nowhere. We are going nowhere. Just as somebody said that Nigeria, no way, not to go anywhere. And that's the truth. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Millionaires will, will build their houses and before they get to their, their home, they'll use their expensive vehicle to pass through dirty waters. Is that not madness? That's what it is. They don't care. Nobody cares. So it's going to be like that until the right thing is, is done. I'll be saying it. You can't do the wrong thing and expect good results. You can't do bad thing and expect good results. You can't do wrong thing and expect. You can't do a negative activity and expect your, your result to be positive. Whatever you do or so is what you reap. It's law of karma. So we are just trying to do what is called preambles of what is going to happen in Nigeria. This is just the beginning. All right. Until thank you. the best is done. Thank you very much. I appreciate thank you. you. Thank you. you thank know, you, yes. you, Mission. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Let me call on Agassian. I saw Agassian don't sleep. Agassian, I say you don't sleep. You know, they there. Preach me to sleep. <laughs> he, he did there. He does the watch. Like, uh, watch person Julie, fly from window come. Please, our protocol, Julie, Julie observe. Julie, please, please, please talk to us. Our, our protocol. I think the issue, what really triggered me today was, okay, first of all, may the souls of those that departed, albeit carelessly anyway, may their soul rest in perfect peace. Because some deaths, more, most deaths in Nigeria are avoidable. 99% avoidable. Because there are no health and safety procedures in check. Even if they are dead, they are not enforced strictly what it should be. So what do you expect? It's a shame that somebody will, it may be needs emergency or somebody is in critical condition. You rescue somebody the way they say or what we hear him only to carry him to a shrine. It's a shame in 21st century. Well, be that as it may, I don't know. <laughs> and, uh, before I think say shrine, a person where well, they go shrine, go look for the future. Not be say person where need. What are hospitals those, for them? Those in Africa, the African way. Ah, that's a lie. What, what, why do we build hospitals? What's very interesting. Oh, yeah. Even taking him to shrine, right? Should I, should I even English be done with that, is, with that his family's, uh, his family's consent? The Englishman taught me that uh, you don't make a law if you know you can't enforce it. Why do we build hospitals? Say emergency. Then you they go shrine. Shrine they get emergency because what he needs. No, ordinarily, a healthy person like me can decide to go to shrine. Uh -huh. I know. This one, no, this one are for emergency. So it's not a shrine matter. There are specialized area for emergency. And we're well, well, that is Nigeria, like everybody has said. I'm not, I'm just joining my voice. What what really triggered me today 
is a uh, what uh, this uh, somebody is, somebody is not muted. Is it the wise one? So what really triggered me today is this Daniel Boala. <laughs> you see, Nigeria is a funny place. <laughs> to be honest, if you expect Oluwamo to talk, you say ah no Oluwamo. Or maybe all those uh, empower, do empowerment of force, those kind of guru you see. Look at Daniel Boala. So his concern is the quality of the, what is it called? Borehole people is giving. Not the, not borehole itself. He's saying that the quality. Okay. Chino Achebe said, if you don't like somebody else's story, write your own. <laughs> Let me talk to Daniel Boala. Niger watch, I don't care if you put if you put me on uh, the way you should, the way you want me. Let me talk to him. I'm not hiding my face. Daniel Buella, the best way to solve this matter now. Go and build your own borehole. Then you invite the media. Say, this one is this one was commissioned, built by P2B. This is my own. That way you are helping your people. P2B came. There was no water to drink. He gave them water. Now your problem is what quality? Okay, maybe the quality didn't meet your standard. Why not go and provide your own water? Invite us. You can now say, I did it because I want to show P2B how it is done. So that P2B will learn from you. That is how a country develops. And not to you to hide there. Today you are for Atiku. Tomorrow you are for Tinubu. Next tomorrow you come back to Tinubu, uh, Atiku again. So it doesn't pay. When I read the thing, I just laugh. I say, and these are the intellectuals. You see, these are the people that are keeping the North the way it is. Daniel Buala had a degree in law. He's a member of inner, whether inner temple or Middlesex in London or you know, Grace Inn as a barrister. He came back to UK, said to do PhD or whatever. Only just see the way he's developing himself. But go to his village of Boruno. Go and check the poverty level. Go and check the poverty level of Borono State, Srukyobe, because they were formerly one state before. Go and these are the people dragging Nigeria back. Rather than him going and thanking Peter, even telling Peter, since you want to do it, let me partner with you. Let me go and even show you more to help and be clapping. He's somewhere in an air-conditioned room complaining that the quality of the ball. Okay, which quality did you keep before that Peter didn't improve on? You see, I don't like this type of debate. Because we are analyzing issues here. What quality did you, Daniel Boala, provide that P2B did not meet your quality? You know, the way to do it is say, look, I've, I've done boho for my people. This is my standard. Look at the standard P2B is giving. You see, it's a shame. And that is why I think yesterday we said it here. Nigeria only exists to panda. Let me, let me say it clearly. Nigeria as presently constituted only exists to pander to the whims and caprices of the Fulani and the rest of northern Nigeria. Those that claim their power. That's what Nigeria is existing for. Forget about Tinubu is just coming as an interlude. I'm not excusing him. He's just an interlude of make who we hold this thing for us. Make we go, let's go and urinate or let's go and uh, have some break so that we come back. That is what Nigeria is existing. Tomorrow, Erufai will criticize. They will tell you they went to the base university. Only for them, oh, look at the degree of illiteracy in Borono State. Look at the level of underdevelopment disease in, in, in Borono State, where Dan Ebuala is coming from. Yet, Peter B left Anambra to go there and give them water. Those people should have rejected it now. Look at the way they are following him. The Emir of Zaria, the Speaker of the House of Reps, I think somebody Abbas, is from Zaria. He's presenting Zaria constituency at the Federal House of Reps. And also he's the Speaker. The Emir of Zaria is telling Peter B, he who brings water brings life. In other words, Peter B brought life to his people. The Emir appreciated him. Now, who is a Daniel Buala? Eh? Boy, boy for Tinubu today. Boy, boy for Tiku. Who is Daniel Buala? I would like to take him up in a debate for this thing. Only that he will deny. You know, trust them, just like Ren or Mokri. They will say, oh, I was misquoted. 
His problem is the quality. He said, the, the type of. So what, what quality were you expecting people to be? What quality did you put down so that people will improve on it? You don't, when you want to be cri cri okay, critical, you have to be constructive. Constructive criticism helps the person you are criticizing and even underscores the fact that you know exactly where you are headed. When you bring animalistic and destructive criticisms, nobody listens to you. Rather, people like me will even leave the person you are criticizing and be thinking whether you're a mental case, you know, something like that. Peter B is giving water. The I say he who brings water brings life. And then Ebola is still talking about the quality. <laughs> ah, Nigeria, yay, Jesus Christ. So this is you never, his concern. You never see quantity. He's talking about quality. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the best way to make Peter B realize is that you set a standard for Peter B. Isn't it? Uh, uh, is that not the way to do it, Black Panther? You set a standard and say, beat my standard. That way, I will clap for you. Daniel Boala, go and set a standard of borehole in your local government. Then Peter B will come and, and then look at it. Either he improves on it or he leave, he maintains that standard. This why you don't even... Yeah, and this, instead of thanking Peter B, recommending him for international award for doing what you cannot do. Oh dear Nigeria, I don't I don't know whether people have, have seen it the way I've seen it. That guy made a fool of himself. He has lost every respect, though I don't have respect for him before because of the way he talks. I don't have he's not talking of boho. Are you not ashamed that somebody is giving your people boho when you are when when they've pro, when a, your village has produced somebody like you, you can't give your people boho. Then somebody else is giving your people boho and you are complaining. That the standard, they, then put a better standard. Nigeria, Nigeria. Dr. CM, sorry to, <laughs> sorry, I'll, let me give you 10 seconds. You see, if you go through the entire north, <laughs> entire north, I beg to be corrected here. There's no pipe, one pipe born water. Born water does not exist. Hey, hey, that, that, that reminds me. In the 21st because... century, boho, you are arguing about because... boho. Because yesterday, yesterday we thought about uh, when I said Nigeria only exists to pander to the whims and caprices of the North. If they are not in charge of government, in charge of government parastasis, like NMPC or maybe post authority, that we bring the money before they take, or they take it as salary, or they steal it, the OE work, Papa, they are in charge. They take it from the source. Yet, they are highly underdeveloped. Disease, illiteracy, rampant there. They build dynasties of everything. Now, let me, let me give an example because sometimes I want to go, for those, because of those listening, there's a man called uh, Gabriel Osawaru Igbenedion, the Esamadini. This man, the way we, the, the history, because I've been to Okada, they used to call it Okada Wonderland. On your way from Ore to Benin by the left, when you get to that, if they just say, or oh, leading to Okada Wonderland. I've been there. Before he built Ibnedon University, he used to have Ibnedon Specialist Hospital, Ibnedon Hospital. We visited from Lagos. The lady who opened the endoscopy unit taught me at the Lagos Vet Teaching Hospital. So when she was recruited as the best, because it was managed by the Lebanese, she came to us and, tell, and told us that uh, she will be leaving loot, she's going to Ibnedon. Ah, I shouted. He said, don't worry, when I settle down, I will see if you can have a discussion just to help you for your practicals. You can see what is being done there. We all, we all went. On our way going, we thought that we are going to see a hospital. The moment you crawl, you enter from uh, Bini, Bini or Expressway, as you are going to approach your cadre, it be another place. Different houses, they say, he built for the community. Somebody from Edo will tell me, Community he built, just he developed his town, Okada. He said because of that man, he had Okada air, Okada. He, he said he used his money to develop his community. He made sure building houses for people. If you see the place, we said ah, ah, this is like he said, they say he's the man. Oh, he's the man. He did it. They it's come called, it's called Okada, Okada Wonderland. Okada Wonderland. So it's because of that hospital. People are advising that this hospital should not just be for patients. Yes, use it to train future doctors. He now started a medical school that is linked to Ibnedion 
hospital, Igunedoan University. So what, I, what I'm trying to say this is that this is a typical way. It, it did not, it's not the government of uh, Edo State or federal government that did it. This is some one man remembering his village. And because he has done that, if everybody in Edo we have money and do it, before you know it, the whole Edo is developed. Dito, the same thing for any place in the South. So Daniel Buala, what are you talking? That Ibinedo developed his people, give them pipe on water. And you are talking of who be left an Ambra to come and give pipe on water. Amy of Zaria is congratulating him. Bo -hoo, him bo -hoo. <laughs> Even to give to give them. Then Daniel Buala is talking of the quality. <laughs> Jesus. If I were I, I, I can't stop laughing. I gotta remember this thing. So this is exactly why the North is backwards. Somebody like Dwa. And this this boiler you are seeing, you know, if Obi should say tomorrow the raising stand up, I'm going for Bola will say don't vote for him. This type of he will campaign against P2B. The way you see, see him, he will campaign. He will tell his people don't vote for him. But this is a man that came and gave them water to drink, which you didn't do. And yet you are criticizing him. You see, this is the problem with Nigeria. My analysis are just, I don't, I won't go so much in depth. As time goes, I will be making reference to it. So this is a typical example of why the North is the way it is. In my place, if you do this type of thing, in Anambra, look, the common, everybody, in fact, tarring road, people are tar, tar, 30 kilometer total in road. People are doing it. There's this man called uh, John Obi Mikkel. He played for Chelsea. Most people know him. He was captain Super Eagles. From his village, Neni, people, somebody 30 kilometers, different corner, with gutter, street light, gave to the community. It's common. That is what they now used to know. What do you get? Obi Kubana, they are doing all these type of things. What is Daniel Buala doing? Keeping his people underdeveloped. You don't want them to open eyes. Tomorrow they will just line them up and they tell them, don't vote for this person. Well, the earlier, the better. They are seeing the ref, the this thing now. Like we said yesterday, Peter B is a humanitarian. He's doing it for humanitarian purposes. I wish him well. But if he felt that it, it will be a political stock to tell people the type of government he will run, that if he's doing this as a private person, if they, if he becomes president, this will be a tip of the iceberg, which is what I believe. But because they've seen it that way, they will still tell you he's in Yamiri. Nah, this man, we don't need him. People like Bwala will go in the midnight to go and tell them and forget. So that is Nigeria for you. Then as for issue of show worry, I don't usually comment so early in the day when news like this broke out because it's still a single story. Show worry will hear it, he will listen to the video. One of these days he will make a reply. So he's developing. I don't believe when Nigerians come and they sensationalize something. Not that show where is a saint, you know, nobody is, but all those allegations are so weighty. He embezzled money, embezzled this, you know, Nigeria money. Lodging this hotel for one year, all these things, you know, it, it's so sal <laughs> very salacious, you know, but people will fall for it. I don't usually. The thing is that I've taken note of it, but as for my comment, show where we say something. Mm -hmm. So when show because it must have either through interview or somewhere or publication, even it's a developing news, he can't keep quiet because people it will get to him. So by then I will see how he defended himself and then make informed judgment and see whether there is really something in it or just meets the eyes. So that is that is one that is what I need to say about that. I don't really what else do we have on board today? I don't think uh, these are the key two key okay. issues. Okay, Tonto. Okay, what happened? Tonto. Don't, don't, don't. No, this, uh, this, uh, I, I don't fool Nollywood. I'm not. Re I'm really not into. You know, a lot of things. A lot of things are going on in Nollywood. It depends on. Augustine, please round up one minute, sir. Thank you. Okay, it de it depends on. Uh, maybe they say in those days there's one program in Leg uh, Radio Nigeria too. In those days in Lagos, they say that they call and country people say if you come Lagos, if you the waka. You go to see Orishi Rishi. If you open your eyes, you go to see Orishi Rishi. If you open your ears, you go to hear Orishi Rishi. So for Nollywood, if you open your ears, I saw you go to hear Orishi Rishi. If you open your eyes, you go to see Orishi Rishi. So for me, I know open my eyes and I know open my ears. I know when hear Orishi Rishi. Whatever happens in Nollywood, let it be in Nollywood. 
my only thing is just to react like an ordinary person. As for that industry, yes, it's making money for Nigeria and then bet. A lot of scandals going in there and a lot of things we may not know. Even if we, we open our eyes very well, we look very well, we might not see. So there are a lot of things I don't want to comment on. Let it remain so for now. Thank you, Niger Watch, for the opportunity. I leave it here. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Augustine. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. L let me call on the next person. Uh, Dr. Ken, thank you very much, sir, for your time, uh, for your long wait as well. Please, I'd like you to talk to us. Good evening to you, sir. Thank you. Uh, everybody, I observe all the protocol with the foreground and uh, Augustine. I don't know. I wanted to ask you a question every time when I did see you. The question be say, why be saying now only you now they do video and you know they detail, you know they you know they discourage just the enjoy them. Anyway, this one <laughs> person where person where by me, waiting I get, waiting again. I know be I'm not a VIP now, wait. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I know they're important. So, now, now people you know. like Black Panther, Black Panther them. Where they ah, no call me no. <laughs> I don't attend them. Now then they're important. Me, I know I know they're important now waiting. So if you find me now, you find me. The person who I really want to see his face where well, well, now that guy, I think I told Niger be a name. Where they always did the contrary side and they go hold the ground where well, well. So I could say this guy this will see his face. The way Mark Sharper where we say the defensive. Anyway, that's a lot of softer side of the whole thing. But uh um for let me start with Boala. I think you still, you don't already talk everything finish, right? But uh, the Ibopo will say you say you know you don't talk everything finish. The thing be saying, uh, you know, say anytime you somebody do the right thing when you supposed to do, you not come do them, but somebody can't do one for you, but another the right thing. It they do your body one kind of way. Your conscience could worry you. You go to feel and then if jealousy come mix them, you go come and break that thing down or talk them down. Make one not also, because now you you feel say into the right thing, and now what did they happen with Peter Obi? You know they just feel say that the right thing they do, and uh, Peter Obi now one kind now different politician and different human being. The thing when they do, eh, they pass what he be say somebody go take do you put you inside prison say make you dead prison. He pain they, they do the thing like that going to all these places, and they pass a message and you know Peter Obi not be. It not be like preacher, it be like teacher. Anything when they talk, it in, in a few moments, it don't pass the message, pass your ear, enter your heart. And I be the place if you can win somebody's mind and convince in mind, you don't the whole human being of that person, the other the entire being of the person don't they under your control. Now they're gonna follow you like how because you don't convince the person mind. And uh, one of the most dangerous human beings for the whole world, when I know. Now be man the way don't they convinced. Anybody they convinced, fear that one way. Especially if you can't they convinced negatively at you. Make you just you no know, say that it's very dangerous. Anybody where you say do something dangerous like that, you don't they convince him at that thing. Now be a problem. Remove him, you will succeed. And it will do anything possible. So I, I, I just like the, the, I like the campaign when they do, when they go around and giving out things when they can give according to the power. How many things now Daniel Bwala don't do in the in the around the corridor of power for a long time with Atiku, uh, with uh, 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 APC, you go back to APC, and uh, I never hear of anything. Even Boho will be say they higher than Peter Obion. I think he for don't do him, and that is the thing. And you know, one thing I also realize at this point in time is that. Nigeria not be like the world of the sea. And there's only one thing where they make people they face in Nigeria never they wise up or they never change because we never come out like to so say we'll come out like uh, uh answers come challenge the government come enter so rock come run them out of the place come the other things because we never do that when people face it, nobody they get any sense or people never they resolute as a matter of fact if like say the last election they allow things to be the way they did since uh 1990 1991 time courage now eh? you for surprise say you for see the expression of saying nigeria don't wise up we don't wise up since past senegal when i see some people say look at senegal you see how see them they don't change see this person nigeria don't do their own long time but 
It's just be like it's just because they use that wicked fist to tell lay their hands, wicked fist on us. If not, by now, Peter will be for dead that place. Now for the give order at the country, now for be the C in C as they talk now. And they themselves know that truth. They know say they must need to brace up for the next election because they know say what did they come so eh, it go this stronger than what they experienced before. Because people mind the change. Everybody minds the change by the action which they see where they happen and the message will part of Peter will be they, they give more, they consolidate on the way it give before. People they change. And there are people who be say they decide of APC now. That way they before and now they no say this guy and I be the person if you know a quotation the messiah or person with day in that lineage they know and that is one of the my joy I have. I'm telling you the next election will they come eh? strange things go happen and that they go allow righteousness light to prevail mm? or darkness go day more dark that is the only way they go day more wicked, more furious, and more desperate. And to do what they say, they never heard of before in the whole world. And they no go day ashamed. They go say that my face, let me do one. Can't remove me, let me, let me do one. That kind of thing. Now it go happen. But if not, the light go shine. And that is what I just, I just want to make sure I say, I drop that thing. That is just, it's a basic truth. I drop that thing. I just want to just let that people, let people grab that and say, Niger, it don't change long time, and things are happening to the north. Things are happening, and for 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 Bwala, I don't really know that guy position. This now the kind people we say we not want to make evil day around power. We no go fit trust them for any position that they let people. We no go fit trust them at all, because look what thing they do. We not stand for anything. Bwala, I think a lawyer. I think a, a, a U.S. trained lawyer. One time when I hear about saying that between you know, if you go back to a place of law, make you practice law if a uh, uh, politics not favor him. But see how he make himself cheap to so they go and talk against what he conscience they support. Now, one of the outrageous things somebody can ever do where your conscience, how you want to talk him out loud, how you want to talk him with passion, you know, if you talk him with passion, all because you want to please somebody where they did, maybe you forget job, I don't know. Or what you want to get. All we know, Peter will be is the person that the whole nation is looking up to. If Peter will be come one day, come and now say, don't drop anything about politics. You go see what it will happen. People will literally they cry for social media, like the way it happened after the cheaters of the election. People will cry and be beg him. I'm telling you, to tell you the hope what people get on that guy. And for 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 Tinibu just to do what thing they do, he no say, he no say the poor not want him. He no say they not want him, they not like him. So he, he, nobody put him there. Now himself and the money now he put himself there. So he's just trying to do anything as he think he can do to sway the people mind. But now lie, the Nigerian people mind don't they made up, and they don't look where they go. Everybody they even those in all go school, eh? They don't they educated by the situation where they happen now. They don't learn by Gary, we don't go up, by rice, we don't go up, by price of things, we don't go up. Those things don't, don't teach them lessons, don't campaign against them. Say what you do now, wrong thing. So, Peter will be job. In all day as tedious, the way, they, the way some people they go to say, they not lie. Everywhere, they don't know, say, these governments, this future, you know, see for newspaper, we not understand the regrets. Even though I know since mother, they just talk that in and uh, before election, they come water there with some money, they will say, now nah, you be the best. But for what we have now, they say they just regret say that anyone even vote for them, they regret that they vote for them. And and I'm telling the truth. Make we not now two ways Nigeria go take come out of what they day. Two ways. One of them, make we wait patiently and make we they consistent for the way the way Peter will be positioned and say for opposition. Eh? I just thank God where we say in they play the opposition role well. If they give them one kind of role, you can't say make it go take. Ah, oh, that be say we don't finish. The way they play the opposition role, many put the thing say the guy not there. I don't know why someone not get brain. Let him join the say make him join the team to support the government. Support the government now. The, we have a government to support. If Peter will be decide to support, would they, tell me which opposition they talk to now. How many political party will get before? Let us say they are standing one. Would be say we'll face the day around now for. 
na PDP, na LP, na Kano man and the uh, 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 APC. The three of them, who they talk? Atiku don't go sit down near uh, Bolish, uh, Bosch Khalifa. Kwan Kwan, so if they look for a man, then they go push and turn to the move, uh, this is making you give him position. Then they look for favor. Now, only Peter will be, now be the person will be see the talk. Now be the person will be see if they put their feet near to the fire, then they for move. Eh? I'm happy, even though Peter will be do but one a day less uh, 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 treasured or prized, it better, it just open the anya say, that place, you're supposed to go put ball there. Yeah, go give them water. If they show them, this place need water, in case no, no, no. This place. So if it, it's serving two ways. I'm happy about that one. Peter will be just to show them light of how to govern places. And I'll tell you the truth. Peter will be will be the president of Nigeria. No matter how he did, people they cry, cry the rich end. Yes, in UN, they said there's this inscription on the wall. Say even wars have limits. They they end. Israel war will end no matter how it did. According to anyhow or prophecy or historical, you get end with the end. Everywhere they get end. Nigeria will not be exception. It go end. All this will they happen. Check how many wicked animals still they around. Count them. They're not too plenty. Tinubu, Atiku. Wear them again. Anyone with the rise up now, now people could be saying it come out of at least they're not going to do like as worst as those, but they don't get some kind sense. So you say not day. That hate spirit, so you say they carry for their head against another region. It's not this strong inside them because they're not be denying statum, not be denying cook them up. They just peel them inside their mind. They don't know why it even did their mind. That is why it no go fit for their body. All the enemies of this region, they don't marry them from that side. So the thing don't miss. Now the chronic ones, like all those people with the food, that way they cause the trouble there. Check them. Now the night they very, very ready for this, this stuff. So like I said the last time for our, our podcast, that our, sorry, our panel like this, that we just need to be patient. The way we they fight the fight intellectually is good. Make could they push the message, enter everywhere. Make could they push the, push the message, they reach to people one by one. As they talk one by one, and then also the situation also they help us if they push the message. Say, wait, now nah, just look around. Peter will be never die you, but they don't they talk about what he talk before. Like since we, like person be prophet, we say they call the Eurasian. Now just the way they when you say bread, then they buy them different for price for person will be Christian or be Muslim. Now now they call the see and say it's just like person go do a practical theory for his class. They can't go do practical for a lab. Now we can't see the practical for our lab. The team now, they can't see us in our the talk. They go practicalize up. Yoruba, they buy bread the same way. Christian, Muslim, I would say everybody, they buy the same bread, feel the same pain. They go through the same trouble. Now, now this, and now the one person I did there. So they don't see them now. At least not do, not do. Even though 100% of the people say support this government before, they still did. Eh? They're not, not be 100 of them, I go support them again. They, something like 20, 30 go drop, come out again. Make I tell you, when the evidence is too plenty, even the person won't play with you, he goes, you look, he goes, okay, hey, what do you go do me now? Hey, Atifa, what do you go do? What do you want to do me? I know I agree. Atifa, what do you go do me? That is, in no way to hide them again. The thing don't do too plenty. It does this show like that. If you not bow down and leave, you go tell you, okay, I, I, I agree, say Atifa, what do you want to do me? Come do me now. And then they come up for you. I may get up. I don't agree. Now, what do you go talk about? If, if evidence not there plenty, this next election, let us... We, I go still they govern nice people. We go still vote for Peter Obi. And also we go vote for LPO. We go vote for Peter Obi. That means anywhere we need day, a name never changed. That Peter Obi, we go vote for him. And we go continue like that until we will enter our rest. Everything they get end, everything they get rest. Prayer will be said, I put a pray. God, they hear him. And it go come different way. Those people they pray to Allah, they, those who they pray to uh, Ojuju, or when they pray to anybody, what did they do to them? They hear him. And things go happen. I know any that is just what I just I just I just believe. Everything obviously with the talk all the time with the talk here. Elvis, keep this thing on, it go yield results. Anything what they do, and you know they stop, it go bring results one day. If you they do bad thing every day, one day you go see the result of that thing. If you they do good, you know they can't stop. One day, one day you go see the result of that your good what you they do. So everything, what would they do for non-stop them? That the secret of success there. If you not stop. 
One day, one day, the thing they find for that thing they do, good, good, you go see them. One day, the thing they do, bad, bad, then they won't stop. You go come see them. Now, I did. Many people be say they don't travel, enter this kind of country. I believe not be my first time to say you won't enter. They knock your head down. They knock your head down. They knock your head down. Until now, you don't enter. In fact, the person for even the embassy said, one of my friends, they tell me, say, that one time, long time ago, you can't say, ah, this guy called Luca, the, 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 the counselor. About nine times, they don't deny him. Now the guy can't look and say, he said, come. He said, if I give you this visa, will you return back? The guy said, go return. He said, I don't miss, come back after 10 years. Will you return back if I give it to you? Because I can see here, I don't know what you want to do, but I can see that you've been all denied nine times. Now he give him visa because the guy don't to trouble this embassy. He said, if you come back, he said, if you come back, he said, yeah, you go come back. Now they give him. Till today, that guy, they go, they come. Till now. It don't they correct so anything what they do as they put pressure they talk to our government our leaders they pray for them they put the, their feet to fire everybody they hear me from everywhere from where go reach sapele go reach lagos go reach there was nobody we could leave my son for so they asked us to sign an undertaking that if anything happens to him okay. they will not be held you see now god bless you god bless Hello. you sir see See with you another person they write for you now. That must me say I will uh, uh, they will not understand. He said I've lived in Dubai for I got one. There are many, many mansions. Black Pata, go and try it first before I go know whether you be mad. No, I'm a Nigerian politician too, they fear because all the money where they don't thief. Oh boy. That's him. Nigeria politicians are not going to go that kind of place. Man, are not going to lay there for inside. Like, like, they're not going to go near there now. It's not you are talking. That's all you they fear rich. So that, because Nigerian politicians go, go first of all things. See, as Nigeria will just shout, like, say, they 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 pinch you. My turn to my turn to nominate senator, nominate governor. My brother, you know what? I said they don't go there again. I they tell me. Me I say now your, me I say now your girl they shout like that. I don't know say now your papa they shout. This my lack life, fool. My brother, just forget. You know it's your. You just say now waiting your easy like that. I say in my father's house there are many mansion. Come over. Yeah, yeah. Black Panther, may you go first. May you, I beg, go hide yourself for one corner, my friend. Go and hide yourself for one corner. Don't now worry. Now, know. this one I'm going to use against you now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, to be honest, this thing that make me talk and sense, eh? Me and personally, I they fear these kind of things anyway. You know, eh? but my family, they love them. But for me, ah, I was screaming like, say, I be baby with the born yesterday. I tell idea. you. So was the fear that the motor got some assault or something like say? Uh, oh, God, see him side two of the side of the car tire go get up for grant. Oh, God, see him. Not be waiting to look for video. If you see what this guy they do for year. Hi, God. Uh, maybe not. Because I just the look. If just go first. Don't worry. He, he, he's unexplainable. Wait till you do, oh, God, see him. Your next holiday, go this place. May God tell us I, I be. Mr. Mr. Elvis, yes, no, let me tell you some of the few safety things that they do. Those cars that are used are reinforced with iron by all the Yes, fans. that's what the driver told me. He said it's not ordinary yes. uh, Jeep. It's not ordinary. It's not ordinary Land Cruiser. It's not ordinary. Exactly. Some, some people are using it. So they are reinforced. He spent six, uh, about $6,000 to reinforce it again. Yes. So they he reinforce it. And then... And then another thing they do is the tires are not inflated to maximum. Exactly. Yeah, That's yeah, what he yeah, said. Yeah, but for yeah, me, so that, so that, that you have to all this explanation, I still not trust yeah. them. Let me, let me be my problem. <laughs> As they explain, Rich, I was still having issue with them. So I'm not going to be close to that. You understand? It was terrible. But everybody okay, cannot okay. be. Nigerian politicians. Think about the pounds. Not be that thing. Nine pounds in the think about. <laughs> <laughs> no uh, yes. Then, uh, then uh, Mr. Elvis, Mr. Uh, Elvis, uh, if, if, this one, yes, if this one scared you, mm -hmm. then yes. that means you wouldn't have been able to jump out of the aircraft. There is another one that you jump you out of the they, aircraft. Yeah, they jump go. If, if you try that go? one, then uh, I'll speak to straight. <laughs> Yeah, my, where you say make a job go? <laughs> I beg, you, 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 you don't fire me. You, 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 you don't fire me. 
you will jump Oga out I. and the parachute, the parachute will open. You will jump Oga out from there, the parachute will open. Oga, I wait, wait, yes. wait first. Not the look, see, I be shot for here, see, I get liver like that. Too. <laughs> yeah, <babe. laughs> you know, get liver. Oh. So I, so I, so I, I didn't tell you. Up. Let me say foul the sweat. You know, be say feed a cover and foul the sweat. Yeah, if Oga you put I, down for parachute, parachute go wrong, leave them. Oga, I know they like yes. rough play. I beg, I beg, I beg. I know, you know, yeah, where I talk about Oga, I, I they beat me for, beat me for, uh, for Instagram. Just because I come here for uh, AY wife this thing. Beat when they beat me, I'm still recovering right now. They say make I go, they jump for parachute. Where? Who sent me go there? If you want make. You want to make them go do uh, uh, uh then I go to better put out the fan arm. Hey, wake up now, you dare alive. I beg, I beg, I beg, but I'm not carrying me go where I don't know. I beg. Thank you, my wonderful people. I beg, I'll leave the platform for you guys to manage uh, another uh uh 40 minutes so that we can round up. You can talk within yourselves. Thank you so much, my wonderful people. God, God, God bless you that. You know, I can see our people right there with us joining us. God bless you. Who, who is who is new in the channel now? Who is new? Don't say. Tone say tone for comment section say <laughs> you say make I know make I know make I stop boasting say if na me I go I go fear past Niger watch not lie I don't go fear I don't I don't they fear like that too. I know say one day be one day person go leave but Niger watch get pounds so they expect no, Niger watch he mind the day somewhere because he go first off say eh. So all those things, why I keep <laughs> all, the, all those pounds waiting for bank? I'll just leave and go like that. <laughs> and there no handover. And there no handover properly. And never no, handover. No, no handover letter at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, Might tell you something. Might tell you something. What did they fear me? You're you not supposed to know why I bring this to come at the initial stage. I said yeah. I was there with my own entire family. Yeah. That was a risk. I said, I don't go there. Give now only me. I don't go too fear. Eh, eh, but, as it, but as the thing come pan out, not only you come the rake. So eh, not the only me, only... Now because it... now my voice re... <laughs> now my voice high pass. It not the only me. I know <laughs> saying children will tell her, Daddy, stop shouting now. We are enjoying eh, the whole so no, <laughs> no, listen. He get where we reach, eh? He get where we reach. You see this place, so make I put out this place, so. Now, yeah, whether they take break be this, now be this. As we reach here, normally you take break, you come out, you stretch your leg, then they continue with another journey. Make we continue, my children say, lie, lie, make we not move your reverse, they go back. And we rise. <laughs> <laughs> and we rise. You cannot, you cannot go back because where will they go? There is another phone where they wait for us for that side. Now, that side, all those kind of horse and every life band, everything, they back of the, the other side. I don't know that you understand. People, so, so, so you didn't get to that place. You didn't get no, to that place. We have to go to that place because the driver yeah. refused. Say no, that we will lose our money because they are they are more fun waiting for us. So from here after we don't rest, eh? Mm. You have to tight your teeth to continue this journey. And you just said that waiting is easy. It's so, fun. You know, it's fun. You know, it's fun. You know, it's fun. But I was it's scared. Fun. But you know, but let me tell you something, uh, 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 Doctor Cm. One minute. But go and check in the record whether there have been any fatalities since they have been doing that thing. Nobody has ever, nobody yes, has that's fallen out of the car. That's the safety thing. Nobody. It's true, it's true. There has never been any... Well, hang on, guys. Can I just add something? People that are saying that this is easy, it looks easy because of the person holding the camera. I remember when yes. I went there with okay. all my big chest as a military man, say this was okay. no shaking. Um, when the thing start, so, I said, yes, sure. See where we are past. There was an American, uh, my American yeah. friend on my, on my side, I, I mean, she she she's temporarily lost it. She was screaming, stop this bloody car. I'm going to jump out. See, that thing is not for the weak hearted. Because when you just see it like that, you think it's easy. That thing is scary. In fact, but I've gone there. Uh, God bless uh, your God too, no. That this is a joke I did for you. I'm going to help this wait, man. Wait, now you help her now. Before, hold on, hold before, on. I've gone skydiving before. Skydiving before is even God, better. Before God go bless them, everybody will go and they shout like you shout. <laughs> No, no, no. Oh, God, you, know, you know what? Shout. The person, the How many people you don't see me record my American that we hear that was, voice? My American friend that was by me, uh, well, I mean, he, he, in fact, when we stopped, he was throwing up. Exactly. Oh, God bless you. The guy was God throwing bless up. You. 
Uh, listen, See, listen. Wow. My family eyes, were throwing up. Scary. <laughs> My family were throwing up. Even me when I say shall not throw up. I be mad. I be mad. See, see, I can't you go. Where did you throw up? I be oh, man now. <laughs> Can I dare you to go to this holiday next day? Let no me worry, what I go, go video round. <laughs> because uh, at least if I go, I don't go shout because I go tell at you, least. I go show now you. Now you don't go see, now. We don't know your record. See, yeah, we go speak it. He go speak it, bro. Now he go self. I don't go bless you. Oh, God, God, I don't know why they because, support this because, man. Because, what Tierra part this night? Listen, I've been there. It's my experience. I've been there. That, that thing so is crazy, man. You'll be, uh? you'll be the deceive. You'll be the deceive yourself because I the shot for you. Leave another day like that. Oh, forget that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna leave the pounds now. We don't feel that money like that now. We we'll spend that rich up with. Yeah, you say. Is, um, uh, Elvis, you see those uh, um four by four? They put some special shock absorbers for for the extra effect. You know, for it you must be a very special car. Y yeah, no, but no, they no. took they put some they, so they even further put some special uh shocks abs absorber to achieve. No, that's what the guy the, 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 the driver told me. The guy that mm -hmm. normally take people there, he said when you buy the land cruiser, you take it to a place they'll not reinforce it. See, madam madame look, madam look no annoy me because I go just book all day now, make all of us go. Madarita cannot go places like that now. Me no, no Madarita not to do that kind of thing. Madarita no, 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 so no. no. fit. Even if it's even if it's in denial, we know. Females are so funny. You want to make, you want you make, know, you make you know, him miss that black soup? She, uh, that exactly. No <laughs> she don't fit trying. No Madarita not fit trying. I will try. I will try because I am not. I will try it. I will try it because I've done skydiving ten thousand feet up. You know, but I will eh? not do that again. Yeah. You go skydiving. I have the, I have the videos and, and pictures, you know, uh, if Bring I want to share. Why, why do you want to show? It's, it's, not, it's not only for my eyes and maybe a few people. I've done no, it before. Now, this so. man when they shout for a sign moto now, because I know so you don't go shout too much. So, so how we go take believe you now? <laughs> how we go take <laughs> <laughs> Dr. CM. Dr. <laughs> CM. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Because um, I I cannot swim, so I I don't I don't take risk with um, anything that has to do with water, you know stuff. Even the Niagara Falls, there's a part where they say the Lady of the Mist, where you actually go inside the fall. They, everybody, I mean, you have life, there's life jacket and everything, there's safety. But I have never Madame done Rita, it since I've been in this country. Madame Rita, do you, Madame Rita, do you realize that this earth will live? 70% or 75% is water. You of need course. to know how to swim. I you need to know how to swim. You That's very water. predominant with black people. Can somebody teach me how to swim? But that uh, yes, um, the dune, the dune that you went to, Mr. Elvis, I, I think I would, I would, um, I can try that. I have well, the heart for that. UK, you know, you know, they're for UK now. So I, I, there are, there are some very good uh, swimming instructors, but it's, 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 it's a skill to, to, to. It to is have. a skill that have... must be learned, you know, by, yes. and in the United States, I think, um, statistics of people who have drowned, are usually black adults. So, you know, there was really, uh, there was a campaign no, black, one time. Black people no, don't, black don't, people, don't want to swim. No, black, no, no, black people are water. There's something way there for our foundation. Yes, we don't have yes. water. No, yes. the new generation, not the old generation, no. The new generation, they swim well. I remember well, one of my friends, he had, he had, when he had his first boy, so the neighbors were telling him, uh, they, they should start going on swimming lesson in, in just in, um, I think the boy was eight, uh, eight months dead. He said, eh? I can see that your your uh, 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 your village people have sent me to draw my boy, my only boy. Do you know how long? <laughs> we are all just laughing. No, I but, think I think uh, I think it's, it, it depends on where we where we come from. Like like those of us that are, that are from a uh, uh, river around area, a river around area like those people from from Delta and uh, uh, 
uh, uh, okay. what do you call it? This uh, reverse and all that. Those who enjoy, they 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 don't mm -hmm. they don't play with it. They swim. They all swim. But those of us that are from where the landscape where there is no water, like a do you know uh, places like you know uh, middle That's middle bed. Water. There's no water. <laughs> we have no experience, no past experience. You know, we can never you know get used to it. Like in Holland, there's, there's no there's no culture in the nationality. Uh, yeah. Prince, that that brings me to this question. Why be say Ijogo say we they we and Watana the same, but they know they go Olympics, go win something. Eh? Uh, no, Dr. Sorry. Sorry. they actually mean something you know, deeper than Olympics when they say that. No, no, no okay. Now what I'm what I'm saying. They are streaming, they're not streaming to go and get an Olympic medal. They are not interested in no, that. See, see, let me no, address that. Because there's a difference, there's no, there's a there's difference. no empowerment. No, no, There's no empowerment no, no. in that area to you know to empower the, the government is serious. I think they will do better than every other. There's every no other policy reason. to guide this thing now to push. Yeah, the good that is, There's no no good policy. No 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 no, 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 no empowerment. Let, in let that area. No, there's no, there's a difference between being a swimmer in the Olympic and being a diver. The um the the uh, Ijo people are they can deep they can dive very very deep. It's just like uh, people in the. Um, uh, what's what's this part of the world and all that? They can dive very like well. Like the uh, Hawaiians, you know? Hawaiians. Yeah, yeah, Hawaii, yeah, yeah that area well, yeah. and all that. Yeah, they they can go very very deep with no equipment at all. You see, they yeah. even they're even saying that maybe some of them over time they have they adapted to uh, holding their breath and all that. That is how Ijo people are and all that. Well, if it's diving, they are very very good. But being uh, swimming in a in a straight line, linear and be fast is a is a different skill altogether, you know. But yeah, I think that, that's why they actually I think you are right. You are right there. You're right there. It's true. It's true because just like Bram Pata said, that's why they actually need the training. You know, if they are trip, mm -hmm. if they are training, yeah, I know. Yeah, water, I, know I know. Go enter water without without jacket two set now. Yeah, <laughs> lie lie. Oh, God forbid. You are the you know, stone, okay. big stone you build. Going, 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 yeah? going back to the going back to the military. Going back to the do you know going back to the military back in the days in the academy, you are every cadet is required to swim and box because it yeah. was an essential life saving uh, skill. But do you know right yeah. now, all those two, all those things they didn't know they did. Even some naval personnel, some naval personnel self, they, they, they fear water. You know, you know, say that you be that. Eh? Make it like, like, no like, like yes, no, there's no policy. Yes, so, so, why, right. so, so, so why should why, why, why should they commission them? Because it is in their own interest, you could be taken to war or in a, in a very no, no, primarily for a naval um a personnel, <laughs> you're supposed to your <laughs> swimming no Liberia, skill man. and your no diving Liberia. skill supposed to be above average. And yes, corruption. Thank, you, thank, you, thank, you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Corruption, that is what I am not. May I have not talked since, so I have something to say. Thank you, thank you. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Um, you see, Nigeria are not ready. Nigeria are not ready that people have been saying what is the way forward, what is the way backward. That Nigeria, everybody have been saying. Who, who are the Nigerians? Is it not me and you that are the Nigerians? The what we face today, you know, when people say the abuse school, the abuse school, the abuse school, Allah. These are the these uh, things that we are seeing today are the uh, the result of the school that they were built for people to learn something from. Because the Europe or whatever country you will see that hey, they have unity, they progress, they do this, they do that. They were all taught from the school. So what Nigeria is still facing today, the lies and the enjoyment and whatever, it is what we are taught in that schools that they, they put before us. Because the practical in that school, that time, when you went to school, your miss will tell you, um, what do they, what do they used to call those things? Uh, I forgot anyway. They will tell you that, um, bring broom, bring this one, bring that one to school. Who will take them home? The mistress. They will take it and share it between themselves. And they are telling the people to bring something like that or students, bring it to them. Then, but here, it is not the student or the people, the people that will bring something to the teachers. So the teachers will afford those things for the children to learn from. 
I'm confused, Mr. Um, Oduwa. No. What exactly? Yeah, no. How is that related to swimming? Yeah. I don't, I don't get it. No, is I, no, no, madam, if I die, hear me. I did not talk of swimming. I said I have not said. He's anything not talking about swimming. He's talking about Nigeria in general. Oh, okay. I, I think he's just I giving this. Uh, about since. Yeah, he said he hasn't spoken since he wants to speak. So yes. So for people to be serious in life. The people that know Bible said they used to say there is a place called as a brought up a child, the way he will go when he grow, he will not depart from it. So all the fallacy schools that we have built that come to teach us lie. Who told us that uh, Mogo Park discovered the Vanager? Who will tell you that the highest mountain is called uh, Martin Everest? We tell you that the mountain in uh, Abuja is called Zumarok. So, all these things are what led to what we are facing today. If that when these people go to school, the school taught them how to do furniture, or the school taught them how to do bricklaying, the school taught them how to do electrical, the school taught them how to do rewinding, the school taught them. How to wash a car. The school taught them how to sew cloth or how to make anything reasonable for life. When these people face those things and their life is no longer going their expectation, they will have the unity to do things great for the country. But those people who talk, they said, America, there is a man in America say, think of what you will do for America not what america will do for you who is he talking about is it not the people who live in the country i said think of what you are going to do for this land that will be great peter will be are doing something now both the northerners the satan everybody are angry why did they do it for politics why should we? my brother let everyone do the best he can for the country in jeremiah the Bible, the, according to the Bible, God said to the Israelites, say, pray for the land that you are living. So that the land is good, it will be also be good for you. So, but if the land is bad, it will also be bad for you. So that is what is written in that place. So let all of us, especially the obedience, how to make sure that people who did not know what they're supposed to do, how to you will do practical in their front. By the time you are doing practical, when he takes that practical, he knows the value of that practical. Tomorrow, when you are not there, that person will have the mind to do. And he will have the mind to teach others. But what we face that we are suffering from today, especially when, when a opportunity person who's supposed to employ people as a worker. He will tell them that I open workshop because they did this thing to me when I was learning my own. So I'm going to do likewise, or I will do worse that than it. So it led to the, the failure of that country that we are all seeing today. Whenever you have opportunity to do something, I beg you, do it with parts, thinking that, what am I going to gain from it? You might be able to gain tomorrow of that thing. If you did not gain from it, let another person continue. For those who have traveled, for those who live in you, where you, what do you people call Western world now, you will see that a man, he has heaven and earth, but he doesn't have children, or let me even say child. He will weed that thing to the public which they will say government, he will it to government, but he will it to public because he did not say because my father was, my bro, my uncle is a Jenny, uh, is Jeremiah, my auntie is a Ajest, uh, Angelina, it is Jeremiah and Angelina that need to hold that property. He will give it to those, he will put it in the care of those who really need it because Angelina has his own, uh, Jeremiah has his own already. But because of our greediness, our wickedness, our attitude, we said, no, 
These people that need this thing cannot have it. It is we who we it to our own, the one you have. Are you not satisfied with that? No, you can never be satisfied. This is what even leading to our, with that mindset, is what we used to govern the land. That we will be heaping money, heaping money, and heaping money that our even our great great grandchildren will not finish. Then we will not send our children to go and learn one language from another place without practical. Then we come back, everybody will be clapping. Yeah, he is educated. He have a master degree. He have principal degree. He have doctor degree. Doctor with uh, without injection. Doctor that cannot even put syringe in any. Cannot even uh, gauge the quantity of. Medicine you need to give it. Round, round up, sir. Round up. Uh -huh, because I hear, uh, you know, when I hear the bed, so I always... Yeah, round uh, up. One minute. So this is why. Let us of all do our best. And if we, the um, uh, um, obedient, can able to help Peter Obi to do more, I will even say, let us do more for that for the note and however past we are able to do it so that the benefit of development and good life living will be example for those who will not want to vote for our movement will not understand the use of our movement thank you thank you thank you mr Dua. yes we did uh actually called you earlier on but you didn't answer so that's why we move on so that they can have the many uh, minutes to talk within themselves Yes, sir. Mr. Iris, can I can I just want to respond to Mr. Odua? Make it brief, please. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, Mr. Odua, what you said is is correct. It's very true. You know, talking about entrepreneurship, you said it right. It's what we need in Nigeria. But we must know this: it is not that we don't have it in Nigeria. In fact, we have it a lot in Nigeria. People have been. It is. It is just the fact that it is not government that is taking the lead. It is implementation. It, it, people send their children in Nigeria. We all know this, and we all can attest to this fact. People, Nigerians, send their children, cousins, you know, family members, relatives to go and learn, you know, um, a mechanic, go and learn a organizer, go and learn one trade or the other, go and learn uh, what the hairdressing, and so on and so forth. In my own family, we have that even the one that went to go in my extended family, the one that went to go and learn how to trade, is amongst the richest today in the family. But the, the, the country is just that the country is not supporting. See, even if people you know, go out there and learn all kinds of trades and everything, if the system is not supporting them, it's not going to work. Somebody go and learn their dressing or what they call fashion designing now in Nigeria. And there is no support from the government. No, you can't walk into the bank and say, please borrow me two, two million naira of Nigeria of today. Who? Who born monkey for, for, for fire that an ordinary uh, um, lady that just learned how to sew cloth will just walk into a Nigerian bank and say he wants to borrow two million naira. From where? How? So that is the problem that we have. It's not that there are, there are many Nigerians. In fact, there are millions that have learned different kinds of trades, but today they are frustrated. They are, they are the most frustrated people in Nigeria because they are not being supported. So that's just the problem. But we have it in Nigeria. It's not that we don't. Can I, reply? Can I, can I respond to it in 30 seconds? Okay, quickly, sir. Okay, thank you. These are what I said. This is why I'm saying something like this. Thank God that you people send that person to go and learn. Let's say it is a family who did not know or who did not uh, who did not have such. But if every of the family decide to donate one 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 naira, that person will be able to open it. We will say the government. Who is the government? Think of what you you are the government. I'm the government. Let the family donate together. If that person will not become something. Okay, thank we you. Can thank see you. We can, thank we can, you. Can we just? Naja watch. Naja watch. Let me let me tell Mr. Odua that we already we have not said seconds. anything. Now. Okay. Just thirty seconds, Mr. Odua. Yes, we. You see it's not practicable. There are things that are not practicable. Mr. Odua, you see what we are saying. 
is possible, but it cannot be widespread. You can see it one off. One person okay. like that just succeeded on his own or her own. But for it to be widespread without government support and involvement, it cannot be. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll put full stop to that that one. Uh, let me come to Ogaton before Madam Rita. Ogaton, it's good to have you on the show. Please talk to us, sir. Okay. I think it was the um it was uh Dubai uh, that uh, got me in. I got interested. I beg I don't talk it. about what he make you come. I beg this politics, uh, they don't let, drag off back to inside the gate. Ah, yeah. Let, let me come and uh, uh put my uh two cover anyway. For Boana, you Dubai, where you uh, shout like say they want to arrest you. Uh, ah, I beg, go and hide yourself. Can you don't mind that? My brother, my brother, you to this man where they pass window the entire year. You where they pass window the entire broadcast. Now they talk. Yeah, you need to. You, you need know, to go this man. <laughs> really, really scary. That thing is really scary. I'm telling you. Anyway, um, voila. I will not take him very seriously. He's he's he's, he's one of those. Um, he's one of those. Um. Uh, um assault puppies that uh, the APC is just using, you know, to back all over the place. Uh, Peter Obi is doing what he's doing. He's just giving them a uh, sleepless night. Um, by the way, um, people, uh, Peter Obi is coming live on Dr. Damages. So if you've got the time, I know, I, I do know that the time for your uh, broadcast does not clash with uh, Dr. Damage. I think it's either, I think it's coming likely on Sunday or thereabouts. Yeah. So if you've got time, you want to you want to ask him questions, you might just uh, uh, tune in to the time he comes in. And that will be an opportunity for you to um, ask him some questions and get, get some further clarity from the man himself. You hear from the man himself. I have one or two questions personally for him. Right. So, um, Nigeria, as, as it is now, um, all the APC people and all the Agbado people are, are, are high-fiving themselves that... Um, um, the the dot the the nara is uh, falling and all that, but nobody is asking uh, any question. Why is the, why is the uh, nara falling? Is it padding upon padding? How will they be able to sustain this padding? Not for a very long time. There is no economic activity. Nobody should be that, you know. So things things uh, things will continue because I've I've not seen anything that. Uh, uh, this present administration is doing to to improve the lot of uh, uh, the the country. The the country the the economy of uh, Nigeria is very sick. The people are very sick. Not uh, your normal sickness, but hunger sickness. A whole lot of things are happening, and you find out all sort of illegality are happening. Okay, look at. Unfortunately, I don't know why you guys have touched about it about the guy that drowned, uh, that that uh, that had the boat crash. I mean. How can a sane country, somebody gets drowned, you guys are shooting, the, the normal thing that is supposed to happen, they, they, they need to have a uh, life jacket on. At all times, there needs to be divers in other, in other boats. None of them um, um, happened. Okay, they managed to bring him out. Nobody knows about uh, putting somebody in a recovery uh, position or do a CPR. Maybe those simple things will have saved that guy's life. And look at the number of people, sheer number of people that were around, around him and all that. Nobody could had the sense enough to drag people so that there will be fresh air. So everything that wanted to that wanted to happen, everything wrong that, that could have happened, happened. And then unfortunately, the young man lost his life. And they are, I understand there are two more bodies that have not been recovered. So that's just how it is. See, it's 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 all craziness, left, right, and center. Anything goes, and I'm sure if someone had uh, uh, talked about um, uh, life uh, life jacket and would say your own too much self, you don't come. You this London person or you this abroad person. We know they are abroad. Or maybe just but instead they go carry babalao. Now there are people. So some people are now talking now that they are going to spend forty million naira to. Uh, to appease one stupid god and all that kind of thing before they bury. I remember when I lost my mom many years ago, um, uh, uh, because my people are very traditional and all that. They were saying, I said, you know what? All this traditional kind of um, uh, burial, I'm not having it. I'm burying my mom in a Christian way. We're all Christians and all that. They said they were going to, they are going to come and um, uh, stop the 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 the. Uh, they're going to interfere with the funeral. I just went to the army barracks there, 
went to the uh, commanding officer there, uh, introduced myself and all that, and they just got the boys and they were there. Nobody, they don't want anybody to come near. And I did, I gave my mom the best uh, farewell that we could have given her. And that was it. So that's just Nigeria for you. The legality and the and the confusion that we've been seeing is years, is accumulated. So we keep on speaking the truth. I thank God for um, for Nigeria Watch. Uh, I thank God for your uh, platform that is so fearless. You say it just as it is. It will piss off, it will piss off some people and all that. But Bible says that before the truth, will set you free it will first it will first piss you off and all that and if you want to accept the truth you accept the truth if you want to continue in your lies you continue with your lies that's my um submission for this evening thank you thank you very much Agaton. thank you i appreciate you sir thank you all right uh let me call on mother rita mother rita it's good to have you on the show please talk to us yeah good, good evening, evening mr elvis uh, my darling uh, mommy mommy diaspora obota and um Greetings to everyone in the panel and the comment section. Uh, I think I actually came to when when Mr. Elvis was screaming, <laughs> which was just funny. And um, I was like, ah, Mr. Elvis, when you are screaming in the midst of younger people, it, it shows that you are old. That's that's what it means. Um, and there's I nothing wrong get getting it. Forget that thing. Don't forget that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, life has no duplicate. Life has no duplicate. They think about it. Is that what you think about that? What do you think about that? What do you think about You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You were saying, you were talking about, I think I heard you say some people were beating you up on social media because you made a comment. They beat me for Instagram, not be small. They beat me, not be small. They are bullet for. If I, if I, Siam. I see they take fancy because they tell you so. Make I, make I take the cover. <laughs> Manarita, see the comment where they beat me for my put for screen. See, I'm, tell me where I go wrong for you. Now, hey, why? Hey, why? Now, I reply. Why, hey, wife? Now, I reply. I better read them. Read that comment, um, I'm please. sorry. I cannot read. It's too tiny for me. I can't read it now. Tiny. Okay. I, yeah, but, I, I, but I'm thinking that um, one of the reasons why you were probably attacked is, is, is possibly because there was an, an alleged accusation of um domestic abuse no and no i didn't use anything like that i only said no. madam oh, don't allow another woman to come and hear it what you are suffered for uh, go back to your husband is there anything wrong with that you're still not getting it mr elvis i, I just said something there was an alleged accusation of domestic abuse coming from the man but so, how is that my fault? Me, why I say me they no, say No, listen. Elvis, I bet, I, bet, I bet where you make that comment, I won't go read them later. For... Yeah, if I, you go see the video, see, them, see, see my comments. See them, no, whose who's, who's, uh, platform did you... Who's, who's on platform Instagram, you on, on, on I think his it's page. Mabel Macron. Is she still answering Mabel Macron? Yes, her name is uh, Mabel uh, Macron, yes. So why she did... Why she number one there. They beat me quere quere, as I tell you so. Mr. L. Well, Madam Rita, I know they understand the issue. Oh. Can I speak? May, or rather, may I speak? Yeah, go what ahead. I'm trying to go what I'm trying to explain to you, the reason why maybe some people were kind of uh, vicious towards you. I, I said there was an alleged story of domestic abuse, physical abuse over time. Physical abuse. So when you make a statement like maybe you are doing well you know your first paragraph and they say something about beg apologize go back what is the behind the minds of people is like beg and apologize to somebody who was abusive like possibly some people have had friends or relatives who they have passed on due to yes. Rita, so so you support every married woman to leave their husband because no 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 no, no. See, uh -huh. I think you are, you are still getting it wrong, Mister Elvis. You are going back to the cheating. It's not the cheating that I'm talking. It's the it's the physical abuse. That's oh, why people okay. were were bashing you. The uh, the uh, alleged uh, listing, uh, Mister Elvis. Uh, now uh, it's uh, like uh, Mister Elvis. No, we gotta learn here. Okay. If there was an, an, an the, well, was there any not physical like abuse? No, we not throw rumors. Anyhow. I just said. I, oh my goodness, I'm I'm speaking English. I'm not speaking Greek. I said alleged. Accusation of domestic abuse coming hey, from the male. Me do? What did me do for his side? What you did when you said apologize and go back. You had good intentions, hey, but God. 
on the receiving end, people who have been reading all sorts of stories, alleged stories about you know physical abuse on him, and they're coming from that angle. Like, how can you tell her to go back to to be continually abused? That's where some people might have been coming from. I'm not in their mind though. Uh -huh. So is that abuse part that when you know these days, uh, when anybody hear anything abuse or alleged abuse, and they're not telling the person to go back, it sparks off something with people. I'm telling you, so it's not, they're not even looking at the other good parts that you are, you've been saying and advising. Many people read that story, like, what's this guy saying? Go back to somebody who was alleged to be abusing her. Like, seriously, they're not even thinking about how, you know, her own behavior, but they just hear abuse. That's why I think people were beating you for. You understand? Naja Wash. Sorry, my, Madam Rita. Naja oh. Wash. Yes, sir. AY, I think AY has released a, 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 a letter towards, he has spoken towards um, all this thing that is happening. Yes. But see, in the first place, Mr. Elvis, you asked me a fundamental question. You said, we, uh, are you advising her to leave her husband just because he, he cheated? In the first yes. place, do you know it's even dangerous for a man to cheat? Because you might be bringing disease no, to the I'm woman support, and damaging no, I'm it. I'm not supporting it at all. He's I know. Very long in any angle you look at it, because in, in terms of cheating. But what I'm saying is this: you know, the the, the reason why I brought a reference to it today is that in this generation, the women are all advocating for separation. They want all women to become single. Why, Mr. Elvis? I think that's very wrong. You should take that back. It's not all women that are advocating for women to majority, separate. Majority, madam, go to my comments. Vast majority of women. Vast majority of women do not any small uh, provocation uh, like this in a divorce that they act. I don't exactly. believe it. I don't believe it. Listen, no, I'm I'm like, that is what you want. I don't believe, to. believe I what you want. It is not a vast majority. You guys are. This is a listen, majority it's now. Let, no. let us majority no. Let now. us be fair. Let no, us no, be no. fair. It's, 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 it's a majority. It's a majority. People are getting your information based on what is on social media. Please, can we, okay, you guys are convoluting everything. What you just said, Mr. Elvis, I disagree. Because I don't think it's a vast majority of women who are supporting women to leave their union. I don't think so. And like you said, any slight, any slight thing, so women are like, you know, saying, oh my God, leave him, leave him. Forgetting. We had this topic about daddy issues before. Many people who are screaming today, leave. Forget him. Any little thing as, as small as even a shout. They'll say, okay, my God, leave. Because, because a lot of people are traumatized from their experiences, from their mother's experience, from their sister's experience. And that's why you see women are shouting to her. It seems as if women don't want to get married. No. A lot, I mean, come on, who wants to be lonely? I guess some people want to, some people are comfortable with it, but majority of people want to, want to have somebody who is a companion because I don't think we were, we were created Madam, to be Madam alone. Rita, Madam Rita, sorry to uh, jump, uh, jump out. No, go ahead. Are you married? Why are you asking me? You won't marry me. Please, that's not the bone of contention. My personal, no, listen, my personal life is no, not. No, 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 no. no I'm not going to answer that question, to... sir. No, I'm not going no, to answer the question. To your personal space. I know, what but I'm, I'm not going to answer that question. What I'm saying now is based on what I have seen, experience, and obviously what I have read, what's going on. So that's why I said that statistics of the if a majority of I mean majority of women these days they just advise other women to leave their marriage. I don't believe it. And sometimes some situations are more than what you are saying. It's more than. Come Madarita, on now, let's, let's be frank. It is more than... Madarita, the situation is that even though we want to agree or not, majority, majority, I repeat, majority for the... I, I disagree on that. Our women, uh, give me a statistic. Mr. Elvis, give me data. Mr. Elvis, give me data if it's percentage. No, 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 if you say 40%, I will say okay, okay. or 50%. Let me, tell you. let me tell you why. Every comment like this you see 99.9% .9 of women come to lambast, lamb, lambast on you, telling you that in uh, the, the, uh, the, the, this is not the old time. You, you know, that this time is the women's time. If we not do any here, we live on <laughs> Go and read my comments. Go I think you know, Niger, 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 many, Niger many, many people making that comment that, that if Niger you look Niger at it, that most of the generation. 
the Gen Z yeah. generations are the ones making that comment, like, you know, it's our time, you know, we're not going to take, you know, any tolerate anything and all that. Even, but we, a, a, lot, a lot of people are, 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 are traumatized, and that's why they make certain comments. What is wrong with this comment for Christ's sake? What is, Mr. What Elvis, you're still not getting it. I said, I with the stories, the stories. Mr. Elvis, Mr. Elvis, Mr. Elvis. Mr. Elvis I can hear you, sir. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. You see, uh, this issue of women, men, marriage, I think the whole world is sort of changing. We should carefully look at it very well. You have to accept the question, who are these women always advocating? Look at their status. Please, I beg your audio again, sir. If you're using a um, earpiece, your voice is, is fading off. Maybe you should uh, speak it's directly. It's the network. It's the network that's on my side. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I, I asked a question. Who are these women that are always looking for a loophole? Hurriedly, they will not place a judgment. Woman okay, let her answer, answer it. You have you yeah. have faith, you have you were phasing off, but I think you were saying who are these women you know behind the keyboard. I don't know who the women are, but I can make a guess to say that majority of those women typing, telling her or advising her leave, they are from the Gen Z generation. I'm talking about people in their 20s or even early 30s, and many of them I could say they are making those decisions or you know spitting out those kinds of advice based on what their experiences have been or somebody who is close to them or some of them are just going through daddy issues or trauma from childhood of what they saw so because of the the, uh, the you know the explosion of the internet now many many sorts of trauma that people went through back in the days in the 70s and 80s you know, people would not see, but now the internet is there. People are writing their stories. People are making movies out of it. So the awareness is like haywire. So anything close to it, now this Gen Z generations, they are watching these things. They are even seeing these things. And they've seen examples where women have been abused for decades. And some of them even passed out like, God rest her soul, or Sinachi, for example. And I was just looking at her. She was, I mean, her, her remembrance, like, I think it was last week. Was a remembrance. I was like, oh my goodness, time has really flown. You know, so when you hear anything abused, because there were some allegations from what I read, but you know, allegations are allegations. The people in it really know what happened. So the allegations of abuse alone, I, I'm telling Mr. Elvis, I can bet you that the reason why many of them were beating you up, although they can't beat you, was because they have seen and read a lot of social media, you know, accusations, accusing the okay, man of domestic abuse. So then how dare you not say go back to let somebody who was abusive? Even if it might not be thing. true. Mother, yeah. Mother Rita, let me tell you another thing. Mona, I try Mona, go read all those comments. That's the way they, way they talk about me. Some of them say someone like me not go figure why for my life. Some of them say <laughs> me, someone like me, I'm, I be an abuser. Some of them say <laughs> this and all that. Some of them say me not go even see who my way go born for me. You see? You see the mentality of a lot of people need a hug. A lot of you people see? are a lot of people are not okay. I'm you telling see? you, a lot of people, so they just they you don't know you. You are describing somebody that you don't even know. You, you went to my page, you see, and you don't see family, my family there, then you just decided. You see, like <laughs> Mr. So, Elvin. To be honest, we have a long way to go. <laughs> we have a long way. See, there's a lot of stuff going on out there, and not everything you see on social media you believe because you don't know who you're talking to. And sometimes you have people with fake pictures making comments, but that's not really who they are. So that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes we, we should read stories well, or sometimes don't even comment, you know, because you'll be beaten up. But this generation, they are so weak that they just believe in going, be <laughs> going behind the keyboard and disrespecting people. There are a lot of not like some people will be making a comment in the comment section and maybe they'll say one thing about me, but if they see me in real life, they probably cannot even speak to me on a normal day. But the keyboard saves them. So that's why it's easy for them to just people can say all sorts of things, abuse people, disrespect people, and even make some assumption or aspersions on people like they don't know, just because they want to fulfill something. A lot of people are lonely, a lot of people are dealing with a lot of issues beyond the keyboard. Yeah. You know, so yeah, go ahead. 
if, if, uh, if, if I can, if you can allow me, shock you a bit. There, recently, we did uh, uh, I, I did uh, a report on uh, 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 um, uh, marriages and health. You know, we have to, to do a report. You know, in that report, we have to investigate and you know, you know, find out you know uh, the, the the rate at which uh, people do marriages that are both people of of age above fifty five. Those that that have survived their marriages to that age, do you know that sixty percent of marriage at the age of fifty five and above is is either separated or divorced or whatever? Just out of to. ten, no. six, seven. Please, is, not is, even is, up is, to. Sorry, could you say that again? I didn't hear the statistics you were saying. The age of fifty five above. At the age of 55 above, marriages at that point is only three out of ten survives. Look at Alaki lucky journal. Like they are 70s now. So it shouldn't be surprising. The thing is, like I tell you, this generation is different because people are outspoken now. Many of our mothers were not happy in their marriages, but they will not even they, 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 they will not even explain it to you. Even the fathers, too, they were not happy. But this is the age where people speak out now. So we are hearing stories. But yeah, so but and, it, this, and, and this story, this, this this story seems, large, it seems very it new. Like, oh my goodness. The on the incoming generation, it, it has a large impact, a negative impact on the incoming generation. Because people are speaking now. People are realizing that they have been traumatized. People are realizing that when they speak out, they, they, are, they become free. That's why to us, when ma, we speak ma, in ma, kind of bewildered with all this information, ma, times ma, are ma, changing because people are, ma, are spoken ma, now compared to 40, 50 years ago. Madam Rita, Madam Rita, hold on. Eh? Yes, hold sir. On, let me say something. Men, men, oh, men have their stories, though, because the way they, the, the way they bring up the man child that you shouldn't uh, show emotions, you shouldn't exactly. like, like when I was my ex, I know that a whole lot happened. A whole lot did happen. I'm not saying that I do, that I'm a saint because there's nobody that's a saint. But at the end of the day, what people don't realize is that marriage only works when two people are willing to accept and forgive see forgive that forgiveness exactly. is the biggest factor but any little thing i know that your 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 besties your family i know that they will come behind you i know that that you start talking about divorce immediately i know that and she will just pass, let, come let, me, out. let me say she will, begin, yeah. she will begin hook up with her ex i know that and listen men before they before they just say they've had enough eh, they they see this thing eh, uh, uh, Elvis, maybe one day we'll talk about it because the family unit is being eroded, especially in Niger. God, okay. God bless you, sir. Let God me, bless you, me, sir. Let me, make a, let me make a little contribution. You see, before now, what is put before you is what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Yes, that's so. what was thrown, that's what was thrown on the face of everybody. But mm -hmm. when when that not put that when you have another action that is threatening a life which is also from god the person will have to put us under but before they were only telling them what god has joined together let no one put us under so that's the christian go, way sir that's the christian yeah, that's, yeah, that's, what I'm, that's, what I'm, that's what i'm trying to explain to you that's what people lived with that's why you see people that die in marriages because they were scared of what people will say, of what the church will say, and then they will say, oh, God said, whatever God has put together, let no man put us on that, and people die in that marriage. But these days now, anything that had to do with life, anything that had to do with life, if you ever tell anybody to stay and apologize, they will eat you raw. Because exactly. when one of the parties, when one of the parties die, the other one will continue the life. So it doesn't make any sense you staying in a marriage that can take your life. So if it is cheating, that could be tolerated a little bit. You can reconcile it. But when it comes to when it comes to physical abuse, nobody will tolerate it. Because when that woman dies or when the man dies, the other one will the life will go on for the other one. So, so now that Madame Rita is saying there was an alleged report of physical abuse, 
Mr. Elvis, if you have ever heard about this, this story of alleged physical abuse, probably you wouldn't have made that comment. But maybe you thought it was only cheating. Can, can, can I say what I've heard? Thank you very much, sir. Can I say what I've heard from the source? Can I just add a bit Can I say what I've heard from the source? Black Panther, just wait, 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 wait. Okay, what is the rush? One second, I beg. One second, okay, please. go ahead. You see, a lot of people wants to damage a home. The family is under attack. And I want to say here, it is not anything like alleged. There was, there were no physical attack on this woman. And she had never confessed that there was a physical attack. Let I just tired. Come and go wide. Let the nobody come and get under today. physical attack and come and do anything. Me. There was okay. no physical attack. Even the man has spoken. The woman has spoken. Both of them have spoken. That's, there why, was that's, like physical attack. that's why you said alleged. It was all over the... My dear brother... No, let, us, know, let us move the alleged. There was no physical attack. How can people due to alleged, alleged information? How can they be judged through to allege? Is that... That's better than people. Me, Internet in laws, you know, don't understand. Hold on, hold on, hold on now, please. Sir, sir. As long as both of them don't talk, none of them have mentioned that area at all. So the alleged should be thrown away. Nobody should use it in any platform at all because at the end of the day, it's becoming even more problem. You know, it's a problem yeah. now. Yes, yes, I would say perhaps talk. that was that was the angle, and that's why you were being beaten. That's that's no, the angle. Don't beat me. They don't want to beat me, where they where nothing else. I don't get what you're doing. I think Mr. Bla uh, Mr. Mm. Two Niger wanted to yeah. say something. Yeah, let, let me just add to this. Uh, Niger Watch, thank you for having me. No, I came later. I apologize for thank that. You. And you. greetings to everyone on the panel chat and uh, the viewers. Um, I think the idea that um some, if somebody's life is threatened, obviously you need to seek refuge. You don't want to die. However, there is an element of conflicting, a kind of making it uh, look like the reasons why people are breaking up relationships is it has anything to do with physical um, uh, chastisement or violence. Most of the top reasons for divorce is uh, addiction, communication, infidelity, uh, financial problems. Domestic violence comes very low. Uh, in terms of uh, the reasons why people will break up relationships and um, and it's a little bit uh, disingenuous when you hear some people some women conflate both and they make it look like the reason why most marriages are breaking down has much to do with uh, uh, this in uh, domestic violence the main of most of the reason is because the freedoms that the women perceive and most of the uh, perception that the women have now is from the narrative they've gotten that they've had a hard life that somehow the men have had it easy. Mm -hmm. I, I disagree. Mm -hmm. I let me totally, finish. Let, let, let me finish. I totally let me finish my point. What you're saying, let, sir. Let, let I was substantiated. I was substantiated. Let him learn. So, um, so the, the the idea they've they've gotten the idea that somehow mm -hmm. they've had a harder life than men, but in reality, <laughs> men have had a tougher life than they have. How many of them are falling from roofs uh, doing work? How many of them are working on nuclear power plants and dying in the, in the race? If you look at the top ten jobs that are the most dangerous in the world, you don't see women there. If you look at uh, the life, like like hold on now, hold on, hold on, please. Let me finish my point. 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 Can I just finish the point so you understand what I'm saying? If if you look at um, life expectancy, mo in short, on, in all the nations in the world, men lose their life a lot earlier than now. Women last part. Now women last part. Men lose their life. Um, uh, if you look at the the kind of diseases that kill uh, human beings men are dying at an exponential rate because why society has created it that way and it's men that created that way because they understand for their society to survive they need to live more hazardous life but th that is the point i'm trying to highlight that why are women perceiving this stuff now because they've been shielded from that other side of the information that men are living even more hazardous lives and the truth is that the men have done their job so well that the women feel like they can divorce for almost any other reason now and that is the danger. And if you do that, what is going to happen is that in, why do you think Andrew is very popular around the world? Because the young men now feel like they are being this, they completely disregarded. Their importance is, their importance is no longer uh, this in a, a highlighted anymore. They make it look like they are just boogeymen looking to destroy women's lives. When they give, they give a lot of their hardship. Okay, that man now that goes to work every day and dies because of it. Does he quit his wife? Say, ah, I'm dying to protect you. Let me just run away. I don't need you to survive. Okay. If it does that, society point. collapse.
soon as you have been said, look at your point is that there's no balance in the debate. My point is that there's no balance in the debate. Make Una not attack Una Jaya, attack the point, finish. There's no balance in the debate. That's my point. If the woman talk, me, I get something I will say. abuse majorly. It's not even physical. If somebody can can pass on from verbal abuse, do you know that? When you talk about it, you said it is the least part of reason why even people... The, even the word abuse is you're going to do something wrong. Do you are you are just getting it wrong. You are giving people wrong information. Even human beings, do you disappear from the world because the world abuses you? Women are being dangerous. Women are passing off from giving birth, even being abused while being pregnant. Please don't even go there. Listen, every couple doesn't. Every couple needs to be nice, kind. Kindness is what okay, every couple would need. Kindness, but okay. a lot of people are pressured that they don't even think about being kind. And then, and then this communication aspect, fine. But that abuse thing, I disagree with you, Mister uh, Mister Two Ninja. Women are abused every day, physically, verbal. In fact, the verbal abuse is even worse than the physical abuse. Men are abused and worse. Can, 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 I, can I talk here? No, I, can, I haven't talked. I haven't talked. Talk. Nobody can talk, please. No, no. Okay, talk, talk. Sorry, sorry, madam. Talk. <laughs> because this, this is where madam can talk. I know just for come. Make you bring it back in statistics. This is the reason why I came in. Because I want I didn't want to do Nigerian topics. So I wanted to come in. Okay, you are called. You are welcome. Thank you. Mommy Diaspora, I greet you. Happy belated birthday. Members of the uh, commentators, the panelists, the viewers, the callers, I greet you short, shortly. Well, look, I agree to. I tell you, don't tell you. I did for class since, so I don't go back to school. So, men are nervous. Uh -huh. Mr. Mr. Naja was started all this, and he brought that uh, maybe a Marcus uh, story. You know, unfortunately, first of all, I need to greet Madam Rita. Madam Rita, my sister. Good evening, ma. Good evening. You know, after that, our little this thing three weeks ago, I tried to reach out to you, but I don't think you saw my message. But it's okay. No, because I'm always off. Oh, I'm not usually very, um, you know, present. So I'm off and on because I'm busy was, work. Yeah, it was in the comment section. My sister, but no verse, okay? No, I'm not the verse. Ah, everybody knew me. I laugh right there. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. But Mr. Naja was brought this topic by going to <laughs> shook his mouth in Mabel Marcus matter. Let me tell you something about, about marriage in Nigeria. And then Madam Cover Babel, Babel was saying something like that. So people who are single now should go and drink hemlock. My dear sister, whether you are single, eh, whether you are married, be happy in whatever circumstances you find yourself. Don't you ever, women out there, men out there, because Mr. Naja was said something a week ago. Now, if a man is 40 and he's not married and he doesn't have children, he should check himself. You see... These are the kind of things that make people become psychotic. When people look down on them because of their circumstances. You don't know what their psychiatric profile is. You don't know what their experiences are. You don't even know if they're psychologically or medically stable enough to get with a partner. You don't know their circumstances. You don't know what is keeping them single. Everybody needs to be supported in whatever capacity they are. It's not, it's not a competition. So go